Alrighty, alrighty, how are we doing today? I'm streaming again, I've had a crazy week. I'm just out here working and working and working and working and working. Another stream, another day of rendering. Let's get going. Hey, how you doing? Hey there. Howdy. You, uh, you just watching me from a distance? <laughs> no, no. Gotta, gotta respect the man in this piece, right? Uh, I was just in my head for a couple of minutes, so. Ah, uh, no worries. Enjoying the view. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it, right here is kind of one of my favorite places just to stand, you know? Mm. And just lean out. That's and right. Just, and just, uh. You know, just uh, just take it in. I just I like listening to the river. I just you know, I like listening to the sound yeah. of the river. Just you know, as I'm uh, as I'm working. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, I would say it's one of the finer views in the Crescent. It's uh, it's not too bad, is it? It's That's not right. too bad at all, if I would say so myself. Use dirty horse, would say a Breton with a dusty grey fur coat. Clipboard. Put that in my file. There we go. Let's just a gray fur coat tan. There we go. Save check in file. There we go. W E three nine four. I'm back surely, I gotta go to the telegram office quick. I should have Yeah, run! Run to the telegram office! Go! Uh, uh. There we go. Uh... Pawns on the tip line. Right, it was. Uh... Three nine four. Hello, Deputy. Will be information on his horse. Appreciated. I only presume him to be missing. Until we know otherwise. As he went out. Out on the search.
in insulin tolerance and another tip came tip we went I was never marked as resolved stone and the thing was um, take a look about it only what the file Potentially, I've put the file together as him being potentially missing. As him being potentially missing due to no contact. Since he went on that tip. Since he went on that tip. Find him. I'm in. I'll be sure to see if found or let you know we are going out there. HQ four nine two. It's a potential entry. I've just sat here just writing telegrams over and over. Do I do diligence? This. Especially after I got things from the end yesterday. So, that's a bit of a crazy old day. So, what happened yesterday? So, I had to go on a crazy, crazy search and rescue yesterday, which was fun. Really, really fun. I've just responded to that tip from the uh, wonderful from the deputy. So concerning uh, Williams, yeah, I've only done a document as in missing because, well, and it's more of a potential anyway. 
because I don't want it to. Um, because if, if if he's out there for a long period of time, right. then you know you just just got to uh, avoid any risk. You know. That's right. Uh, always good to be concerned there, until uh, until you know. Until we is, know, is not... un until we know otherwise, I'm just playing it safe, basically. I'm sure nobody can complain about that, right? Right. Well, I'd hope not. <laughs> I would very much hope not. Well, especially concerning a deputy there. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to do now? Uh... I did, uh, I didn't have an idea for a project. Oh, but, yeah? Uh, I reckon, I reckon we need a senior ranger, right? Um, you'll need a senior to approve it. What you thinking? Uh, up in cold, though. All right. Some... What some investigation in the ice there. Oh, oh I'm so, I, yeah, I'm sure they'd be all for that. Mm. Well, I mean, uh, God forbid, Mr. Bugsy, something does go thawing out of a broken ice that they might chip out there. Yeah. Wreak havoc here in the Commonwealth. Well, yeah. No, absolutely. Are really you, uh, where are you assigned to? Have you done your uh, your assignment yet? Your assigned region. Um, whereabouts uh, whereabouts could we uh check that for? So, uh, it's at the bottom of the first page. So it's the assigned region master folder. Um, they've changed uh -huh. stationing now. So you don't station at a single tower. You station in an entire area now instead. And you pick from one of the five areas. Wonderful. So, yeah. All right, outstanding. So it's a uh, self choice here. Yeah, you get to uh, you get to choose. So just the bottom document in the, that is the region roster. Just put down your um, just put down your name and your telegram number, whichever region you want to be in. Well, wonderful. Much obliged then. Um. For uh, for Colter, is there not? Uh... It's Amberino. That would be. All right. Join us in Amberino. I'm in Amberino too. Wonderful. And um, Ms. Bugsley. Yeah. Uh, you know when um, this will go in full effect? Uh, what was that? Sorry. Uh, you know when this will go full in full in effect? Uh, about nine days ago. <laughs> oh, that's right, huh? We don't have to go and yeah. like be up there all the time. It's just you know, if there's a lot of rangers around, then you know you go up there and. Well, I, I did see um, on the fifteenth there. But um, you know, it wasn't any kind of official meeting of sorts. So no, so it's um, yeah. So the um, the assigned regions is the uh, it's it's more for you to go and learn that area more than anything. So it's not well, like a um, it's not like oh, you know, why are you in Strawberry if you're assigned to Ambrino? Get yourself to Coulter or something. I mean, that's right. Obviously, if you want to go and work up in Coulter, there's nothing stopping you. But um, you know. I'm assigned to Amberino, but I still spend a lot of my time here in Strawberry because, mm. um, well, it's just easier because it's a lot more central to everywhere. Right. So I'm still I'm I'm still here the majority of the time. 
Well, I've heard. I figure with uh, that investigation, the senior rangers are pretty good. Uh, might uh, spend maybe first part of small time up in court today. Yeah, I mean, write it up and then just obviously write, uh, just just uh, when you write up your project, um, put a put a brackets next to PRJ that you would put project. Just put proposal next to it. Mm -hmm. um, and then you obviously... Reckon to, you reckon to fill it all out before uh, getting a sign-off? Um, I don't think, there's, sure any, I don't think there's any harm. I don't think there's any harm right either way. I, I remember when I, when I wrote up my personal project, um, I wrote up like a, like a summary and kind of what I wanted to do at least. Um, and then I had a senior or a game warden look at it, um, before, uh, and then I had a scene, I, I had Kat look at it actually, um, and approve it. So... Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Oh, uh, someone's flagging me down. I'll be right back. Sure thing. Uh, it's Arden's telegram number. Um, uh, I want to be a Over it too much. Oh, right, okay, so. Leading that troll, and I did the wrong. I did the wrong thing. No, I don't like this. It's not very puzzly. Um... I hope you're not beating yourself up for what happened yesterday. Alfred influence in a way you really shouldn't have. Makes me wonder what else he's lied about. Uh... We're just gonna leave that at that because I, I I don't really know what else to say about it. So I don't really know what else to say about it. So. What was I going to do? So Arden's working at Emerald Tower right now. And she's sending a million and one telegrams out. Uh, fucking Tommy is writing up his project idea. 
let me let me lock the door. I'm gonna go and just bank some money first of all. And then once the money's banked, we'll we'll do something else. Not sure what we'll do, but we'll do something else. We shall, as we usually do, figure it out. That's it. Um, 40 bucks. So I'm only like $250 shy of where I was previously, which is great because that means I'm well on the way to uh, finishing this bolty. Realize that you could see in that room from here. Hmm. Hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. I kind of want to go on a patrol up north. Yeah. I regret. I regret to inform you, but I've uh, chosen New Hanover only because uh, seems like they need the people there. I'm disappointed. I'm not. <laughs> all right. Oh, hell. Couldn't let Cody have all the fun in New Hanover. No, you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. You can still do a project in Colt, though. I don't think anyone's going to queue your head off about it. That's right. Well, as long as the Hanover is doing all right there. Yeah, they'll be fine. And um, New Hanover is Emerald the Tower there, right? Yeah, so New Hanover... Let me tell you, uh, the new Hanover assigned region general information. Mm, uh, gotcha. Your notable areas are the Heartlands, Roanoke Ridge, and Cumberland Forest. Wonderful. Whereas mine up in Amberino is, <laughs> where is it? I found it. It's, uh, oh, God damn it. There was something. Where the hell is it? It's uh, Grizzlies, Wapiti, Mount Hagen, Coulter and the Frontier. Um, now, I'm starting to learn my way fairly well around Mount Hagen, seeing as I've done multiple search and rescues there over the past couple of days. Uh, I really need to learn the frontier. Really mm. need to learn the frontier at some point. Well, I reckon Mr. Bugs will head over there sometime. I share my knowledge there with you. Oh, well, uh, I'd, say na I'd say that'd be great right now, but maybe whilst there's not many of us around. Um, mm, indeed. I'd say if we had another, just kind of waiting by the tip line. And yeah, most definitely. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, I'd be straight up for going up to the frontier and figuring mm. out my way around. Cause... Uh, yeah, well, I would like to say it's uh, kind of four points to uh, Colter. Yeah. So if you look like, you know, draw a star, like an imaginary star in your head, the bottom right leg is essentially uh, essentially not there as it's in another region. But, um, yeah, and I could basically reckon all from that star there and with the locations, uh, you know, kind of known all the whiteouts kind of, and then centrally in that star to cold. It's probably a good... Probably a good description. Hopefully it makes sense there for you. Yeah, it does a little bit. Definitely. Definitely does. I'll um mm. I'll certainly have a look over it all at um some point. Uh, just gotta yeah, uh, just gotta yeah. figure it all out. Mm -hmm. Well the most tricky is uh you know, for the most part on the bottom left leg of the star for Colter. Uh, you have uh, Lake Elizabeth there, and then top left there. Oh, I I know Colto. I know Colto all right. It's uh, mm -hmm. the actual frontier past Colto. Right. That's right. my. Uh, right. That's right. my. And, uh, that's and my... you're familiar with uh, the singing route, right? Uh, the glacier. Yes. Yeah, the glacier. Yeah. All right, and uh, yeah, for the most part, once you're there, you head up more north. You'll find uh, I like to call a base camp there. Yeah. 
it's rather the the biggest uh, you know living quarters uh, up north there. From yeah. there, you'll you'll find a uh, kind of a neck where you you kind of have an incline there. Yeah. And then uh, really into the frontier there. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, I guess nobody wanted uh, the pleasure of having Roanoke, huh? I don't think so. I, I, to be honest, I hate Roanoke with a burning passion. I hate searching mm. Roanoke. I hate doing anything in Roanoke, to be honest. No, Especially Northern you, Roanoke. Northern Roanoke is mm. just full of cougars and pain. Well, some of my darkest days uh, transpired out of Roanoke there. Yeah. But uh, where where is help needed is uh, where where I'll find myself most oh, definitely. Oh, I'll uh, I'll go there. Don't get me wrong. If I have to go there, I'll go there. But I don't mm. generally like to go by choice. Heard that. Well, if we don't get into the next few minutes. Yeah, um, probably return uh to uh my boarding room over there and um, probably rest my head for. Several hours here. If you want to go and rest your head for a bit, don't uh, don't feel the don't feel the need to stay. Yeah, well, much obliged. Yeah, yeah looking it's... forward to to the weekend here, Saturday. Uh, seems like we have some uh, some activities. Yeah, it looks like we do. It looks like we're gonna have a busy day on Saturday, which will be good. Mm. Be good. Right. And uh, following Sunday, which uh, should be a, a good hoover of a meeting there. Yeah. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, well, looking forward to it. I yeah, myself, no. um, with the with the new recruits, Mr. Bugsley, if uh, if I may uh, ask you, with the recruits uh, freshly turning green, have they had a snow patrol? Um, I think quite a lot of them. I think uh, I think quite a lot of recruits have had their snow patrols. I think they have. Outstanding. I think they All have. Right. Wonderful. Yeah, I was thinking tomorrow here, uh, if if uh planning on uh being in then uh may may uh take a look and if I have some availability here maybe head up to Colton and form a uh frontier uh patrol there. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Wonderful. All right. Well with that being said, Mr. Bugsley, uh you take care there. It's always a pleasure, sir. Likewise, Tommy, it's uh, it's good to see you. I don't see you often enough, so it's uh it's good to see you. Indeed, indeed. All right. Well, hey, take care of this, sir. Yeah, you too, all right? All right, will do. All right, good day. Be safe. Much obliged. So, 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 so. probably go send a tip back to Warden and I might just say I'm going to come over to Emerald just to I'm sure I sent that to the right telegram number WE394 I hope I did I bloody hope I did uh, problematic if not I'm uh... you know what yeah I'm going to ride to Emerald I don't really want to just be here on my own I'll send a tip in saying uh, Pugs will be travelling to ES and then oh, travelling to Emerald. Uh, compares Telegram. Ranger. Uh, heading to Emerald. Send a telegram. Boom. Let's. Let's 
get over to Emerald Tower. I don't want a beer on my own and Ar Arden's over there. But I like Arden. Arden's my friend, so I want to go and hang out with Arden. Make sure the door's locked and then we'll leave. Make sure the door is locked. The door is locked. Then we'll grab a horse. And we'll go. Where is my big old... Where's my big old goofy horse? There he is. Let's... Let's go for a rizzle. Let's go for a good old ride. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Not ridden this horse in a good few days. I, I, I've missed riding my big Hungarian. Because it's fucking huge, this horse is. Jesus, going mental. There we go. Yeah, so we had some uh, we had some stuff happen yesterday. Like obviously in the uh, in the afternoon after uh, after I had some dinner, I said I was going to stream and I I didn't. But um, we had a really busy afternoon. Um, we had to go and rescue two rangers who'd fallen off very early in the morning uh, off of Mount Hagen. So we had to go and find them. Uh, I got in slight trouble for it because uh, I invited a civilian along by accident. I say by accident, I say I was almost, like, almost, I say coerced, but um, Pugsy was essentially talked into it and then kind of realised his mistakes after another ranger brought it up. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so he's just, uh, today, today's just uh, had things happen, but, um, well, yesterday had a lot of things happen. It was a crazy search and rescue. We were out there for a while as well, and, uh, me and another one of the rangers, uh, Silas, we had to do some real climbing, some real, real climbing, uh, to go and find our way, uh, to go find our way around. It was, it was really fun, actually. It was really, really fun. I should have cleaned my guns before I left. Oh, well, that's fine. I can always ride back to Strawberry and get some, uh, get some more, if necessary. I've missed the I've missed the turn. I rode too far and I've missed the turn. I knew straight away. I knew straight away. But yeah, and then um Today I've woken up and basically I've seen that a deputy went out on a search and rescue very early this morning. Never set, never responded and an hour later a tip came in for the same area. So uh, we can only assume that he was eaten by a bear at some point. Um, which is fun. So I've set up a missing persons file for that. Because at this point it's been like well over 12 hours since they've disappeared. Well over 12 hours. Oh no, actually it's not, but it's like not far away from 12 hours. And they probably won't get found until tomorrow unless they're up early today. So... So yeah, so I've had to, I've written a file up for that as a potentially missing person. Which someone will probably no doubt tell me I'm wrong for doing, but um, I'm doing it anyway, because got to be seen to be doing the right thing all the time. And yeah, so we're going to uh, we're gonna go say hello to our fellow ranger who's at Emerald Emerald Tower. See what they're getting up to. They said they went over there because they had a lot of telegrams they had to fill in. Like a lot of telegrams that they had to send out to people. I don't know why, but... They said that they just had like a lot of telegrams that they needed to send to people, so... 
We'll go disturb them if they're at Emerald Tower. I do like the Heartlands. I do. We'll go and check at Emerald Station first. If Arden's there, then we'll just go and hang around with Arden. Send a tip in saying that we've made it. Um, and then, yeah. Then we'll move up to Emerald Tower. Watch it. I bet Arden won't even be there. She'll have moved on somewhere. She'll have absolutely moved on somewhere. I can genuinely guarantee it. I can genuinely guarantee that she'll have moved on somewhere. Because that is just my luck. Like, genuinely my luck. I should have checked the job board in Valentine on the way. Damn it. Oh, well. Oh, well. No, every time I try and jump this fence, it goes horrifically wrong for me. So we're just going to go round. Angry cow. Bye-bye, angry cow. There's Emerald Station. We're still over there. That's a ledge. Let's avoid that. Let us definitely avoid that ledge. And then we'll head to... I see somebody there. Is that... That's Arden, isn't it? Hey. How you doing? Yeah, good. I'm actually uh, reaching out to the newspaper, see if they want to publish my latest work. Ooh, that's exciting. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, of course I do. It's short, and you have to promise not to tell anyone that I read it to you. I'm not going to tell anyone. Okay. I'm, st I'm stood here trying to name it. That's why I, I haven't sent it yet. Ah, but... I see. Okay. Oh, how her eyes shimmer when she talks about the things she loves. Our voice of brightness with nature in her hair and burden in her chest. Now draped in black, she is one of the rare ones. So effortlessly herself. And we all love her for it. What do you think? I wonder who it's about. Hmm. <laughs> Are we in your way, sir, by the way? Fine. You're fine. All right. No, I like it. It's good. Very good. Hmm. I was thinking about putting something in there about guidance or voice of reasoning, but I wanted to keep it short and simple. It speaks for itself, kind of. It does. I think it does. We'll see if they publish it. I'm sure they will. I hope so. They published your last one, right? Mm hmm That was a long time ago now. Oh, yeah, it was a little bit, but you're not wrong. Well, I'd come over and uh, chill at the tower with you. Tommy's uh, Tommy's gone to bed for a bit. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I just need to figure out what to name this thing. I'll be a few. All right, I'll uh, I'll be up at the tower, just mining the tip mm -hmm. line. Let's go check the tip line, shall we? Knowing my luck, somebody will be over there with a... Somebody will have had a fucking... Big injury in, like, the middle of nowhere. And we'll have to go out and find them. Great. Fantastic. Another day in the life. <laughs> Hitch the horse, we'll give it a quick brush because it's a dirty boy. And we don't look at the Mr. Drifty, you always come with a nice pole like this. Look at look at that fur pattern. Look at that. Ooh. That is such a nice fur pattern on that horse. I do get why it's so expensive. I do absolutely get why it's so expensive. Right, so they're both tips from me. I'm sure I sent that to the right person. I'm not like really paranoid I didn't. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Well, uh. I want to be watching this way because I just want to try and keep an eye out on um, Arden all the way over there. So I'm trying to see if there's anything that I can do on here at the moment. So I've got my civilian awareness project. I, f yeah, so Warden purchased a wagon six suits to help mage, but not only would it be useless for other ranger outings and excursions. Yeah, so she bought the, uh, that I need to actually maybe sit down with her at some point and go through that again. This needs... It's something happening with it, Jesus, because it's been sat here for days, so I don't know why it's still there. Grand Oak, Great Water Investigation. That dossier probably wants to be put in projects. That's been there for a long time as well. And then I've got nothing to add anywhere, do I, at the moment? So, civilian ride-alongs. Yeah, Cat Carver's a huntsman, no? Hun well, huntress, as such. She's a huntress. Or a huntswoman. <laughs> and then... So, yeah, they've hidden Truman's thingy folder, which is good. Buddy, secretary knowledge. Need to try. Maybe the best is giving us green. Buddy failed his mock SNR and it was brought up that he needs to work on many things that are vital to be in a range and now the vote has passed if we are seeing these issues. But they need to agree at reasonable level before he's given the green. Let's put Buddy on an intense. So this is a recruit that's been passed to be given his green, but like we're actually, seems like that we are not actually wanting to give it him yet. <laughs> He's funny. He came to he came to strawberry the 
fucking strawberry yesterday. And all I was, uh, and he was being washed down a fucking river. Oh my god, he's such a donut. He's such a donut. I love him though. I absolutely love him. He's right funny. Right, right funny. Ooh. I, just, I, just, I think somebody's just about to come on duty. I just heard something ping. I'm not entirely sure. be lying though. I could very much be lying. Let's see if I can get Arden to come. I think we'll try and go out to Tall Trees, me and Arden, see if we can have a look over this, uh, do a Tall Trees patrol. Should be nice and fun. Should be real nice and fun. Uh, they're all done. They're all done. Yeah, so this is the tip. This came in, uh, what's that? Two, nine hours ago now. So he's been gone for, well, he's technically been gone for ten hours, actually, is what he's been gone for. That's the last search and rescue he went on, was that one. So, who knows? Who knows? I'm just interested to see where they are and what they're doing. Seven tall trees. They're probably here at Bear Town. It's not the hugest area. But there's a bear that lives there, there can be a bear that lives there, there can be a bear that lives up around here somewhere. There's a bear that lives around here, there's a bear that lives up around here somewhere, there's a cougar that lives in there, there's a bear that lives around here. Um, there's bears that live everywhere in tall trees, my god, it's actually a joke. It's actually such a joke. Um, it's... It's... It can be really rough going around tall trees. Really, really rough going around tall trees. Especially if you don't know what you're doing because it's just like... There's so many ways that it can go wrong. So many ways it can go wrong. Painful. Who's coming to the meeting then? Brixton, McKinney, Rain, Pugsley, Helmer, and Remington. Tibbet, maybe. Scout, maybe. Cody. Buzz. That's Augustina, Sasha, Wade, Rockwell, Justine. That's Sawyer, isn't it? Crane and Kusa. How many people is that so far? That's what? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, potential well, sixteen, potentially nineteen. Oh, oh, it's not bad going, then is it? It's not bad going. I think uh Alfred probably wants to be removed from that. Because uh well he's no longer Ranger, is he? So probably should not be on there. Um, I'll just leave it. Actually, I don't want to be seen to just like messing with shit. It's not my, uh, it's not my domain to be doing such things, to just be messing with stuff. I want to go back down and make sure Arden's all right because I would have thought she'd be up here by now. And she's not, and I'm paranoid. I know she's sending a lot of telegrams though, so. Like a lot of telegrams, so.
wondered where you. No, I just oh. wondered where you were. I just, uh, I got paranoid. Oh, it's okay. I couldn't name it, so I decided to not name it. Yeah, it doesn't need a name. Hmm. Does it it's need a not... name for a pretty poem? <laughs> it's not one I uh, put too much thought into. I kind of just wrote it, and I don't want to get stuck on like stuck on words, and it has to be perfect and everything. You know, sometimes a poem can just be yeah, a bunch of thoughts written down. Yeah. No, of course, yeah, absolutely. Does, mm. does anybody else actually know about you and Kat yet? Um, just, just Silas and Rodney. You three are the, well, three people uh, spend the most time within the Rangers and well, my, my closest friends within the Rangers. Aw. Thanks. It's, it's important that nobody knows, though. No, I'm pushing you. Anyone telling you I think I shouldn't have told anyone but it is what it is I've not said a word to anyone to be honest half the time I forget I even know it so <laughs> that's good I know I trust you I didn't mean it like that no I know I know what you meant <sighs> it gets hard you know just a lot of people that want what she knows. She told me she's gonna give it maybe another month or so before she uh, goes back to being. Uh, oh. Uh, say be well before she goes back to not having hair dyeing and things. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's what she said to me yesterday, at least. Yeah, as long as nothing new happens, you know, because at the same time, people find out about your, what you look like now and stuff like that, and sometimes it's better to just change that back, and it's almost like a new disguise, you know? Yeah, I just, you can't live that lie forever, you know? No, well, sometimes you don't have a choice. No, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Only we were luckier. I consider myself pretty lucky. Under the hey. circumstances. I feel like I've been very unlucky recently. Why is that? Yeah, just a bunch of stuff, you know, that's happened and it's just, uh, you know, just a bunch of, uh, bunch of crazy stuff has happened. It's just, uh, you know. Takes a takes a toll on somebody. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, I guess. Um, what's what's happened? Well, um, you know, I know you said obviously about I shouldn't really take any blame for yesterday, but I, I or, or anything or beat myself up over it. But I I do, unfortunately, I just. You know, I was the one leading that patrol, and it was on me as such. And yeah, you know, people have said I got thrust into a decision, and you know, Buzz said that, Olive said that, you know, um, you've said it. You know, it doesn't change that that decision still happened. You know, and I still technically broke state rules. It 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 still happened. But everyone is saying it, so why don't you believe it? I don't know, it's just my head's just, you know. Just can't fully uh, get over it just yet. I That's think it, understandable. I think it's... It's very conflicting because... I've known Alfred a very long time now. Mm -hmm. Well, I say a very long time. I've known Alfred for... As long as I've been a ranger and a recruit, Alfred was the first person I rode out with ever. Mm -hmm. On the day that Alfred got his green, I was the first person he took out. <laughs> so, um, 
And that was my first day as a recruit. So I've been very good with Alfred for a long time. And I, w I would say for the most part, I, I, I trust Alfred. And, you know, Alfred told me yesterday after it had all happened um, that he, he didn't realise the rules were that way. You know, <laughs> when I saw him in Strawberry, he said he didn't realise the rules were that way. He's a senior ranger. He knows this. Yeah. I'm trying to understand why he's doing it, though. I think he's he just can't let go. But he... I think that's it. He it's, resigned himself. He wasn't yeah, even asked to leave. Well, Alfred left because he felt like he'd finally gotten the kick he needed to leave when they demoted him. And still he can't let go? I don't understand the reasoning. I think when you've done something like what we've done that's been that's so busy all the time like that, and it's just, you know, only left a couple of days ago, I would probably still be, I'd probably be the same. I'd probably still be hanging around Strawberry trying to figure out what I'm doing. Hmm. Trying to walk in to check the tip line when I can't, you know, all of that. I guess, maybe. I get it to an extent, you know. I I, I want to say that what... Me personally, I want to say that I, I don't think Alfred did anything. Hold on, I'm trying to think of the word here. I think Alfred was just trying to help. And I, that that that's just me though. I think Alfred was just trying to just trying to help. But the problem is, is sometimes the way that Alfred gets things across sounds a lot more kind of bossy than anything. I didn't perceive him as bossy yesterday. I thought also that he wanted to help, but he inserted himself where he knows or should know he should not be, and it could have gotten us in a lot of trouble. Oh yeah, and that's. That's why after I thought about it, after you brought it up and I sat and thought about it, that decided that we needed to, you know, send Alfred packing as such, send him on his way. Mm -hmm. Was exactly. I'm really glad you reason. took that seriously, by the way. I'm really glad you, you did that. Well, you were very concerned and I didn't, um, we needed to try and keep as le level ahead as possible. And so... <laughs> If it was distracting, and then I that... went and shouted at Silas. That went yeah, great. <laughs> it, it's out. Silas needed shouting at. He needed putting in place. He did. Mm. He needed somebody to tell him that what he was doing was he was reckless yesterday. He was. Yeah, he admitted it and said thanks to me later. I. So we're good. He, he, he was he was reckless yesterday. He he asked. He told. He said thank you to me for trying to keep him in line when I when I did because. He needed to be kept in line. Yeah. Because he was... Because he was reckless, you know. No, did I... Did I know that things were how they were between him and Therese? I guessed it, right? But none of us mm -hmm. were really sure. Maybe some people knew. I don't know, but... Um, you know. Um, but I, I, I sort of had an inkling that things were happening between the pair of them but that's it's it's not my business so i don't ask right mm. and like you know silas was very silas was very stressed in that moment because of that you know but that doesn't mean that me or you cared any less you know because mm -hmm. we work with therese and you know we work with pia so of course we care there's there's, there's there's no reason why we why we there would be no reason sorry why we don't care and i think uh, i i i think just with the whole thing it was it was just you know uh, alfred was just seeing two formerly fellow rangers injured and just wanted to do his bit to help and i think that was it but to try and keep us all in the right headspace to do it as much as, as 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 much as it it upset me a little bit that I had to do it because Alfred's my friend more than anything, but and I know that his head was in the right place as such, but you know, I had to send him on his way, and it, it's not that I disagree with us having to send him away. I understand why we had to send him away. You know, it's it it's nothing like that, but it just on as a on a personal level because he's my friend, and I understand that he was just trying to do the right thing. 
you know, I felt a little yeah. bit bad. That's all. No, I understand. Of course, and that's the problem that we felt bad and we trusted him because he is our friend and used to be senior and he still, you know, he used that. And still, when we did ask him to go away, he was questioning it. Like, what's your reasoning? And like, really defensive. And it's like, oh, we've done this before. And this is when you need someone who's really good in this. And I was like, we know that, but you can't be here. So stop trying to persuade us, you know? Yeah. I didn't like that. And it made me think, and when I w was talking to Kat about it, and she was just saying, that's not true, that's not true, that's not true, what he said. I'm like, okay, well, what else is not true that, that he said? Because he's saying a bunch of shit. Uh, I'm guessing you've talked to him about why, or maybe he's mentioned why he was demoted and stuff like that. Well, Alfred's told me his side of the story. Mm -hmm. you know. And now I'm starting to wonder how much of that is true. Well, but, it's... but again, we're all entitled to our own perception of things, it's... I guess. I've always, I've, I've always been brought up with the idea that there is three sides to every story, right? Mm. And it's the, 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 the two, or, or, or more than, or more than three sides, right? So, if it's a story involving two people, then there's one person's view of it, there's another person's view of it, and there's the truth, which is somewhere in mm. the middle, right? So, Alfred's told me his side of it, and I know there's been plenty of rangers who have left the rangers because of deuce or not not deuce sorry or because of things that buzz has said and buzz has done right i know that okay it's you know there's you if if, if you didn't know that then surprise you know um that that's the unfortunate truth there are rangers who have left the ranger corps because of how they've been treated by buzz previously yeah. i personally have never had a bad problem with buzz me neither, and I mean, he he did go on that leave, and people seemed to be doing okay with him being back and working and everything. I mean, it's been a while now. I I've, don't, I don't. Again, I've, I've, I've never had a problem. If it, the only times where Buzz has had a problem with me is where I've done something wrong, and that's it. It's, 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 it's never been because... as he should. <laughs> Well, yeah, he's he's my boss. Of course, he's got every right to 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 be annoyed at me. It's like I took a I took a note off of the wall when Skinner was around outside mm. of the lodge, and I didn't get an I didn't get an account of the note for us. Um, oh, before handing it to the law. Before handing it to the law, and I should never have this taken it off the wall silly anyway. Because they can get mistake. because they and it was and I didn't realize that the law could get like fingerprints and things like that. I, I, I had no idea, so. It was just me going, I need to get rid of this off the wall before some other ranger sees it and just like shits the bed over it or, mm. or you know, or, or, or something else. So I just decided I'll get it off the wall. I'll go and contact the law. I'll get them to look over it and then that'll be it. And then it was can, good reasoning. We can move on. I would have done the same, I think. And Buzz wasn't too, you I can't say he was he wasn't too happy with it but he understood my viewpoint at least and we talked it out and that was it you know? yeah the most important thing at the end of the day is that we have good reasoning and that we think the right way about things and then if you miss a detail or you didn't know about fingerprints then then we learn that and then like buzz always says himself it's there's you know there's no failing just learning yeah so. it, it's it's you know, it's the same today. It's well, it's the same yesterday. Sorry, you know, I I talked it out with Buzz. Buzz said you won't be. He told me he's like you're not in trouble. You know, it's just for the future. You know, it's just this, these are what the rules are and whatever. And I understood and I, I told him my side of it. And I said why I did what I did, um, and that that was it. And that was that that was just it. Hmm. But I, I can't say I've had the issues with Buzz or Deuce or anyone. Um, who other people have had? I don't even know what these issues have been. I just know that well, what Alfred has told me about 
feeling had being held back to get game warden, but maybe that wasn't so much buzz after all. I think some of it seems rightfully so. He had he had some issues. Bright Dawn and White Wolf had some issues with Buzz about essentially something that he said about their relationship. Hmm. Um, which um, I don't remember off the top of my head what the comment was, but the comment certainly wasn't a fair comment. But this must have been so long ago. It was. It was a while ago now. I mean, you think about how long ago Bright Dawn and White Wolf left the left the core now. You know, mm. you're talking about a while before Buzz took those days off as such. You know, when he took that when he took that week off, that week off yeah. that was also the week that Nathan died. Because mm -hmm. I went and spoke to Buzz that week. I think I went and spoke to him on the Thursday. I think it was. Nathan Nathan passed on the Wednesday. I went and spoke to Buzz the next day. I think it was. Hmm. I needed to speak to somebody about that kind of thing because I'd never had that really happen in my life before and I didn't know who to go and talk to. And I was like, well, he's mm -hmm. somebody who's probably been through this before. And so I was like, I'll go and speak to him. And I was probably with him for two hours. I probably would. Hmm. I was probably with him for like two hours with that side of Black Boy and we talked it all out and... You know, he seemed disappointed in himself for 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 things he'd said, and you know, it was. I think it was a healthy conversation. I think it was like a really healthy conversation. Well, I'm really happy to hear that. We all but, need someone who listens to us. Yeah, but um, you know, last week I found. Last last week, last uh, last Thursday, I found two people dead for the first time ever. You found people dead? What? Yeah, it was a search at Siren's Cave. Mm. Uh, me, Hellman, and Rain went. Um, two people had been mauled by a bear, and I mean mauled by a bear. It was not pretty. Mm. I threw up when I got back to Strawberry. It was disgusting. Oh. But it just haunted me. It just did. It just, you know, it was just really quite a harrowing experience. And it's just really kind of, mm. you know, it's really, really shook me all weekend. And, you know, yeah, I, I totally it's, get that. it's just like the past week. I just feel like a very. I, I feel like I've just had a, a, like, just like a bad seven days where it's just been like, I just not really felt like a very good ranger the past seven days. Uh, I've, I've, I've felt like a, a, I've felt like a failure some days. Uh, oh, God. You and me both. And like, like yesterday after that, I felt, yesterday after all of that, I felt, e even though we'd found Rockwell and we'd found Therese and we, me and Silas climbed up a fucking mountain to go and find them. And we both fell a couple of times on the way up. You know, even then. Still felt like a failure when I got back. But we, we did it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know, but it's just, you know, it, it's just, you know, it's like, congratulations, you found them, but, you know, you did this wrong. And it's just like, it's, and it was, it was just like, I've, I've just, I've just felt like a bit of a failure, really, the past week or so. I understand. I feel like I, I feel like I'm letting people down, and I just, I don't really know why, and I'm just, yeah. It's probably not the case at all. It's probably not, but it's just in my head. I just constantly am thinking to myself, and just I am just a huge failure at the moment. You're really not, though. You're one of the absolute greatest rangers I know. I would love to see you get senior one day. Just the way you, like how amazing you are with the recruits, is just 
one of many things. Like, you're such a good teacher. And they all look up to you. You're thorough. You, you act fast on the tips. You, you make sure to check in. You're thorough with your paperwork and giving feedback to the recruits. I don't think a lot of people take much care into that, you know? I think it's really important. You care about us, all the rangers. It's very obvious. You know? Yeah, it's just... We're all always going to make mistakes, big or small. Hell, there's probably... <laughs> there's probably this really big mistake you're going to potentially end up making in the future. And that that's okay. That's going to be okay. You know? Mistakes are mistakes. And because... I mean, nobody chooses to make a mistake, right? That that would be, it wouldn't be a mistake then. Yeah. As long as it's mistakes and not deliberately poor decisions, you're gonna be just fine, Puxley. Yeah, I'm trying, but it's just you know, it's just everybody just seems to be so negative in the call at the moment there's just so much negativity and it's like i had a really long discussion with sasha the other night about just things like that she feels very left out in the rangers doesn't well, she feel should talk to the seniors about she, that and let them know i i think she has but i, I don't know she she feels very left out uh she doesn't always feel like she's got she, she feels like she has to talk to recruits to get conversations out of people. You know, and then it's like... Rodney, who... I, I love Rodney, but Rodney seems to have a new problem every week or something. Mm. You know? Um, you know, one week it's... One, one week it's me, one week it's Silas, one week it's the law, the next week it's just the Rangers. Well, I mean... There's always going to be something going on. It's just about how we approach it and deal with it that matters. Yeah, it's just, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just, it's, it's just feeling very difficult at the moment to, you know, be... I don't know, try and be the ranger I'm always trying to be with everybody just because I feel like no matter what I try, people are just people are just pointing us down at every opportunity. Well, it's, all we can do is stay strong and keep doing our best in those situations, especially in those situations. And with people like like Sasha, for example, what we have to do is take care of one another. And I don't mean just listening. And being there, as, as important as that is, it's important to let her know that there's people who will listen and actually do something about it. Like, motivate her to speak up about it and actually go talk to... I think, like I say, I think she's already done that. Well, if she wasn't heard, then do it again. You know? Talk to someone yeah. else. If she talked to Buzz and didn't feel heard, talk to Wade. If, you know, some there's many... It's not just one person. There's no head ranger no, I either. Know. I know. So you keep talking until they hear you. And they should hear you. Yeah. And if you're not heard by a senior, you tell another senior that you weren't heard by a senior. we got to work like this because, I mean, I like to think we have good seniors. And if somebody finds out that another senior didn't listen to someone properly, I think they would take that very seriously. Well, you'd want to hope so. Exactly. And I mean... Nobody's perfect, right? I can see a new, like Michael, for example. Let's say he just got he he got his poncho yesterday, I and know then he did. yeah, yeah. So he just got his poncho, and let's say he had an issue, and he goes to um, uh, sad to have to use this example, but let's say he goes to Deuce, and because of Deuce being Deuce, who does care a lot, but is kind of hard to read, maybe, and maybe he doesn't feel heard. He needs to go to someone else like he can't 
I would be sad to see Michael feel let down and be like, oh, just because this one senior made me feel like I wasn't heard, all the seniors, like no senior, no game wardens will listen to me. We need to get that out of people's heads and remember that there's many of us. Oh, is that the train? Huh. I love hearing the train. But you know, like, because that, that will happen. And miscommunication is such a common thing. Misunderstandings and miscommunication. And it's going to happen. Whether or not, for example, Deuce meant to not hear him out, which I doubt. But, you know, it might happen. And yeah. we need to just keep trying and, and motivate people to speak their minds. I'm sad to hear that Sasha's not doing all right. I want to... I want her to, to thrive. She's so good. She's so good at what she does. She's so thorough. She always, always instantly heads out as soon as there's a tip. She's like, okay, let's go. You know? Yeah, I know. It's... Love that about her. Yeah, I know. I'm just, yeah. You know, I think I want to get senior one day. I didn't think I'd want that. But just yesterday seeing all the recruits prep up for the trials and seeing Michael go off to do his mock search and rescue to get his green kind of really motivated me and just reading Rain's uh, she she wrote the the patrol guides they're really good and I can't wait to go on one of them and I want to get better at teaching the recruits and it's if I was a senior I would I would say that it's so important that we keep talking to people and keep motivating people to talk because as soon as you start feeling left out it, it's hard you know yeah yeah no i know it's yeah that's something i try and do all the time all the time mm -hmm. is to try and keep everybody as involved as i possibly can i talk to everyone i'm around as much as i can be you know i'm mm -hmm. i'm here for whoever needs me you know Hmm. It just doesn't always feel like enough. Well, no one person makes rangers. No one person can carry that. It's, it's a group effort, but all we can do is our own best. And if you wake up and do that every day, you should think about that when you go to bed and feel like, you know, I did my best today and that's enough. That's all you can do. Yeah, I know. Because once you start letting that get to you, you're not going to be able to do your best because you're going to start doubting yourself. We can't have Pugsley doubting himself. Who's going to teach the recruits? It's all going to go to hell. Just take it day by day and <laughs> it sounds so cliche, but please don't be so hard on yourself. I know. I'm just at the moment. I just very much am hard on myself. Well, you've uh, identified your areas of that need uh, improvement. So work on that. <laughs> oh, thanks. I know it's not an easy task, but you're a great ranger. Just remember that. Thanks, Arden. I appreciate that. Of course. It's the least I could do. Sue's on duty. Ooh. 
wonder where he is. I've actually never met. Never um, met Sue Stout? Sue. No, because Hellman keeps doing the impression. It's so funny. And I've never met them. He spends a lot of time working out of um, Manzanita, I think. Or oh, is he stationed there? Uh, he was stationed there, but I, I don't know now. Yeah, it's a little bit messy there. You want to ride back to Strawberry? Or are you sure. Staying, are you staying out here for a little bit? Uh, no, I, I'm not sure. I do need to head back and I have a, <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but I have a bird in my hotel room. You have a bird in your hotel room? <laughs> He's a pet, okay. Cat found him one day. It's a cardinal. And... <laughs> So now I have a pet bird and he stays in my hotel room. <laughs> oh my god. I could take him out, you know? Because he will like sit on your shoulder or like in a little fold in your poncho or he will be like in the saddlebag poking his head out. Yeah. But I just don't want to like risk losing him or anything like that. No, absolutely. So yeah, I need to go check on him and I also need to make myself... Uh, some nice soup or something and just have a little bit of a rest. I'm not sure how much I'll be around tonight. Just thought I'd uh, put in the early hours, you know? Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Whoa, easy. Whoa. Oh Quick on the draw there. <laughs> I haven't had him out of the stables for quite a while. So I mean, yesterday was... You'd think that he'd be tired after yesterday, but yeah, now he's been. I've been trying to put some work into Cookie. My my. Well, he's not a wild horse anymore, but he really, really, really needs some more time. I'm starting to doubt if he's ever gonna be good enough to be a ranger horse. I don't know. Well, this horse Swanson, which I bought off Silas. It's a complete arsehole to Silas, but it's generally fine with me. <laughs> Tell me I should give Cookie away? Uh, if Cookie's a Hungarian, then no, don't give hun don't give Cookie away, because <laughs> Silas gave me a $2,000 horse for $100, so... Uh, well, that's Silas for you. Yeah. No, he's actually a... He's a... What is he? I think we guessed that he's a Kentucky Saddler or a Tennessee Walker. One or the other. It's hard to tell when you don't know for sure. Probably need a much better horse than that for ranger and stuff. That Mustang will be much more equipped for rangering. No, no, I, I have two ranger horses. It's just, you know, cat tamed him and stuff. And oh, stable boy has been like putting in a lot of work to make him rideable at all. And he's so sweet, but he's really, really like on edge all the time. Yeah. So, just wanted to check my yeah, telegrams I'm quickly. Just trying to take him on like the not as hectic days. See how I dodge that. And um, yeah, it's been good. Some days he's really, really good. Um, oh, I actually have a telegram from Cat. Everything okay? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just actually about the patrol that we're doing with the West Elizabeth group. Wait, so it's 2 p.m. tomorrow. Oof, I don't know if I'll make that. Do a small idea and then we're going to do mapping. so funny when she writes me um we keep work very separate and i can tell whenever she writes me because she always signs it carver obviously and i always reply with ranger remington <laughs> 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 let me just reply this quickly no you're fine take your time I'll uh, just send a tip in actually to the rangers just saying we're riding back to Strawberry. Yeah, sounds good. Um, 
what was I gonna do? That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. There was a grey wolf wandering around Strawberry earlier. Huh? The fuck? Yeah. Just oh, one. I got attacked by a cougar in the water. When you know, when you just come out of the little river crossing before going up the hill to get to Blackwater. The cougar was in there? It was in the water. That means it probably chased somebody. Yeah. Oh, did, and there did, were wolves too. It's did crazy. you get got or did you manage to get the nah, cougar? Almost though, because I was so shocked. And like my, my horse bucked me off in the water and I was like trying to run, you know, you can only run so fast in water and it was yeah. like creeping up on me and I was like, ah. <laughs> oh, I actually, you know how I said I've never seen the Beecher's Hope cougar? Now you've seen it. No, that was not it, but I did see it today, yes. Oh, there you go. That was probably it as well, though, <laughs> if I think about it. I, I, I can't do two things at once, hang on. No, you uh, You send your telegram, I'll wait. You're saying to cat, sorry, I ain't coming. I don't want to be there. Bye. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> There's a train heading north from Saint Denis. Just checks the train schedule now. It's probably heading up mm. through uh, through Van Horn to Annersburg, I would imagine. I haven't been in Annersburg for quite a while. Oh no, I shouldn't have said that. Oh no. Why now? You're gonna get a tip for North uh -huh. Roanoke. I fucking hate that place. Sorry. I do too. I hate Roanoke with a burning passion. Oh, man, that was a good conversation. A really, really good conversation. <sighs> Be good to get back to the old strawberry. Strawberry. Damn, I do like this jumper and this outfit. I've really, like, just forgotten about being in a Western and just, like, made cool outfits instead. <laughs> that really aren't style of the time. I can never see me. Did you say something, Arden? Yeah, I was gonna. Is 
So basically she reaches out and she says that there's a time change for the West Elizabeth patrol. Uh, we'll be doing a small idea, blah, blah, blah. And then she says, meeting at Strawberry Lodge, 2 p.m. sharp. Stay safe. Game Warden Carver. I'm like, Carver, I am excited to attend, but I see a small risk of me potentially being late. Hopefully not, though. If I'm not on time, can I please reach out and join along the way? Thanks in advance, Ranger Remington. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so formal. It's so funny. So, so formal. <laughs> really not giving it away, are you? <sighs> what do we get in this office? I wonder if the door's unlocked. Damn it, I thought you might be able to get in that office. I'm sad. You can't. Well, try harder. No, I, the door's locked. I wanted to stand behind the counter and be like, Hello, I'll take your post from you. Woo! <laughs> do, a, do a cat. Yeah. Alrighty. You ready to go? Yep. Alrighty. Minus stopping in Valentine on the way back, I just want to check the job board. Sure, why not? Oh, bees. Ow. Ah. You okay? Just, uh, sorry, I had a bunch of bees flying in my face. Ooh. Alrighty, let's go to smelling time. To where? Smelling time. Smell. <laughs> smelling time. I love that. That's funny. I've not heard that one. <laughs> Whoop! Oh my lord! You're trying to kill us? Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Do you not trust me? I trust you until you give me reason not to. When I tell everyone all of your secrets, I won't. I'm joking. I never would. <laughs> Dog. Dog to the right. That is a dog. I told you it was a dog. It's the most worthwhile call out I'll ever do as a ranger. <laughs> dog to the north. Dog. Bird. There's a dog. Let's stop and pet it. <laughs> Slowing down. Petting Just dog. <laughs> Slowing down to a stop. Petting dog. Petting dog hurt. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. Petting dog hurt. <laughs> you want to race to Valentine? Uh, two, two wagons uh, ahead. Hurt. Let's wait for them to get out of the way. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my horse doesn't go, like, Ooh. it doesn't accelerate very well. Get off my butt. I'm trying to get <laughs> past trying to you. I'm trying to get past you. Oh, this is a lot closer than I thought it Come would on. be. Oh, my gosh. Come on. <laughs> We're taking the railroad. Yeah. Oh. Come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> don't get don't get knocked. <laughs> oh. Shit. 
Come on. Yes! I'm pulling away! No! Yeah, one, woo! Uh, I Yay! Should, I should beast fly my face again. God damn it. I won, I won, I won, <laughs> I won, I won. Loser! Loser! <laughs> that was a close one, though. Okay, that's enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a close one, though. Yeah, it was. If it wasn't, if it wasn't for the bees, I would have beat you. If it wasn't for the be beat you. <laughs> well, guess Can what? I beat you too, then, too? What? Guess what? I won what? because of the bee. <laughs> Can we go check if there's any deputies in town? I want to let them know the cat got the black poncho. What can do? Uh, looks like there's a. Oh, there's a horse outside. Yeah. I did send that deputy key via telegram. I'm not sure if I actually sent it to the right telegram number now is the problem. <laughs> yeah, she didn't put it in the thing, did she? Yeah, she did. She put it in the... Uh... Oh, because she put her name on the petition and I need to reach out to her. I'll just take it off of the... Off of the telegram later. Unless she's here. She's usually in Valentine. So did you give the petition over to somebody then? Nope, I had nothing to do with that. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Or maybe I got people talking about it, and that that's enough. Maybe. Let me park on my but horse. We'll I go did, see if anyone's uh, in. Yeah, I did um, take Cat out yesterday, and we just hadn't talked for a bit. And I could, and I got the chance to just read to her all the nice things that the deputy said as motivation. It was so sweet. You gave her a big sloppy kiss. <laughs> Shut up. You said, "Well done, darling." Hey, <laughs> have a big sloppy kiss. Mwah. <laughs> I don't sound like that. <laughs> all right, my name's Arden Remington. All right. <laughs> Imagine. Ready to the crossing. Any deputies inside? Hello. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> don't just try and open the door. I'm not opening the door. I'm knocking. I don't like you went for the handle. That's all. horse that is it kind of looks like silas's oh. horse you're doing the same thing i'm peering oh, through the window the and i don't i don't see anybody inside <laughs> they might not be here it's fine we'll, uh... no. it's whatever i wonder if they like eat their lunch in one of the cells <laughs> i think they go to the saloon That? Hello there. Hi, Ranger. Oh, look who it is. Hello, Sue Stout. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. I need to uh, speak to Law very quickly, and then I'll uh, I'll join with y'all in just a minute. Uh, we've just actually knocked on the door, and nobody answered. Um, okay. And I'm guessing I that met Sue. I'm guessing that might be why. Because I think the person. I'm Sue Stout. Hi, Ranger. I think the person who was there, there has. Left. Hi there, Ranger Remington. <laughs> Why is you, this wagon? I, I just. I just saw two deputies, not even two, three minutes ago, or five minutes ago, more like. What's uh, what's happened? Uh, there's a there's a very odd woman down at the bathhouse right now, go going by the name of Sasha, and she uh, she was, uh, and I don't know if I should take it too seriously because it is uh, a very odd place it's in general, bathhouse, being Valentine. Yeah. yeah. And so she was talking about wanting to put up advertisements for robbery lessons. Yeah, I would tell the law about that. Yeah, yeah. and I, uh -huh. she also didn't want to mention how she got her pump-action shotgun in front of me. So I, yeah, I didn't know if that, that was something I probably need to tell them to. Yeah, you should probably very yeah. much. I also just don't like being here. I don't yeah, like being here either. either. I don't. Yeah, yeah. We, I, I, we can. We can. We can. I can go send a telegram real quick to yeah, Law. Yeah, let's and, do that. Uh, yeah, and then we tell them that we're going to not here. So we're we're heading back to Strawberry. So or is, right. is I'll I'll ride with you. Are you you heading anywhere in particular or? 
No, I was actually going to come out to Emerald Tower. I saw your uh, your check in over there. I was going to come see you. Thought maybe that was a deputy, but I couldn't see a badge. Yeah, no, so I'm bad. telling you, I saw uh, I saw two deputies. I mean, just a, a few moments ago when they talked to that lady over there. But I guess they didn't seem too terribly suspicious of her. No. I just thought, and then she, we were just standing there. And she goes, "Well, I plan on starting a new cl class that I'm." I put in the paper about robbery lessons. I thought that's a little weird. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that is a little bit weird. What you're doing though? I want to check the board again, see if any new jobs have been put up. Cause uh, mm -hmm. nope, 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 nope. Don't eat my horses. My horse is here for five minutes. Don't bother until we get out of here. Nope. Um, you're going to regret that. Too late. Dogs or is that wolves? Dogs. It's quite aggressive box. <laughs> it's not got the... They have a bit of a grit to their barking. Yeah, you know? I know what you mean. Yeah. This is more like a bow wow. They're a bit more like a... Whereas wolves mm -hmm. are a bit more of like a... Yeah. A bit more happy. A bit more happy. I am circling you hard in Remington. I can see that. Hmm. What have we got here then? You're one of those rangers, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Give me all your money. <laughs> You're making me dizzy. <laughs> yeah, I'm making myself dizzy too. Oh, whoa, actually. Oh, 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 my little bit. Oh, 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 my little bit. It's, no. <laughs> the whole world's spinning. Everything's spinning. You, do, <laughs> you don't need alcohol, huh? The whole world's spinning. I don't know what to do. I'd help you up, but you brought this on yourself. Stu, I'm very bu I'm very dizzy. Help. You very busy? <laughs> Diz dizzy. I'm very dizzy. Help. Very busy being dizzy. Mm -hmm. Hi, ma'am. Everything is fine. He's just being ridiculous. Everything okay, ma'am? Sorry, I couldn't hear you from over there. Oh, my apologies. Yeah, no, everything's fine. I just hadn't seen somebody, you know... Uh, willingly put their face in the mud around here. Oh, yeah, I, he's, he's I, special. I got very, I got very, very dizzy, very, 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 very dizzy, and I fell over because of it. Wait, okay, I you was dizzy. Is that wanted, what you was yelling about? You know, inhaling the mud around me. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. I've inhaled plenty of mud in plenty of places. I'm used to the Valentine mud, but to be honest, I'm surprised I don't work in the bathhouse yet at this point. So, um, oh my god. Okay, we're leaving. <laughs> don't 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 put yourself down to that level, all right? Oh, thank you. I will try my best not to. <laughs> you have a great day, ma'am. <laughs> you as well. Take have care. a lovely day. You too. Out of there. Hello. Oh wait. I'm looking for a badge. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I was doing. Hi. Are you one of the deputies? Me. Are you deputy? Deputy, nice to meet you. Sorry? Not a deputy. Oh, oh. Not a deputy. All right, never mind then. We appreciate you. 
Take care now. Have a great day. Yep, best of luck. It's so awkward when you don't know if they're deputies or not. Yeah, like, I, I, oh, I, saw I do it all the time. <laughs> do it all the time. I thought I saw the glimmer of a badge and, and there wasn't one. <laughs> do it all the time. I know the pain. I know the pain. So have you heard Olive's impression of you? <laughs> I have. I have. I've had I've heard uh I've also heard that there's plenty of folk uh saying understood in my uh, understood in my cadence. Understood. Yeah. understood. Yeah. So understood. You know we're not mocking you, right? No, so I, I it's an homage. I, yeah, yeah, I understand. I'm I'm not offended or anything. <laughs> you understand? You uh would it be fair to say <laughs> that you understood? Yeah, I've understood. <laughs> That's right. I understood. Sorry, Sue, I love you. I, I feel like I need to like have uh, patches or something like that with understood written on it. I could sell them and start monetizing you should. Sort of things. That should be your <laughs> ranger word, understood. I should, I, I understood. Really, maybe I should switch it from stalwart to understood. Understood, yeah. Understood. My goodness. Have that written on your headstone. Oh, I, well, I don't know about that. Just <laughs> maybe, maybe on like a... Well, I don't know, actually. I, I feel like... If, if if anything's gonna sum up my life, maybe that is it. Oh, we might need to give Arden a moment. Also, did you meet Mabel here? Mabel, is this your new horse? Ma That's right. Ooh. This is a uh, yeah yeah. It's another Dutch warm blood. Another one. That's right. That's right. What happened to your last little, one? This. Well, oh well. Listen, May is May is doing just fine, and I'm still gonna be using May, but I'm actually gonna be getting rid of the uh, the Mustangs. Oh. I got my I got my mules and I'm donating them because here's the thing I got too many horses and too much riding so I wanted to get another backup horse and then donate them horses so that ah. way any recruits that need horses can use them. I actually bought a new horse on uh, Monday. I did. I bought myself oh. a uh, I bought a gypsy cob for the snow. Uh, oh, its name is Autumn. I, sh I tell you what, I'll show you Autumn when we get back to uh, Straw Bubba Berry. So. Yeah, I'll show you Autumn when we make it back to uh, Strawberry. She's well, a lovely right, horse. Yeah. She's a lovely horse. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say that the the only reason, and I got this horse, the, the only reason I even was willing to get this horse was because my brother wrote me a letter saying that he had this horse and was willing to, or that my cousin had this horse <sighs> and bees, was looking for someone to ride him. And I thought, well, I'll give him a good uh, a good home and take care of him and look after him. Oh, and here he nice. is now. That's nice. God, I would hate for anything to happen to this horse because I really, really don't want to spend two thousand dollars on another one. Yeah. Well, you didn't. Is that the one that you got from uh, Silas? Was it Silas? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But if I was to have to buy another one, I would obviously have to spend well a lot more money. Yeah, I had to buy. I had to uh, pay for the paperwork to get after with all the, uh, you know, the exporting and everything, having him, you know, get paid for. He. This horse here got brought off the train and everything, so it, all that transportation and all the paperwork and all that sort of, you know, veterinary costs and everything like that, it all costs a, a pretty penny, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, how much, if you don't mind me asking? Well, it was only about $500. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Had to pay for the tack, too, so it yeah. is what it is. Yeah. But I tell you, he's a strong horse. He's just like me. My gypsy cost nearly a foot. It cost actually just over a thousand dollars, and it really hurt my bank. Goodness gracious! Holy crap! Five thousand dollars? No, 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 no. Just over Jesus one thousand. Jesus Christ! I thought <laughs> that'd be some. That that would be a that pretty penny out right there. I I I certainly would never pay five thousand dollars for a horse. In the same way that I am in almost somewhat refused to pay five thousand dollars for a wagon. So, um, yeah. I have little to no interest in, uh, in in wagons, to be honest. Yeah, I think unless you got a need for it, or if you've got like a, a collective group that you know needs it, then yeah, you know, like if we had like one collective wagon for the Rangers, that'd be one thing. Mm -hmm. We do, yeah. don't we? Don't I we think have we... armored wagons? Uh, do no, we? no, we don't have armored wagons. I don't think. Uh, unless I mean, I, I would think we'd have you know maybe one transport wagon. We actually you know, like have a one... transport wagon. Olive bought one. Olive bought a, oh, okay. uh, a transport wagon. She did. And then, and then I would assume that we'd have probably one sort of like a, uh, 
like supply a, wagon, a, basically. A good, yeah, supply wagon. That's what I'm, that's the word I was thinking. Mm-hmm. And no, we had both, both of them, and that'd be pretty much all we'd need for uh, for the Rangers. I don't I'm think. I mean, maybe two supply wagons at most, but I, I think after that, you know, you're not really sort of like diminishing returns. You know, you're not gonna. We're not doing uh, supply runs like we used to every. You know, trying to restock everything. I know that Rockwell has the most expensive wagon. Oh yeah, what he said. How much like, was uh, that? Seventeen thousand dollars. Seventeen. Fuck me. Holy shit! He is loaded though. A little chunk of change. But is, why? What is, what's special about it? Uh it can hold like fifteen crates in it. Why does Peter Rockwell need fifteen crates of shit in a wagon? Let me put well, it this way I, to you: That man told me that uh, in his time in the state, he has made. He reckons he has made over sixty thousand dollars from treasure hunting. Oh my god. Treasure hunting, though. What do you mean? Uh, you know, uh, you never, you... He's a treasure hunter. He's a treasure hunter. Uh, he, you yeah, know, I think he introduces, introduces himself as, uh... You never, as you never... As the treasure you, hunter, in, and then he, he'll introduce his, his, uh, ranger title right after. He, yeah, he, so you never heard first. him, he goes, uh, he goes, good day. Ranger Peter, second. He goes, good day, I'm Peter Rockwell, uh, greatest ever treasure hunter, uh, game yep. warden. There you are. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. A bit like that. It's a terrible impression. But what does he do? Does he just ha- find stuff? Like... He's got a metal detector and a shovel. And he just... He, oh. uh, he goes around. He found basically every treasure spot in the crossing, I believe. And How then... does a metal detector work? Um... Does he only find metal stuff? Like, how is that a treasure? There's a lot of tr- there's a lot of strong boxes buried around the state. Rider? Rider Hood. Rider Singh. Yeah, there's a lot of strong boxes around the Out state, and uh, and he uh, he he uh, a lot of like metal strong boxes, and he uses his uh, oh, and there's stuff in the boxes. Yeah. I see. He's found he's found things like Springfields and Springfield oh. rifles and all sorts in them. And he sells them to the gunsmiths or probably yeah, either just sells them to store. people or whatever. I don't know. Hmm. Um, but you can find money in them. I, I used to do a little bit of it. You can find money in them. You can find all sorts in them. I used to know like five different treasure spots, I think. Oh, I've not taken us on the road at all. I've just cut us across. Whoops. Didn't hear a call out or nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. We're going slow enough. I don't think we need call outs. It's all right. I hope so. If you can't figure out where I'm going at this pace, then you've got no chance. Well, might as well hang it up now, then. (laughs) I guess so. I guess so. I gotta tell you, I'm I'm a little shocked by the light rain. <laughs> Is that weird? You're, you're shocked by it? Well, g- usually if it's raining, it's pouring down. Yeah, I and quite like it, actually. Uh, oh, I, don't no, mind I, it. I, I don't mind it at all. I don't it's mind very... a little bit of the rain, but it, it has been, the weather lately has been awful. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I feel like every time it rains, it's just, I mean, it's deafening downpour mm-hmm. is what it is you know what they say downpour, when it rains yeah, it pours definitely. that's right that's right i'm gonna pick it up a little bit actually now please do understood 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 sorry it's understood all right. it's all right i'm really impressionable so i'm gonna blame my fellow ranger friends uh, I, I'm, I'm curious now i need to take like a i need to get like a list and find out how many people I've gotten to say understood in my case. <laughs> me and me and Olive have been on a plenty of patrols together where we would just say it. Hey, you want to go that the right f- there in and of itself has got to be an impressive number. You want to go the fun way back to Strawberry? What's that? Oh. Oh. I kind of just want to go to Strawberry. Uh, this is a fun way. It's actually really quick. Follow me. Single file. Alright, single file. Alright. So we're gonna 
come in from? Let's find out. I don't know, actually. We're going to find out. Watch for rocks and stuff. Mind the rocks. Mind the rocks. And dead ahead of us is the taxidermy house. such oh. a detour though i know <laughs> ain't it crazy it's quite fast and it's actually slower we did how that works out <laughs> i'm, I'm gonna send a quick telegram line. i'll meet y'all at the lodge tomorrow all right see you in a bit how did that Oh, sorry, Arden. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, sorry. Unforgivable. Sorry, sorry. Unforgivable. I didn't mean it. Howdy, howdy. Hello, Carver. Howdy. Uh, we doing? Good, not too bad. I'm just uh, adding, uh, so I'm just going to kind of um, add all of the ranger words into the, the history. Uh, so I'm just making sure that people, I, I think at the, uh, the big ranger meeting, I'm going to go around and ask every single person that's there. Uh, you know, what their ranger word is, and for the recruits, what their recruit word is as well. Know, and um, that, that, that mm -hmm. uh, history of the rangers document, mm -hmm. um, I've never been able to read that file. Hello, ever. Ranger, oh. how are you? Um, I hello. Think hello. It, oh, howdy. Hello. How are you doing? Good, how are y'all doing? Good, thank you. Good, thank Not you. too bad. Good. Um, nobody's giving you trouble today? Not yet. Uh, nope, nope. <laughs> just, just yet. this one. Stay positive. Well, well, I'm trying, to but you know. Put your hands up and come with me. All right, I'm coming. All yep. right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Right. When's the last right. time you were in jail? Duh. No comment. Oh, no comment. No comment. Oh, man. You want to be letting down your friends, I guess. Yeah, something like that. Well, your friends were probably in there with you, huh? Yeah, probably. I hear that the so Rangers you... are the biggest gang in the crossing. You should arrest all oh, of us. They really are, yeah. I'm gonna try. Keep going, get in here. Don't mind me, I'm a... Oh, I'm gonna arrest. Are you arresting one of my favorite Rangers? Um, because uh, he's a criminal. I'm a criminal. Luck, I knew it. He's a dirty criminal. Put me in the cell. I'll make sure I put you in the one where the guy poops in all the time. I won't drop the cell. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing. What'd you say? Don't say I, it again. I didn't say anything. Say it again. Say it now. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. What if I actually did lock you up and run away? Uh, what I'm if surprised I'm... you committed. What? 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 Wow. I, I, I'm always one to commit I to like a joke. Co you want like to commitment? Hey, if you want to commit heavier, just put me in a pair of handcuffs and I'll run away. Oh. Um. I don't know if you're allowed to do that, but. <laughs> Good ear. <laughs> Oh, no! No! Stop running! No! Oh. No! Stop running! No! <laughs> you never catch me alive! Never! You never take me alive! Under the porch, oh my god. Look at this little vigilante. Let me in! Let me in! Look the door behind me! <laughs> That was so fast. 
Oh my god. So speedy. That was worth committing it. evasion of yeah. the law in front I of know. the porch. In the porch. That was that uh, was worth yeah. it. <laughs> that was worth it. Dismissal. I know. They're, They're quite prepared. tight actually. I didn't realize how tight those cuffs are. They, they were... Sorry, did I make him too tight? Sorry. No, no, it's fine. It's I was fine. Trying to do it quick. It was it was worth it for the bit. It was worth it for the bit. Okay, the bit. That's true. So who else has been a dirty criminal? <laughs> Who else has been a dirty criminal? <laughs> oh my god. I, I told him the Rangers are the biggest gang in the cross in, so they really uh, are. It's not wrong. <laughs> and don't you forget it. All I'm saying is is one of the ringleaders <laughs> right here. Okay, right here. You could look at it. Look at him pointing fingers. They call him they, yeah. they call they call her the carver. Alright. The carver. <laughs> the carver. Yep, the, wow. the carver. Yeah. You, you know what happens yep. to you know what happens to rats in the criminal world? Ooh. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, people treat them with fair I respect and are very nice to them. I shake their hand and say they get carved. Yeah. Oh, That's oh, right. oh. You know, oh, you know maybe, maybe I just go around with with the knives on me and I just say, you know, carve them up, and all of the rangers go <laughs> running and they just. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going down without a fight. All right. <laughs> yeah, do it with the animals, oh, and they all just get off the horse and then just run with knives. I I ain't, I ain't going down without a fight. All right. Try me. Yeah, that's, that's Try family me. dinners, you know, we just get all of the oh, law and the rangers different... around. <laughs> we just like that's carve just... them up. And then we start <laughs> carving up some little bread rolls and, and start buttering oh, them God. and like making steaks oh, and oh, God. just enjoying ourselves. <laughs> I just got put in handcuffs and run away. Oh, that's that was funny. funny. That was funny. I've never been put in handcuffs before. Thank you. That was uh, that was fun. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Running in handcuffs is difficult. Experience. I'm surprised you didn't trip. Most most of the dirty he's already had his face trip. in the mud in Valentine. I think he's oh, had enough. Mm -hmm. I, I got very dizzy. I got very got dizzy and fell dizzy. over. Self inflicted. Mm. No, it was, I was just I, I was riding around in circles for a little bit, and it made me mm -hmm. dizzy. Mm, you probably shouldn't do that. No, I you're... did that once when I was. Uh... Oh, sorry, you go. I was just gonna say no. You're right. That's all. Uh, when I was younger, I once um. So I had this like a stuffed animal, I guess. Um, it was of an oxen, and uh, it was based off. I actually had a, a an actual oxen, um, on wow. our farm, and uh, my my mom made like a a little stuffed animal version of it and i put it inside a basket and then i tied rope to the basket and then i swang it around and was just spinning and spinning in circles with this little thing in the basket and i got so dizzy that i fell over and fell right into a fence that had <laughs> like barbed wire on it kind of oh no and, oh. <laughs> and what's worse is Ouch. the way that i fell Thank you for I the hollow jack of upside down and Stop I was watching just the stuck there for hours and I was calling out to my brothers and sisters and I was, you know, just like, please come here. And they were like, what are you doing, cat? It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> One of those things you like, uh, I don't know how I got in this position, but here I am. It's yeah. not what it looks like. <laughs> yep. Oh, I was, I was actually upside down, just stuck on that fence and, um, and then the, uh, you know, my brother came along and he, he was saying, you know, what happened, God? What's what's going on? And the the little stuffed animal that I had, um, you know, it was based on our oxen, whose name is Ruckus. Um, but he, he was so torn to bits that my mom had to, uh, you know, sew it all up again. And he just kept getting so broken. So every time I walked over, they'd say, oh, there's Cad and Holy Ruckus because he had so many holes in him. <laughs> oh, holy ruckus. <laughs> holy ruckus. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's funny. I like it. How's Ranger life been today? Good. Don't say it. <clears throat> Don't say it, Bugsy. No, yes. I, I wasn't yeah, saying yeah. I wasn't about to say uh -huh. anything. No, say it. Mm -hmm. I was oh, about to say it's been type. great. It. I was about to say not Lovely. too bad was what I was about to say. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. I refuse to say the we word. We had a we had a pretty rough day yesterday, so 
I, I refuse. You're I refuse to say the word on principle. On principle. Mm-hmm. Well, it was it was a mixed bag, I think. Mm-hmm. But everyone is okay, so that's that's what's most important. Mm, yeah, that's good. That's what matters. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, deputy, seeing as you're here, it might be worth me just talking to you about something. You know, you can just call me Ryder. You don't have to call me deputy. I didn't know what your name was, so I was just saying oh, no, deputy. I'm really sorry, but thank you, Ryder. Ask it. <laughs> Okay, Ryder. Um, I I'd like to talk to you about something, please. It's actually okay. kind of semi somewhat important. So, no. Okay, we can go wherever you want. Uh, Do you want to go to the office? Uh, t- to be fair, I need or I need my clipboard for this. So, okay. uh, unless I take my clipboard up to your office, well, or... okay. yeah. no, you can grab it. We can just talk here. All right, let me grab it. I will need to talk to you afterwards, Deputy Ryder. Well, well, then I'm going to talk to you, too. We're yes. Gonna talk about a picnic or something. Mine's, we're, I'm talking about the occurrences of Valentine that I had to experience. Oh, oh no. <laughs> mm-hmm. so, I've sorry, already sent a, sorry to I've hear already it. sent a tip in that I think I should probably talk oh, to an actual um, deputy. Yeah, was this the Sasha thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah I'll I'll definitely really? So she's yeah. doing fucking classes on that now? Yeah, yeah. What's she's she's uh, somebody in Valentine oh, wants to run robbery classes. Sasha. Yeah, I know, I know. she oh. she was gonna advertise them in the bathhouse, and then uh, yeah, it was a uh, very odd. Yeah. yeah, she's the one that blew up the sheriff's office in Valentine and like, got hit with a brick. My we, goodness, you got okay. hit with a brick? Oh yeah, this was like a month ago. Yeah. Oh my god. She blew up the back of the sheriff's office, and I got hit by a brick that flew out of it. My dad always used to tell a joke that was what's red and bad for your teeth. A brick. <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> and then he'd say, you know, you, what's, uh, and then he'd say, what's uh, what's red and even worse for your teeth? I'd say, what? And he'd say, two okay. bricks. Oh, I was going to say <laughs> another brick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, let me see if I can't just get a moment of your time, please. Yeah, right of course. <laughs> Sorry. Of course. So uh, I sent a tip in earlier today about, uh-huh. I don't know if you've seen it, about Leon Williamson. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, so he went on a tip in uh, Southern Tall Trees very early this morning. Yeah, like uh, 4 o'clock or something. Yeah, and there's been no response from him. I spoke to Stone uh, in uh, in Rhodes. He said there was, uh, there was nothing in your paperwork in terms of response or anything like that. But just over an hour after he went out on that tip, another tip came in. Um, so I've written it up as a potentially missing persons file. But I was wondering, do you know him? And if so, do you have any physical description of him? Next time I'm at both places, I'll go there. Get it and make sure I have it in. Um, I actually do know him. Um, Brilliant. Blonde hair. Um, Last I saw, he was wearing, like, he wears, like, a red shirt. (laughs) Oh, I'm so sorry. I have a sticky clipboard. I didn't see it, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll I'll turn my head if you want to, like, say something mean to her. No, no, I'm not. No, that's no, it. Nothing. No, 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 no. Just like, um, I hope your socks fall down or something. No, no, it's fine. I hope both sides of your pillow is warm. I don't know something. <laughs> um. Um. Yeah. So he has blonde hair, um, like swoopy, kind of like yours, I believe. Okay. Um, clean shaven. Um, and last I saw, he was wearing like a red, um, like a red top, red shirt. So sort of like short, short blonde hair, um, clean shaven, wearing a red shirt. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what horse he rides. Uh, uh, Kiwi said he rides a Breton, dusty grey fur coat, uh, dark brown or black tail and uh, tail and mane. Yes, it is a Breton. Yes. Yeah, chunky horse. Tam. Quite chunky quite horse a... named Tam. Yes. Yeah. Quite a quite a chunky horse, yeah. Brilliant. Okay, that's just uh, I've written it up as a missing persons file, but it's it's more of a potentially missing persons file because I'm just waiting for. But basically, I'm waiting just to see if it, if he's actually okay and he's just not filled out the paperwork proper. 
um, or, or or whatever, or or you know whether actually he hasn't right. turned up back for duty. So there is a there is a missing persons file on our end. Um, okay, so let's go down. That, that's that's been written up for it. Um, um, and do you know where? Um, I can look and see where he checked in right before he went out for that, because I saw he did check in somewhere. Yeah, um, right um, before he went to the top actually, that would be actually really good to get actually. Uh, yeah. Just so, because I've got his last known location as uh, Southern Tall Trees, but it'd be good to know where he checked okay. in from just before there. Yeah, because um, there was, I know there was a check in right before that tip came in, so um, let yeah. me go see. Right, let me, uh, I'll come up with you. I'll bring this clipboard okay. with me. Yeah, afterwards, that's sounds good. We'll I didn't know, I didn't know if I was going to be right going to the state event, but I guess we're going to mm -hmm. find out. Yeah. It was more of like a. Yeah, I, I, it seems like Kiwi's quite worried. I I, re, I reached out to uh, yeah. to her and just because she was like, "What makes you think it's a missing persons uh, case?" And it's like, "Well, he's he's been gone for like over nine hours with no response. So it's more of a it's more of a precautionary measure more than anything." Yeah. Because if he turns up, you know, then we can just then I can just uh, then you know I can just uh, mark it yeah, off as, as as done and that's it. But um, just for right. the time being, I would just rather save myself the hassle of, or 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 save save everybody the hassle really, um, and just yeah. write down that there's a write down it write it down as a missing persons file and 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 be done with it basically. I didn't let you in here with a gun, by the way. But oh, I can wait outside if you want. No, you're okay. I'm just saying it didn't happen. Okay. Okay, so at 4.02, um, he was here in Strawberry and said he was heading to Blackwater. 4.02. Um, so yeah, he, he was... That means he, he probably he, saw the tip from Blackwater then. He saw the tip from Blackwater. Because the tip would because the tip came in at 4.05, so that means he probably that means he probably got to Blackwater, saw the tip left immediately. So he probably that's probably like, yep. what, 4.10, 4.15, maybe he left somewhere yeah. around there? I would say probably 410, yeah, that okay. he left there. All right, yeah, I'll put it down as Blackwater was his last known then. His last known before Southern Tall Trees. Um, let me see if um, he's filed any paperwork. Um, yeah, Stone... Stone like after that. Yeah, Stone checked and... Um, oh, did he? Okay. Stone checked and said he didn't see anything, but, I mean, a second pair of eyes never goes, okay. never goes amiss. Let me check really quick. Oh god, another deputy might be missing because he went on a search in tall trees and got eaten by a bear. Fantastic, just what we need. Yeah, I don't see anything right off there. Damn it. It's fine. We'll find him. Yeah. It's it's not the Buckley case, you know, so it's uh it's not well, it's not mm. like the Buckley case. So you know this right. is a, it's a much easier. It's a much easier thing we're looking for. So that's true. We know and where he said is. It was to Southern Tall Trees, right? Southern Tall Trees. Yeah. To be honest, I probably have an inkling of where he might be in Southern Tall Trees. Okay. Good. Um. Uh. Just just from the very nature of what the what the place is like. Um. He's probably been attacked um, that, by. He's probably been attacked by a bear. He's probably down at the. Like uh, bear Town. Yeah. He's probably down at Bear Town. Yeah. Okay. Um. And sometimes there's wolves before you get to. Um, like um, west of um, Beechers. Yeah, so he's so could be yes there or, or he'll, Bear Town he'll be for fine. sure. He'll be fine. Yeah, he will. I have utter faith, I do. And has the missing person and been found from there or not? Madison, I was uh, moved because no. I for it. So okay. the actual then... person he was out there oh, looking for, probably... none. Okay. Wait. Because I know that Silas wants to be yeah. in court. Yeah, yeah, he's. All right, sounds good. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's no problem. I'm, uh... oh, and if we hear something, I'll make sure yeah, I reach yeah, out yeah, to I you. Yeah, no, of course. Um, yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, I'll be able to fix that. 
Mm. Just send it. Just 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 send a tip directly into the I'd, ring I'd tip line, if, or, or just no, you know, no, it's okay. Can, of course, it yeah, that I way. can I can of mess course. around with it. I think it's because Ooh, that's some um, mm-hmm. uh, people didn't understand before that you know when you're doing uh, stationing, they thought it was that you're sticking in one tower, which isn't. So they probably mm-hmm. didn't realize, and then uh, so now they're doing well, I, like an entire region. Yeah, I was about to know? say, I thought it was a whole yeah. region, so if, if he's is, wanting to be up in Coulter, region. then Amberino would be yeah. right for him, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be Amberino. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. I've said, look, in I'm my station, how are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm only going to work out of Barrow Lagoon. Only going to work <laughs> out of Barrow Lagoon. Oh my god. You were fine. Barrow Lagoon actually I came in real handy yesterday. I'm really, really glad we had that gonna, station out there. I was going to pick my... I was going to... I was going to pick my... Uh, tower station to be Barrow Lagoon. Training. I was actually going to do it. It's Clarabel. Because nobody did it the first time round, so I was like, somebody's got to do it. I'll pick Barrow Lagoon. <laughs> mm-hmm. I had a great and then it became so and then it fun. became regions, and I was like, well, no, fine, all right, I'll still I'll still pick Barrow Lagoon anyway. Do I want? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm excited for everything. No Honestly, idea. what I think would be really sweet is, um, like, if we have, uh, I'm, I'm just, yeah, try uh, and catch Mitch. If we, uh, he's if we, sorry, I'm really bad at talking when, uh, anyway, but, um, yeah, what, sure. I, what I think we could do is I think is Stout have, um, wanted to tell you about Sasha Resnikov. You know, sorry. Oh, can we move over this way? I'm, I'm so bad at talking when I can hear, like, another person talking. It makes me, like, not able to uh, to think and talk at the same time. No, I get that. Um, but yeah, so basically, we could have like a bunch of people in the different regions, um, you know, actually try and make something as a group. Like, imagine having, um, you know, food for a little ranger event, for example, and we get people who are up in Amberino to go up and actually collect ice cubes and, uh, you know, have, have a, a chance to, to learn how. And people who are out in you know, asked, uh, you know well, how'd she get West it? Elizabeth, she she or actually um, anywhere, I suppose, could learn to how to go and milk a cow and get some milk asked, together, well, and you know, said, somebody else oh, can go yeah. down to the orange <laughs> groves and so just just something fun to do uh, as a group. That's to yeah, do. that's be nice to do more of that. I'd love to take the recruits milking. Oh, that would be so much fun. Oh yes. Just the the trio, the trio, just take them milking. I, I would love to, I would I would have loved at some point, or would love to at some point, see if we can find on the job board a cattle ranching job and take recruits oh. out and do it. <gasps> that is such a great idea. That is so brilliant. They get they get paid for the work. It yeah. requires a lot of teamwork because I've done it, and it's really quite yeah. difficult. Um, oh, I know, that's a great idea. I know Rockwell's done it quite a lot. I know Rockwell's done it quite a lot with the uh, with with oh, the people absolutely. he works with at Carrigan's, but um, what we do. Yeah. yeah, maybe we can take him out together. Be a, a whole You're yeah. a great teacher, we'll and together. you know. I mean, definitely not. Oh, oh, I, 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 I would tell you what now, right? Cattle cattle driving is infuriating. It is an infuriating experience. Great, but infuriating. But it, well, two rangers, three recruits yeah, should be I, enough. I would not uh, it's two between two and four people um, that get paid for it. Well, I don't um, need to get paid. I just yeah, want to be yeah, there to I'd teach. Well, yeah, I know, I know, but don't it's wrong, uh, you know. Means well, but yeah. There, there was the meatless. It's fine if you want to do it by yourself. That's fine. No, don't oh no, no, oh, no, I'm not. No, like no, no, sorry, 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 I don't mean it. Sorry, I don't mean it. We're supposed to be inclusive. Sorry, I don't mean it like that. I don't mean it like that, Sasha. What the fuck? Are you calling me Sasha? Uh, wait, what am I? I'm just calling me Sasha. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm. You know what it is? You know, you know what it is? I'm hearing. You know what it is? I'm hearing their conversation over there, and words are getting in my head, and I'm just saying things, and I'm just, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dick. Oh. <laughs> I did it. Come on, don't be so dramatic. Oh. I did it. I'm so sorry. Poor Jed. Oh. I'm very sorry, Arden. I didn't mean it. It's fine. Just messing with you. Uh, all I got for you. He wouldn't. Uh... It was just mostly just a real mm. odd but yes. experience. No, uh, yeah. wait, what was I saying before? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, of course I want you there. Of course I want you there. It's just, 
in terms of if people want to get paid from the job, there's only between two Every and four people who can get paid for the job. Now. So it's oh, like that's a, fine. I think, I think you more so than anybody else. The, the deputies are definitely going to be. No, I really want to do more of these things. I really want to learn more and like really go out. And I need to get better at teaching recruits, and I know you're really good at it. So I would love to be there for that. I appreciate that. I do. Sorry. I, I appreciate that. Poor soul. I was so tired, so I would <laughs> like take a nap in the office, and then um, I'd wake up and just be more shenanigans. Some, some slightly more miserable news, uh, I'm afraid. Cat, I've had to write up a missing persons no, file today for another deputy. Like um, is he still? Oh, no. Let me uh, check. He, at 4.05 this morning, there was a Southern Torturies tip where a deputy called Leon Williams <laughs> went out on it. Um... <laughs> There was no response, and uh, another tip came in about an hour, just over an hour later, um, for the same area. Um, yep, still Laura, on there. Laura had no response. There was no paperwork filled out for him. Um, so I've written up a missing person file, but I've put specifically in the title that it's a potential missing person file because we don't know for certain. Um, but I've written all the details I can get, um, and also added some additional stuff uh, in the meantime. So I know, it's, I know it's only less than a day, but um, it's still I thought, important. That's definitely. yeah. That I, I did it because I just felt it was worthwhile to do. Um, Willie, can you just shove the door yeah. for me, please? Oh, sorry. No, you did the right thing. And also, um, Thank you. honestly, you know, we can, uh, you know, we, we, we can, you know, since we have, like, the time of when he actually was up and about and, and went out, uh, we can then keep an eye on the tip line. If another, you know, tip comes in around the same hours as this one from the same area, yeah. uh, we'll have a good indication. We can send an extra, you know, few yeah. people out there so, just to, Yeah, so, to I mean, there's technically still, there's technically two people out there, by all accounts. At, at least I think there's two people out there. It could still only be one. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it looks like a classic case of, hey, I went looking for someone and got hurt. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So but it was so long ago. Definitely. But yeah, I mean, it's... It's nearly twelve hours ago at this point. Sorry, Sue. So no, oh, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. So I've written it up. I've done all of the. Uh, yeah, I've done all of the important paperwork stuff. So it's it's all it's it's all there and easy to find. So. You know, I would love at some point. I, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. No, it is. It is my. I, I this door. Oh is, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's kind of weird time. today. Yeah. Breathe. I will yeah, conquer the door. Come, come, come out. <laughs> just come out. Uh, but I. <laughs> Sue. Yep. I will. Just come out. I got it. There okay. you go. Do that. And we'll just lock the door like this. Okay. And perfect. I think. Uh, now, how do I, I get back some... in? <laughs> no. I think at some point I would love to have um, like a missing persons division, like we kind of talked about okay, with we're the, good. Uh, the Rangers, mm -hmm. and have people who are. Like, just specialists at how to do this, how to document everything, how to contact everything. And, you know, I feel like, honestly, Pugsley, I could see you being maybe even like a lead on something like that. You know, the more experience you get in doing these kind of things, uh, I, I think that could be so great for you, honestly. Well, Almost we... like detectives do with the law, oh, but just... Pardon. You know, specifically for ranger stuff. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I mean, it. yeah, I'd be interested oh, okay. in, in, in in potentially doing that kind of thing. Absolutely. Um, mm. You know, it's, um, I, 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 you know, especially with, especially with um, how much time I spent looking over all the Buckley paperwork and, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and, and things like that. I, I, you know, I'd, I'd be, be happy to maybe look into that kind of thing. Um, absolutely. Um, I think especially the, the the missing person stuff is um. It's really it's 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 really important that we get it right. And I had a big conversation yeah. with, with with Buzz about it last night as well because, um, we we both were I say we're having a, a debate. We were what or an a, well like a heated debate. It wasn't really. It was just more me and him were discussing kind of especially stuff on the Buckley situation about how it should be handled when people are going out at peak hours. And obviously I, I basically said exactly what I'd said to you previously. Mm -hmm. um, and I think he 
felt slightly differently. Um, but mm. it's uh, but I think he he understood where I was coming from absolutely. Yeah. Um, but I think in in that way I I I really want to be a stickler for protocol on that type of thing because it's because mm-hmm. if we do it wrong it's either that we end up getting one of our own hurt or yeah. um we end up losing the person and we end up back in square one so it's for, for yeah. me it's for me it's super important that um that we get it right yep i agree no honestly i think um that this could be something really great just uh you know have have people i mean even however much we learn about this case you know if we manage to um to find Buckley and, you know, see what things that we did that actually led to finding him. Um, that kind of stuff is going to inform a really, you know, comprehensive guide on Wait, we what do we do? No, we no, no. But, yet. Yeah, oh. I mean, when, when we do, oh, you know, okay. what things are the main things that help us, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, that's the kind of stuff that we can then put into kind of a, a guide or a protocol for, what do we actually do and not just how do we fill out the paperwork but what do we do surrounding that you know what's the best way to communicate uh you know how do we communicate with the law easily and effectively um and with each other and yeah. all that kind of stuff so i think the yeah. the the, the biggest i say the biggest problem as such that we have when communicating with the law but i think that the biggest problem in that way is um being able to update our paperwork efficiently uh, and quickly yeah. so that um, we can cross over and cross-reference each other's information um, exactly when we need to because obviously we can't access their reports um, I think they can see ours but I, I don't know that for certain but um, um, you know they we, we can't see their reports on, on, on all of that stuff and obviously for, for good reason that we can't but um, you know, and I, I think it's important that um, all the information that we need is available to us as often as we can have that information available to us um, or as quickly as we can have it available. So if a new update comes in, um, I know that they have tons and tons of paperwork that they have to do um, in their department, but especially with stuff like the Buckley stuff at the moment and how much how much effort and time that we as rangers are putting into it because there's people patrolling out there nearly every day um then it's important that we're not um doing the wrong thing or if we get information that they might be in a certain area that we're not looking in the wrong place yeah it'd be nice to like have somebody yeah. in charge of that though you know somebody in charge of a specific case or all cases always so you know who to report to or yeah did i did yeah. I just miss part of a conversation? No, don't think so. Everyone well, just... just went so quiet when I said that. What no, no, that no, no. I was just listening. No, it was just. Yeah. I was say, to be fair, I've been quiet this whole time. I'm, I am just sort of absorbing this conversation. <laughs> yeah. The the, the 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 Buckley stuff is just really interesting to me, just because of. It's it's just just because of how the the, the case is going because, I I feel like at the moment, personally we're not really getting anywhere. Um, and I don't think it's particularly anybody's fault. I, I, I know that I was told, I, I mean, I know that the, 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 the sheriff's department's having a bit of a rough time at the moment. They've had a crazy couple of weeks with things happen. Um, uh, and I know that much and, and Sheriff Sand without telling me as much, pretty much told me as much yesterday. So, you know, I, I, I know for a fact that they are having a somewhat rough time with things um but uh i think i think it's uh i think it's important that if we really are gonna find him that we are doing this properly and it's not just mishaps of just people just going out and doing it there has to be there has to be some i don't know what the best way of winning it but there has to be some we have to we have to try and get somewhere with it basically where and and, mm-hmm. and at the moment it's kind of 
it's it's not really moving at the moment. It's not, and it's and it's and it's not that it's anybody's fault. It's just we're not finding anything. It's like it's no, like, it's so weird though. Like I feel like we've like lifted every single stone in the whole. I have. At this I know. Point. I know. I have. Yeah. I've said it. I've said it enough times to people. But I spent five hours out in the west on Sunday, mm-hmm. yeah, looking and I was around. Out with Wade like two weeks ago as well. And like, yeah, we covered so I, much. I went. So I went much. to. I used. I used Allegra's map, right, and I. I used Allegra's map and I went to every camp, even some camps that weren't marked on her map. Um, I went to every camp. I went to every house. I went into like every cave out west. I unturned every stone. Didn't leave anything uh, unturned as such. Went everywhere that I could possibly go and uh, did it and and looked everywhere um, for as much information as I could find. Um, and I found nothing. I found no evidence. And it's like you'd think in in a five hour in in five hours where I didn't just check past Armadillo. I checked. I checked the whole of Hennigan's Stead. I checked uh, up through Stillwater. I even checked Quaker's Cove. Um, when me and Wade were out, like we went to the point that we were gonna try and find a way to get to the other side of the Sea of Coronado. But we couldn't find a way up there. I'm Can't sure. Either, I'm sh- I'm sure there is a way that you get around. Exactly. That's what we're saying. There has to be a way. I'm but... sure there is, but I'm not sure how you do it. I'm yeah, sure I've heard know. people say they've taken a boat there before, but there doesn't. I don't remember there being a dock down there. Hmm. No. Well, I, no. I would assume that you'd have to get a boat from further up the river, but I don't know how you're getting down the. Yeah, uh... but you'd have to. You'd literally have to jump the boat off Manteca Falls. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I don't know how you get down the falls. So it's... Because cause we were down there checking the camps that are down there, you know what I mean? Because they're not marked on the on the uh, map that you can buy around here, but there's a bunch of camps, and we were looking, 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 there's nothing there. And then we were looking across, and we were like, you can get there. And we were trying to get up, like, kind of on the left side. I wonder if you have to mountaineer it, maybe, climb up like we did yesterday at Hagen. But that's what we were trying to do, and we could not find a reasonable yeah, but ledge. The, so to well, speak. You've, what well, you've got the boat thing, though. Well, you've got to. Well, you've got to think. What well, you've got to think about, though, mm. especially with that, right? You... Is they're moving somebody who's, as far as as far as I'm concerned, mm. and I've said this enough times. Buckley's not dead, as far as as far as I'm mm-hmm. concerned, because if Buckley was dead, we'd have found him weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Because wait, wait, wait. okay, sorry, go. On. It, it were mostly because they'd want us to know he was dead. So, as far as I'm concerned, and it's not a... I'm, I mean, I guess a little bit is me trying to be positive on the situation, but mostly it's just... No, to, I am to me, I, I just think it's more... Well, he can't be dead, because if he was dead, if, if, he, if he was dead, we'd have already found him. Yeah, they wouldn't have wanted to hang on to his body, as it, gruesome as that the sounds. Only, the only place out west I pretty much almost assume that he isn't it's Rafskella Fork. That's pretty much no, the only place ch- I we assume. Ch- we checked that too. We well, actually checked the thing that is, too, is the then... Del Lobos live at Rafskella Fork, and the Del Lobos don't want that. Won't want that kind of trouble on their doorstep. They won't. And we checked like so much around the area, like that whole. There's no fucking way. But talk, let's talk about the boat theory for a second, because we have the tracks leading out of Armadillo, and we don't know exactly where they went. There's theory of of him being taken at Benedict, but I don't believe that. I think they took him just outside of Armadillo, near the Ranger Tower, kind of west, southwest of the Ranger Tower, and then took him back to Benedict Point, had him send a telegram. And then what? You know? Maybe they went back up to Manteca Falls and took that boat all the way down to the other side of Sea Coronado. Yeah, but Manteca but, uh, Falls uh, is a giant drop. Ma- it's, a it's a huge drop. drop. It's drop. Oh, very, very large. I've never it been ain't, there. It I ain't... just thought it was... Yeah, like yeah Manteca Man Falls oh, is a okay. gigantic no. drop. If someone Massive took a boat down there... Get it. Where could you get a boat? Like, where could you take that's, a boat from that's, to get to the other that's side? That's what I mean. I've, I'm sure I've heard people say they've taken boats down the San Luis from River. From Thieves Landing. It's not that much further. Yeah, but it, it's it's like I say, it's not the it's not the thieves it's it's not the the San Luis bit that's a problem. It's the Manteca Falls bit that's the problem. Oh, now I understand what you mean. Because you have to take a boat down like a what? It must be a m- must be a fifty or sixty foot waterfall at least. Yeah, sounds what about right. If, okay, hear me out. Okay, I'm not a detective. Okay, I'm really just thinking out loud here. What if took that boat, 
and you got people waiting below Mantica Falls by the little the little fishing shack that's below it, you know, the little house. And they jump out of the boat right before they throw it over the falls. I know this is dramatic, okay, but just hear me out. And the boat actually survives the crash in the water and doesn't break. And they all get in. That that would have to be some extremely be, impressive luck. There's somebody waiting. I know. Behind I'd, us over I'm there. really just grasping at straws here. Like I said, I'm not. Yeah, really I mean that. This. Listen, I, I it's not wrong to grasp at straws, but that, I think somebody wants to talk to us. Okay. Oh. Here, Hello. I'll I'll go talk. Out of there. Who is that? Hmm. Oh. Could be Sammy. Oh no, you're fine. Is it Sammy? Mm-hmm. Hey, how's your Hi. day going? Um, I, 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 ju I just got, I just uh, found out what, what, what happened to Therese. Oh yeah. Uh, um, Wait, yeah. what happened to Therese? She's, uh, uh, she's okay. She's, uh, she's, she's staying in a hotel room, I think, at the moment in Strawberry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, she's Daddy, okay. how you doing? Thanks. It, it, oh, thanks it, for the cheer, you, War Daddy. You know Appreciate that. Silas is, is, is on duty. Uh, he's not um, on he's duty not at the on moment. Duty, but he's, no. he is around. He is in Strawberry. Thank you for that, War Daddy. Uh, I appreciate that. Around. I think he went up to the uh, medical office, maybe? He's probably he's... just taking care of, of Therese. Yep, she Therese, has a bit of a concussion, yeah. so she's here in mm -hmm. Strawberry, so you'll probably find him. Okay, okay. Th yeah. th thank you. Thank you. Of course. Is there anything else we can do for you? Hit with a um, bit. That's very kind of you, Lord Daddy. Him, can, 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 can you tell him that I'm, I'm, I'm looking for him? Of course. Not a problem. Thank you. Be safe. Mm -hmm. Take care. Yeah, stay safe. Yeah, we should probably catch you up on that, actually, uh, Sue. So, um, yesterday morning, uh, Therese and Rockwell fell off Mount Hagen. Um, oh goodness! And uh, I think pretty similar to where you and Sue and uh, you, sorry, no, you're Sue. I, you I and am Hellman. Sue. I know. Yeah, <laughs> had a moment. And I'm yeah. Simon and, and Johnston. You, yeah, I think it's pretty similar to to where to where you you three fell off. So we uh, we had to go do a bit of mountaineering and climbing and uh, yeah, and it was them. oh goodness. Yeah. So um, yeah. So they uh, they they fell off of there. Um. So. Um, Therese is fine. Rockwell went into surgery last night. Um, mm. he had some really dark bruising on his leg. Um, and I couldn't really feel any bone in his leg. I, I thought he might have broken a bone, but his leg was so mm. stiff, I couldn't really feel anything. So, I, to be honest, it seemed like it might have been some interior muscle damage, maybe even a, uh, a, an artery nicked inside or something. I don't know. Um, my goodness, but, um, the, the local doctors were pretty much adamant, like, no, he's going to stay here overnight. We'll do the surgery. Didn't really say what was up. So, but um, I've not heard anything about Rockwell since, actually. But, um, yeah, I can only assume he's okay. Hmm. Well, that, that's the hope. I'm sorry to hear about that. Yeah, it's that, that mountain, I tell you, that is. Uh, it's a dangerous mountain. It's yeah, a dangerous mountain. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. I think we need to actually do more patrols up there and get more people familiar with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I so don't, too. Yeah. I, I, well, the the thing about it is that you know I think just snow patrols in general need to become a a more regular thing. I have Wade's notes, mm -hmm. Wade's notes on snow patrols. Sorry, that was a real hard sentence for me to say. Yeah. <laughs> and it's it's one of those things I've been wanting to go over and and take someone with me up there so that way I can kind of guide myself and and whoever i'm with through that patrol so that way at some point i'll be able to lead that patrol at some point yeah um because i think it's something that even even if i think even rangers should be going on that and it, it should be something that that we sort of refresh ourselves with with especially yeah. that area being so dangerous yeah i think I, yeah exactly it's, it's, i mean you don't get a whole lot of people go up to hagen especially it's it's not yeah we should mm -hmm. include hagen or, in the snow patrol but I absolutely think, I, I think especially recently I, I actually do intend maybe at some point today to to head back up to where we actually found therese and peter and try and recreate that route how i got to them um mm -hmm. i want to do it with another that's a really ranger, good call. um yeah just so that we can maybe uh have that 
at least somebody have that memorized because Buzz said he had to get up there one time a, a long time ago when uh, six deputies got essentially thrown down there um, <laughs> uh, and it was like a whole it was like a whole thing to get them out um, but mm -hmm. I I kind of want to get back up there and try at some point maybe today and try and um, refigure well, that route. Right route up the patrol we can go up there you want to go now <laughs> we can go i'll go, I'll go now uh, we, we don't have to go now but if i mean if you want to do it i think we should you know I, i'm i'll be around for probably another uh hour or so so that's why i'm saying if you if yeah you want I, me to i'd want to go, wanna you, go I i'd want to go with somebody absolutely but i obviously understand mm -hmm. it, it's only the two of us on duty right now so i don't want to take away yeah. from the tip line either oh. that's true that's true no i i would love to do that with you actually but i i can't today no no that's fine well i i yeah Hopefully, I'll plan to go back up more than once because I want to try and, like I say, I, I want to try and get it pretty. pretty but it'd be good for us brain. to do together as well, you or you, me, and Silas, because of you know we knew we know where we found them, we know where to look, like and that it's hard to hear them and stuff like that. Maybe take yeah. notes on how people can fall down and like how to how to like that. That's yeah. a place you can fall and you got to stand yeah. really close to the I, edge. I feel I actually feel well, pretty confident with getting my way around Hagen now, like really quite mm -hmm. confident especially yesterday because i did it multiple times yesterday so um you know i managed to figure out uh, managed to remember how to get down say from uh from 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 the uh from the tower down to the mark see and, and all of that I, I i really want to petition to the state about supplying some wood up there so that we could build some sort of barrier or like a fence even if it's just some some stakes and rope to sort of guide, because the thing about it is, is that the edge of that is much more. Uh, yeah, I think you got a few uh, dubious a few than you might think. You. Do I? Okay. No, not you, Sue. I think Cat has. Oh, yeah, oh. still. Uh, no, you no, sound fine, fine now. You sound fine now. Oh. Oh, that that sounds really good, actually. Yeah. But well, the the only reason I say that is because gotta work the, proactively. Well, the the reason that I fell, and I can tell you this wholeheartedly, is because the edge of that where you start slipping is not where you think you're going to start slipping which you're, you you uh, walk you slipped you walk as you walked to towards edge. the tower right no no i was i was along the so i i knew because I've, I've been up there at least once and right. i and the one time i was up there i didn't really I, I only went about halfway up and came back down and so the the, the time that i actually started looking around i had, the way that it looks it looks like you can walk along that edge because if they fell where I fell, then I know exactly how they fell and where they fell because I'd that edge that, that you're at, you. yeah. the, I, and I can show you, the edge where they fell is it don't look like you're going to fall off that edge. It really don't, and it's you know very Sue, scary. You know what, Sue? Let's just go up there. Let's just go. Okay, up there. let's go. Let's just go. And I can show you. I'll show you where that edge is. We're not going to get anywhere near it. <laughs> But I'll show you where that edge is, and you'll see how the the way that it's curved and, and the way that it looks, the snow's covering it, but it's a lot slicker than you'd think. And as soon as you sit on that edge, you're going to immediately lose your footing, and you're going to be – it's it's over. Because I try, what I tried to do is I tried to get a good vantage point. It looks like a really good vantage point for that other side. You can see a whole portion uh, down the mountain. You can see uh, quite a lot. The issue is again; it's just way slicker than you think it's going to be, yeah. and it cuts off a lot faster. And immediately yeah, you'll does. lose your footing, and you're just done. Yeah. And then, and uh, I tell you, it was—I uh, can't remember if it was Ryder. I think it was Ryder who was the one who who got me over, or uh, who got us, who got up to us. Yeah. We'll um, we'll figure it out. We'll uh, we'll get up there, and we'll, uh, we'll we'll get up there. We'll go up to the tower, and we'll. Um, We'll go up to the ta We'll go up to the tower up there. We'll figure out where people fell, and then from there we'll see if we can figure out some routes how to to get up to those places. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's um, there's only there's only one solid route of where where I fell, and it's a pretty it's a it's treacherous in its own right, but it's doable. Maybe as you go around, if you're up there anyway, maybe see if there's another way up as well. Because I know that Buzz was talking about maybe if you kept riding a little bit further, there was another place where you could climb it. But oh, what up to careful. where? What up to where Therese and Thingy were? The yeah, but were. from another direction. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, really? Sure Interesting. Interesting. I'm not sure though. But maybe maybe save that until there's more well, than two of you. 
I was about to say the thing about it is you can't get horses up there. You have to you have to walk up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had to we had to do that yesterday. We had to we had to climb yeah. up there. We had to climb. There it is. All right. Come well, let on. me go. Uh, let me go put some warm clothes on, and uh, uh, I'll be ready. Take mine. Uh, do you wanna uh, go talk quickly? I have to uh, to go and rest my head soon. If you wanna. Yeah, me too. Um, okay. Pugsley, okay. good luck. Uh, yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah. You, we're not gonna be gonna too. Be we're not gonna do anything too dangerous, so we'll be all right. Mm. Just check in at Barrow or Coulter. Yeah, know. we'll we'll check in. Don't worry, we will. All right. Thanks for the day. Right. Yeah, good no talk. problem. Both of you be right, safe. Stay safe. Checking out mountaineering routes. Let's see. Let's see. Hard places. This is going to be a fun patrol. This is going to be a really fun patrol. I'm looking forward to this actually. I just need to go and uh, swap horses to my snow horse, and then we'll be ready to go. All right, I'm gonna run over to the uh, outhouse real quick, and then I'll uh, I'll meet you over here by the lodge. Heard. All right. This is gonna be a lot of fun, especially with uh, especially with Sue. I love riding with Sue. He's so much fun. This is going to be really interesting. Cuz we've got to figure we got to go over to the mountain first of all. I might actually swap to a bigger coat. I might. I'm actually very tempted. No, Ed. No. Oh, mind you, no. Actually, we put this outfit on. We'll keep this outfit. It's still a closed coat. It's still quite thick. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We got a woolly jumper on under this. We'll be dead warm. Dead warm. We'll wait for Suey, Suey Boy Stout to get back and then we'll uh, get on the way. Because I want to head, we're going to head up to what we'll do is we'll head up there, we'll head down to there, then from there we'll go down to here and then 
basically because they fell down here and we had to sort of climb up i want to say we climbed up over there and went around like that or we had to go further around and figure out it was it was quite complicated i think this is where we first were and we came around here instead i think that's what we did but i want to see i want to see where sue fell because i think sue fell down here I think he fell down here. If he did, that means that we need to come back over the way that I think we came over. He's a robbery, fella. <gasps> Give me all your money. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm alright, my hands are up. Don't rob me. I'm robbing you. Oh, of your no. Of my sanity. <laughs> that was yes. already gone. <laughs> 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 How are things? Oh uh, yeah, they're you uh, okay. Yeah, they're okay. I'm still a uh, you know, I'm just thinking a lot about yesterday. Me and Sue are actually just about to go up on a Hagen patrol. Um, we want to try and figure out some routes to hard to get places. Uh, for like the canyon or. Well, uh, basically, I was telling him about the uh, the Rockwell and Therese rescue yesterday, um, mm -hmm. and he was obviously talking about where you where you three fell, well, you two and uh, other William fell, um, and I think we're gonna we're going up on a patrol and we're gonna see what we can uh, figure out because uh, I want to see if we can try and find some more um, some more routes to get to places um, in case this kind of thing happens in the future because. Uh, it's going to at some point. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, we're both heading up there. We're gonna do that. Oh. Okay. You're welcome to join us if you want, but. Contemplating. Calculating. Speaking Contemplating. Of, here he is, the man, the man of the hour. Sue I, Stout. I wouldn't say the hour, but... Sue Stout. Hmm. I don't know who this person is in front of me. That's probably for the best. Yeah. No. They yeah. ain't wearing overalls. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, he's, I'm he's a got, stranger. I'm, this is my in disguise. I'm in disguise. He's got his dung <laughs> he hasn't got his dungarees on, so I'm really confused. Um... You know what, fuck it, yeah, I'll go with you guys. I think I've just heard a bell. <laughs> Let me go I'll go look. check it, it. Of course, it's, it fucking happens every single time. Yeah, let's go on a patrol. <laughs> no, let's not. Let's go fucking... Let's, let's let the bell ring instead. Northern Great Plains. Oh, for fuck's sakes. North Growing Bayou up. Noir. Well, so much God, there's so many people getting hurt there lately. Where is it at? So much, so Northern many. Northern Bayou, Bayou Noir. Where is that at? I'll go uh, with you guys. All right. Are we going on this tip? You put us down as, yeah, we're going on it. Uh, of course we're going on it. Uh, all right, okay. Well. We can, we can I'll, I'll stay up a bit longer and we can go uh, after his tip. You sure? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Olive Hellman, Sue Stout, Hugsley William. Is there a... Guess I'll take this big frigging coat off. Is it near water? No, no it's not. Well that'll make it actually pretty easy. Yeah, it's just a Northern Bayou Noir tip. I can't even remember where North Bayou Noir is. Lemoyne. Well, I know that bit. Oh. North Bayou. Oh, no North Bayou Noir is like a really big area as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean everywhere from the coast to. It goes up towards the Kai, the River. and then it goes all the way across. Yeah. Mm my best guess is the panther that's just next to the orange to the field east of Lake. oh i know which one you no, mean yeah. or the orange field yeah yeah there's a panther at the orange field i know that one 
meeting up. Meeting I'm up far too all. tired to leave them, so. <laughs> all right. One, two, one. One, two, one. Get out the I'll way, never cat. Turn down an opportunity to go to the bayou. You never turn down an opportunity to go to the bayou. Nope. I love it there. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess somebody has to, don't they? I got myself all excited going up Mount Hagen as well. Oh, yeah, I mean, we're still going to go. Oh, wait, you said right. Hennigan. No, Hagen. Hagen. Yeah, you said Hennigan before. No, I definitely That's said Hagen. I got so confused. No, you said Hennigan. I swear I to don't God. Think, I, I really don't think that you're awake, Olive, because it, we, it, we've definitely been talking about Hagen. I know you have been, but I, I found the wagon. Finding the wagon. Uh, there was talk about possibly adding, um, as like an official bit, uh, uh, navigating Hagen as part of like a snow we was, patrol. We was just talking, we was about, just talking about that with Kat, funnily enough. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, like I say, me and Sue were going up to Hagen to try and figure out some extra routes, some mountaineering routes to get to people. Can you both hear me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. Sorry, am I not speaking out? Hello. Hi. No, you're fine. I was going to say, I think I'm speaking too. No, you're. Are you you're... speaking? I'm, I'm, I'm speaking. Oh, no, I just always ignore Sue. Yeah, that's Ooh, usually true. that's mean. I don't ignore you, Sue. I'd never ignore I you. I know you don't. That's why I like you a lot, Bugsley. Oh. Helmand, I'm more just, I'm more just stand Hellman. Seventy-seven you know what I mean? laps. <laughs> oh, did I? Have I told you about how how Hellman, the power that Hellman's received as a senior ranger, has gone directly to her head? Oh no, I've I've not heard this. Yeah, no. She's she started she started this uh this thing. I have to do laps now around Strawberry. I'm up to 77. It's all it's all punishment for my uh, 77. 77. Yep. Gone it's left. all punishment because of the fact that I'm just such a such a ne'er do well at, uh, in terms of rangering. You're not a ne'er do well at rangering. I'm a I'm a I'm a no gooder. I'm a I'm a rule breaker. I'm a rebel. You're, well, no, you're talking you to a rule breaker. Shop right. You should. Well, you should have you should have seen what I had to deal with in Valentine earlier. What you have to do in Valentine? It was awful. Uh, someone promoting classes about robbery. Yeah. Oh they offered me these odd-smelling kebabs, and the kebab that I ended up taking was just a stick, basically. I mean, it was hardly that, anything on it. That is part of a kebab, to be fair. Oh, well, it was, but there wasn't no, it wasn't nothing. I mean, it's like, it was the, it was the vegan option. Is a stick just an, it. is a stick just an air kebab? I can I can show you I can show you <laughs> when, when we when we get back when we get done with this I, I'll 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 hand it over to you because I ain't eating it and I don't think I want to eat it especially after what that other one smelled like and I'll I eat it that it might have been made of cat I'll I'll eat it I don't mind oh don't eat it please don't eat it I've I've eaten nearly every dangerous herb in the crossing okay, by accident well that, I by feel accident like this will be what does you in Pugsley I think that if anything is gonna if, if I think if it's something from Valentine is what'll end up being the yeah, thing that Yeah, yeah. The, the, the last one I ate accidentally was bitterweed. Uh, I threw up a lot. Oh goodness. Yeah, it weren't fun. What it looked like? Uh, bitterweed. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It was it was bitterweed. Yeah. That was not a fun time. I just have a bad habit of sometimes just accidentally shoving herbs in my mouth. I don't know. It's just a thing. You get too ahead of yourself, you know. You gotta, you know, really study the herb and then put it in your bag. I think, I think someone needs to write like a straight to the point, like what bad herbs do to you document, where it's like bit of weed. There is one. No, no, no. But I, I mean like, uh, I, I'm, I, I, I mean like bit of weed. Shit your pants and throw up. Do not eat. Like, you know. But the one we have it includes things like induces vomiting. Yeah, yeah, but that's not the fun way of saying it, you know. Oh, okay. Right. You know, someone's like induces vomiting. What? What? That that doesn't imply that it always happens, you know. If you just say if you say to someone you will shit your pants and you will throw up, right? 
Then they won't eat it. That would require them to read it first. Why don't plants come with small print written on them, you know? Warning, if you Maybe eat this... Maybe you put like a... Uh, you put like an official, uh, you know, symptom, and then you put like an unofficial symptom. So you put like, you know, may induce vomiting. And then underneath you go, you gonna need new britches afterwards, yeah. and that's the unofficial. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Sort of like an uh, appendix. An appendix. I think that's what that's that called. A body part? No, no. There's a there's a a a, a written term for an a, like an appendix in an, in a book or something like that. Like yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's like additional notes, basically. Yeah, yep. Yeah. But then you also got your appendix that's in your body. That's that's a whole other thing. Isn't that just a thing for eating grass? No, An appendix? No, I don't think so. I think it huh. helps with, uh, I don't know, your stomach parts. Oh. Northern Bayou Noir. Northern Bayou Noir. It's really warm in the bayou. There will be alligators. Many alligators to find. I ran into... There was just a wolf. A singular grey wolf in Strawberry earlier today. Just... just Really? Yeah, just a singular grey wolf. Just wandering around, around in the... Uh, he went to, uh, went to attack some people on the porch of the hotel. Uh, luckily enough for me, I heard the, the angry growling. And I was like, that doesn't sound very good. And I walked out of the general store and saw this wolf. And luckily there was no one around. So I just pulled out my gun immediately and just dealt with the situation. But I was about to say, I think that Silas has had to deal with that. A wolf that wandered into the welcome center before. I've, 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 had, uh, I've, I've had wolves in the saloon in uh, Coulter before. That's a, uh, that's a fun experience. Well, uh, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I think she's all right. I was gonna say wolves in the yeah, in the in the well, wolves in culture is kind of like if they're in the buildings that's just kind of normal I think. Yeah, it's still annoying though. Ah. Horse. Ah. Everything all right, Olive? Get it together, Hellman. I'm trying. We I gotta be professionals. I think you need to take a lot of there. strawberry when we get back. Oh. <laughs> Well, Lord knows I need to take about 77 of them. <laughs> You've already done 77. You don't need to do 77 more. Uh, no, they're, no they're, I haven't done my laps yet. Yeah. Oh. There was one point where we was doing 10 at a time. 10 at a time. Also, just to be very, very clear, this is all a joke. I am very depressed. This is not a joke, yeah. Pugsley. <laughs> I have to do laps, otherwise I'm losing my poncho. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. The thing I need is rumors flying around that I'm actually making people jealous of me. We can make right, these rumors right. happen if you want. That's true. We can start them up. All of Helm and Mad with Power. We'll get it in the newspaper. Both right here. Just like, <laughs> one company that can tell us. Wait, what was that? Huh? She's talking about Sorry, taking my know. other eye and giving you a reason to wear an eye patch. Oh. I just heard my throat. You know, if you lost your other eye, would you wear another eye patch? Would you just have two? I think I'd probably just take the other one off because I can't see the faces that people would make about me not having two eyes. So then, at that point, I'm just I'll walk around with two eye holes and not be bothered by anything. I just, I just, I just, I'd, I'd wear glasses and be ironic. Oh, it could be pretty funny. Yeah. Mind the wagon. Morning, Understood. Sorry, I had to. So, understood. I tell you, I, you know, everyone else's impersonation of me is is very endearing, whereas Helmut's just a downright offensive. <laughs> 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 but I think it's intentional for her. Uh, do we want to go? Could be the pants for here, I think. Yeah, I'm just thinking where we are right now. Um, no, because we'd Bye. actually no, we probably need to. Uh, no, I know we where need we need to, get to go. Into the bayou oh, we need to, first. Yeah, we're on the wrong side. Yeah. Well, we, yeah, we need to go this way. We need to go uh, right here and then take the bridge and we'll be there. Uh, I have found people at the house by the boot shaped water that's right over here. 
All right. Well, we can uh, we can check it. Uh, there is there is panthers in these. Uh, there's panthers in in uh, in this part of the bayou as well. So, yeah. We ain't too many, but yes, there are. It is. I have had the, the pleasure of swivel or head on swivel. I have had the pleasure of meeting them. So. Oh yeah, you had your uh, personal project about surrounding them, huh? Well, I still have it. Well, hopefully we don't have to uh, make any additions here today. Well. No, hopefully not. James Cross and Rage War. Oh. oh. Don't sound too enthusiastic, will you? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. No Saints problem. Saints Cross Ranger Corps, if you have any injured, I'll watch you if you can. Saints Cross and Ranger Corps, if anybody injured out here, please speak up. Saints Cross it wasn't and near water, Corps, correct? I'm tired. There's a saddled horse no, in the water not. over there. You see something? No, I'm looking. Saints Cross and Ranger Corps! Panther! It's dead! Where'd it come from? Over here. Saints Cross and Ranger Corps! Anybody injured out here? Saints Crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Saints Crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured out here? Howdy, sir, can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me, sir? I can't get down on my knees uh, to take a proper look for some reason. You might need to do it for me. Sue? Sue, can you hear me? Oh, for God's sakes, I've had a team speak crash. Uh, I can't get to my. Why can't I not get to my team speak right now? There we go. I'm not quite sure what kind of horse. Yep. Hey, I'll, I'll go ahead and... Oh, never mind. Go ahead, right. Bugsley. Uh, I can't get down on my knees to properly attend the man for some reason, so... Uh, That's fine. Might be worth you doing it for me. I'll keep watch. If, do you mind? Yeah, I was going to say, can you look at... Can you check his injuries for me? I'm not... Uh, extensively trained. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take a look. I'll have to just sort of do it stood up, though. Yeah, yeah. In fact, just... um. Right, okay, Here, let me, me let me. I'll, I'll, I'll take a look and I'll describe what I'm seeing. I'll, I'll have a quick power nap quickly. Just give me one moment. Okay. Uh, this is the worst time in humanly possible. Because I, I, I can't, I can't crouch. Literally the worst time in humanly possible. There we go. Real deep uh, wound on his left forearm. Right, I'm and, back. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's take a look, shall what we? You... I need you. I need one. I don't have. I have yet to get my, my stabilization training. Okay. All right. So unless you want me to sort of wrap bandages around it, that's about the best I can do. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, okay. Is he? Uh, is he conscious? Are you conscious, sir? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's Sorry. good. Let me know what you need me to do to help. 
Um, yeah. Right, I'm gonna just clean this. Uh, I'm gonna clean this out quickly. I'm gonna check and see if there's any arterial damage um, as well. So just um, maybe just prepare some bandages for me. Yep, I got you. Brilliant. Okay, looks like it's uh, it's deep, but there's no damage to his arteries. I'll get it cleaned out, and we'll uh, we'll get it packed and gone. We'll get him going. All right. This really smarts. Excuse my French. Uh, it's all right. You know, honestly, I'd be a little concerned if it didn't. There we go. This might sting a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Ow. Ow. All righty. Okay, we're going to get this packed with some gauze quickly. We'll get it wrapped with a bandage, then we'll get you to a medical office, okay? Yeah, sure All thing. Right. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Olive. Mm -hmm. If uh, we haven't introduced ourselves already, I'm uh, I'm Ranger Pugsley. Uh, the lady to the left is uh, Senior Ranger Hellman, and the fella on the horse is uh, Ranger Stout. Uh, pleasure to meet you, sir. What's Hello. your name? Pleasure. Name's ah, Bobby Bones. Bobby it's a pleasure. Bones. All right. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Bobby. I uh, wish it was under better circumstances, but uh, yeah. I'm just going to wrap these bandages around this gauze now, and then we'll get you. Uh, we'll get you picked up. We'll get you uh, moved to Saint Denis. All right. Yeah, that'd be grand. All right, no problem. Is that? Do you have a kind of golden color fox trotter by chance? Yeah, that's probably him. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll uh, bring him into Saint Denis for you. Thank you. I will tell you right now, he was a little exhausted. He was trying to swim across the river, um, but I gave him a few hay cubes, and he seems like he's doing okay. But, you know, ah. maybe just take it easy on him for a little bit. Yeah, thanks. He's not too bright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. Is that a little bit too tight? A little tight, but I think it's okay. Are you sure? Because I can loosen it just a little bit. No, no, no. Tighter the better, I reckon. All right. Okay. If you're happy with it, then uh, then I'm happy with it. Okay. This isn't bleeding through either, so we'll uh, we'll get him picked up. We'll start getting him uh, over to Saint Denis. All, all right. right. I'm gonna pick you up in three, sir. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. In one, two, three, and there we go. I'll put you on the back of my horse. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry I missed. I'm very sorry. That's all right. It moved as I went to the... Oh, are you really going to do this with me now? Are you... They always do it. Yeah, every time I go to put him on my horse, the horse moves, so... It's fine. It's fine. I'll... I'm, it's I'm very long... sorry about that, sir. I'm very sorry. It's all right. Come here, you dipshit. Alright, let's ride into Saint Denis. Uh, go ahead, Saint Denis, yeah. I appreciate this, mate. Stu, you oh, got absolutely. a Stu, you got a Lancaster on hand? I'd put that bolt action away. Rude boys have been around uh, Saint Denis for for a good few days, apparently. So. All right. Taking a ride. Taking a ride. Guys, my gears are taking the fuel lot. Rangers. Yeah, oh, uh, well. well, those people unfortunately aren't too picky who they take from, sadly. Yeah, I was going to say, some folks just going to take what they want to take. So, ain't really much we can do about it. Other than Whoa! I think it's dead. I think it's dead. No, it's not. You okay with it? Let me do it, because your horse is in the way. Let me do it. No, no, I got it. Okay. Okay, what the? 
Okay. Okay, I did not. Okay, yeah, I didn't know what. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll go to the medical. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I got no idea what's happening. Sure his horse. I. It's already a strange day. It is, isn't it? Mm hmm. I'm gonna go to the tip line, send a tip in. Okay, uh, Telegram? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Telegram. an alligator in the middle of the bridge. I don't think there's any medics on duty, but... Um... I'm glad I found him. Very glad I found him. Wasn't too bad a search. I think we've been having tips come in like a motherfucker as well as the problem. So this patrol probably won't happen. Or if it don't or if it does happen, it's not happening until later. Like later, later, later. So we'll see. We'll see what's happening. Q four nine two. Uh, victim in SD. Uh, deep fight. An L four. Um, will probably require stitching. If no one available. No one of it. Uh, we'll full stop that and do that again. If ah, I can't spell. If no one available, will call for local doctors. Regards. And pussy. Send done. My horse is going to kick someone, most likely, because it's an asshole. Yeah, I know rude boys have been around St. Denis a lot recently, so... I've absolutely been around them a lot, so we'll, uh... Really go and deal with that now, I guess. Oh, there's more rangers slowly coming online, I think. I think, I think, I think. Uh, oh, I'll just put mine in. Up, uh, yep, yep, get in there. There we go, there we go, lovely. That's what we wanted. And now we'll ride in and we'll... I'll be out in the middle of the river still. But he's got a nice full belly. Should uh, be able to get you wherever you need to go. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. Cr Crumble's not the smartest, so I'm not surprised who he was trying to swim through the swamps. Did he? <laughs> as a, a local doctor seemed to him in case he needed stitching or anything, or. I think they're just about to. I, I I wanted to get him up on his feet and then. No, have no, that's it. That's a good idea. Yeah. I've I've sent a tip into medic saying that local doctors will probably end up doing the stitching. So. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'll, I'll wait here until one of them comes by. Thanks for that. 
Yes, absolutely. No problem. All right, Bobby, you be safe, okay? Thanks very much. All right. Take care. Just, you too. Have a good day. I shot that alligator in the head, but to be honest, I want to see if it's still kicking or not, because I thought I saw it still moving. You know what's <laughs> funny is that I, I don't know if Mabel is just the the bravest horse that I've ever owned or the blindest and dumbest, because no, I did not see all that All three of our horses all. just rode over it. Okay. I'm not the only one who saw an alligator, right? No, I saw it after we crossed the bridge. Yeah, we should probably it was go. More and... just yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I wanted to see if it's still there. If if it is, then we obviously just go and deal with it. But yeah. And then I guess we should probably head for Lemoyne Tower, finish this paperwork yeah. up. That sounds about right. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to actually send a tip in to say this was resolved. Whoops. Oh well. Yeah, we can do it at the tower. Yeah, we can do it at the tower. Yeah, it's not necessary, so. You know, I once got attacked by an alligator in a panther at the same time. That just sounds awful. It, it was quite a horrific experience, I won't lie. Especially. It really was. It was actually not far from where that panther attacked us. Because that's the orange grove panther. That one is. Because we were right near the orange, the orange, uh, the orange grove. So... Well, that local's ridden through town, so I want to assume if the alligator's there, that it's dead. Because he probably would have ridden off in much more of a huff and puff. Yeah. If it's still up there, we can at least drag it back down to the bottom. It's... It's not. <laughs> nope, nope, it's right there. I... Is it? Never mind. It's... I, I can't... I was about to say, I don't... Yeah. I can't see it. I think a, a local might have come and pick it up, unless you can see it, Elman, and I can't. Oh, I'm going to ride away from this curse oh, happening right are. now. Oh, you are. Oh, okay. I'm okay. going to pretend that, oh, goodness gracious, oh. I don't like that at all. Oh, I, ooh, me, no, I want to check. What the, what the f Oh, that's an alley. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Are you okay? Yeah, no, it's all right. I rode down there and then I saw that alley. Oh, don't ride towards it again. Where's the gator? That big thing. Look at it. See, he's got red eyes as well. Oh, I'm gonna get out of this wagon's way. I'm sorry, what now? Look, look for your binoculars at this alligator's eyes. They're they're red. It's just an oh, evil yeah. creature. Uh, he's a very evil creature. Either that, or maybe he's misunderstood. Maybe the red eyes are just sort of a a Latin sort of no, thing. No, it's no, it's definitely evil. Oh, okay. What's evil? Uh, that alligator's got the red alligator eyes. Over. Uh, you know what? Someone was probably... Are we going to the tower? Yeah, yeah we should go to Lemoyne tower. tower. Yeah. Alright, this way then. We can cut through tower, guys. Understood. Um, understood. Uh... <laughs> so... That looks like a crop that, um, usually is really attracted to some pretty strong bait that you might set out. So someone was probably baiting right around the river. Oh, is that a legendary animal, or...? Uh, the gator is... the big, big gator is somewhere over there. I'm still yet to find it, but I'm still hunting for it. Uh, the only... I was gonna say, I'm not gonna lie, Hellman, what I saw through my eyes is not what you God. were doing. Like, it did not look like you was dragging anything and the, it was kind of horrifying the only legendary animal i've ever seen is the fish or that's just break the fence. Oh, we're going through the fields oh shit but there's these are people's are plants okay? helmet 
fucking can't go through the field. Well, you would run through the field. What are you making? What are you doing? The only legendary animal I've ever seen is the fish that you caught on the, uh, uh, like the, the, the fish you caught on the, uh, the ranger, the ranger camp out, the like camp the day out. before, the, the, like the day before you left for a month. That's right. That's right. That was the second legendary fish I'd caught. The first legendary fish I'd ever seen. I plan on catching a third at some point, but I got to get to fishing again. I, I ain't had time to go fishing. That's the thing. Yeah. This is the second time I've been down to Lemoyne Tower today. Oh, well, is that such a bad thing? No, well, it's, it's not terrible, but... I mean, Lord knows I'd rather be at Manzanita. You don't half love it there, don't you? I, listen, I just like it so much. You like being around all those bears? It, you know, the bears ain't too bad. You'd be surprised at how many of them... Well, I, I, that's a lie. They're all extremely aggressive and, and very bloodthirsty. And I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, I'm going to end up a stack, a snack of them one of these days. But Oh, yeah. But Eyes out for I, a panther, by the way. Just be careful. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, I was pulling the gun out for. But I tell you, the chorus of wolves is one of the things I've really come to enjoy. You know, just the, the wolves all howling at once has been pretty fantastic. Oh, it is. I that for the first time yesterday. Really? Oh, something else, I tell you. Yeah, I never heard it. Um, we've got a tip for West Saint Denis. Oh, within well. within thirty meters of water, which is the side of Saint Denis huh. that we've just been at, and that came oh, in there was a ten minutes ago. Oh goodness! I was gonna say there's this other uh, far eastern grizzlies tip, but I think that's uh, that's two been a while now. Two deputies are on that far east grizzlies tip. Oh, I see that now. Right. Let me uh, let me write up the paperwork quickly for this. Um, Another thing. All on West Saint Denis. I mean, that'll yep. be Easy peasy. Be. For West Saint Denis, within thirty of water. By the way. Yep, it's all gonna be on the coast. Which could be the boat docks as well, or smugglers tunnel, or whatever the fuck it's called. What time did the um the West Saint Denis tip come in? Hello, milk. Um, not not the West Saint Denis. Sorry, the North Bayou one. Give me a second. I'll look at it. That'd be four oh nine. Four oh nine. Thank you. Uh, at Stout. Why? Uh, what time is it now? 4.44? Okay, 04.44 p.m. EDT. Uh, near the orange. Ah, I can't spell. Pog, oh, thank you for the prime sub milk. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Uh, near the orange orchid. For attack. Uh, found him after riding in Westwood. It, I think See. West Saint Denis is also that uh, that pond that's there too. Uh, Westwood into North Bayou. Bayou. I can't spell Bayou. Uh, Bayou Noir. Um, no major injuries. To uh, oh no, wait. Uh, talk to SD medical office. No major injuries. That will do for the moment because we're just about to go on another tip. I will flesh that out in a little bit. Alrighty, all done. Let's go. All right.
trees. Cutting through the trees. Cutting through the trees. Understood. Understood. Oh, she's going for it. Fucking Jesus. Oh, I guess we're picking it up. Sorry, I was just cutting through the trees. I never heard you say cutting picking it up. Again. Cutting through the trees again. Cutting through the trees again. Understood. Heard. Sorry. It's alright. Maybe I shouldn't lead. God, Olive. It's, it's not like you're the senior and you should lead by example or something. You know, I'm trying. Yesterday was... Oh, I know. I was there for some of yesterday. I am feeling much better now, Milk. Thank you very much. I am. Uh, much, much no, better. Actually, slow up. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Sorry, slow down. I to say it early. We're going to cut across the tracks here because um, we can check the docks first. Heard. And then um, we can go along the coast from there because the docks are a little bit... West Saint Denis, well, so it's well, not take, a huge we'll area. We'll Understood. 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 Yeah, I think you need to work on it. You need to like put a little bit of your own flavor on it. I can't. I can't really do like your accent though. You know. Well, I know. That's why I'm saying you gotta. You gotta have your own flavor of it. Understood. There, well, I mean, is that really how you want to do it? Uh, I don't know. I'm just figuring it out. Well, I think workshop it, and then eventually it'll it'll become something of your own. Oh yeah, I know, I know. I don't want to steal, steal your mine. thing. I, I don't really mind it. No, no, it's your thing. I don't want to. I don't want to steal it from you. No, I, I don't mind it. It ain't my thing. It's just a word that anybody can use. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I, I sat so like can't I did, we can't hear you. We can't here. hear you. You're riding far away from us. Oh. I, I'm screaming as loud as I can. Saints Cross and Ranger Corps. Scream Hello. louder. Saints Cross and Ranger Corps. Bless Saints her. Cross and Ranger Corps. Anybody heard over here? Should we check the individual docks too? Um. Yeah. Can do. Saints Cross and Ranger Corps. If you had any injured, holler out to us if you can. Saints Cross and Ranger Corps. Anybody injured out here? Saints Cross and Ranger Corps. Anybody heard over here? I have a ride down here. Saints Cross and Ranger Corps, is there anybody injured? Saints Cross and Ranger Corps, is there anybody injured? Go take a look on this boat. Saints Cross and Ranger Corps, anybody injured? I know people have been shot here before. Cause it's right out of the way. No, nothing here. Nothing here. No, I was about to jump over that. Would have been a silly idea. Saints Crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured? I haven't reloaded this pistol yet. I should probably do it. Saints crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured? This could literally be anywhere, I'd have no idea. Saints crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured out here? What over the person then? Saints crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured down here? Saints Cross and Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Why am I really tempted to climb that roof, even though there's no point? Because he won't be up there. Could be someone who's been gunned down in the street, most likely. Why won't you walk? I was going to say, why won't you walk around there? Saints Cross and Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Come on. Come on. No, no, that way, yep. There we go. Saints crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured round here? Oh, there you are. Oh, you're looking for me? 
Yeah, no, I was just um checking on you, making sure things were okay. No, I'm fine. Hi. Uh, went around the lake. There's that little pond that's over there. There's nobody over there. Um, Hi. Sue went north on the west coast. Oh, so you went up to like where past the gardens or outside those houses? Yeah. All right. I've checked. I've checked all the docks. I can just round there. Uh, there's some further I'm back. I haven't. The, I'm gonna go check the casino. I think that might be Eastern. Is it? Uh, ooh, yeah, I think it might be Eastern, but. Um. Um. All I would say is with that, let's check it together because I know it's been used for bad things in the past. Okay. Because I, I just, I don't want you uh, getting in any trouble. No, it's not. I mean, I've, I've talked myself out of some pretty bad situations before. Saints Crossing Ridge Corps. Saints Crossing Ridge Corps, anybody injured? Saints Crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured out here? There's a lot of hidey holes here in Saint Denis. Saints Crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Check in every single motherfucking boat. Saints Crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Saints Crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Nah, there's nothing up here. How am I not surprised? I'll have a look around the building though quickly. Saints Crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Oh, you could actually kill somebody here and they'd never know. They'd never know. Oh god. No, this way. No, that way. There you go. Lovely. Saints Crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured? It could really be on the boat, actually. It could definitely be on the boat. Saints Crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Saints Crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured? I'm just thinking about all the places that people get shot up in these parts. And it's literally all in places like this. Saints Crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Like, I'm literally just thinking about all the places I've seen people be shot up here. Like, from all the people I'm seeing. Like, <laughs> from all the crime that happens around here. Saints Crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Saints Crossing Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Nope, there is nobody on this boat. Have I wasted my time? Yes. Was it fun? Yes. They probably found him and I'm just riding around like a duck. I'm actually dumb. No one's got a clue where anyone is either, because we've all ridden... Oh, I see. The 
because you know you were right. It's definitely east. It's one hundred percent east. What the boat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've not um, seen anything, and I've checked pretty much every dock. Yeah, let's go uh, find the sea. If I had to guess, they would probably. Got He's probably him. got him. Yeah. You want to check the medical office first, or? Uh, it's not a bad shout, considering how long we've been over here. Right. Let's go. Trust me, darling, I know this city. I know this city. No, like the back of my hand. I run this town. <laughs> I see a warm blood. Looks like Sue's. Find him, Sue? No, I didn't find nobody. I just went over here. Went over here to just check around, see if anybody got brought in. But we've not nobody. seen anybody either. Um, yeah. I'm, I probably... went. Go ahead. I was gonna say I went and checked the. Uh, the northern side along the coast and I went and doubled back to where we had looked before and and there's a whole bunch of nothing so I mean it, did y'all check over uh, towards the uh, that further south like those longer docks I, I went across yep. that the big square one or the big rectangular one I've, I've checked around a lot of the docks closer maybe not more like in the southwest corner maybe uh, let's go check the tunnel it's probably a... Wait, do you want to check? I, I think it's close enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The right. tunnel. The tunnel? Mm -hmm. I'm sure I know which tunnel she's talking about. Going right. Going right. Stay in left. Stay in left. Going right. Going right. Picking it up. Going right. Picking it up. Picking it up. We checked on the bridges as well. The, the, as well. In and out of town. Yeah. Uh, we should probably check the main bridge after this. Going left and then right. Left and right. Left and right, heard. I'm trying to remember exactly where this is. Think I'm not. Right? Question mark. Oh, were you on about? Are you on about coming through here, through the train station? Uh, no, smuggling tunnel. Oh, I know where it is, I know where it is. Okay. Wait, what about the, um... Dave's crossing range for anybody down here. Oh, I've... let me let me get a lantern. Hold on. There's lanterns down here. I've never Dave's been in here. Dave's crossing range for anybody down here. We're only looking for injured people. Nothing more. That's it. What? Dave's crossing range for anybody hurt over here. How have I never known about this? Anybody at all? Nothing. Hmm. That is the tunnel. Oh well, that's tunnel. I never knew this was mm. a place. Where the hell? I learn something new about this game every oh, week. 
Just uh, be careful when you come down here. That's all. Yeah, understood. I don't know if I'll ever want to come back down here. Unless it's, you know, just to look for somebody. The walls look kind of fleshy to me. I don't know why. It's weird. I, I think they're just real moist. Yeah, it looks weird. I've never known about this. I spent the last year role-playing in Saint Denis. I've I never have seen somebody rode by and scooped them up. What about the um? No, this probably wouldn't. I was going to say, you know the um, there's that place on the other side of the the um the bridge out there, isn't there? That you can go in. Oh yeah, but I think that's considered a different area on the other side of the river. So. Yeah, that's and I don't know if that would come up as its own tip or not. Oh. Uh, what was that? Sorry. I don't know if that would come up as its own tip or not either. Well, the tip, the tip itself said it, it was, it was, Saint Denis, but it also mentioned part of Bayou Noir, didn't it? No, it's just within thirty meters of water. I thought. Oh, it, it looked like. Oh, it was... Saint. Oh, uh, a Saint Denis. A Saint Denis tip comes up as Saint Denis near. Uh, Saint Denis near Bayou Noir. Okay, okay. Always comes up like that. Yeah. Okay, it's really right. bizarre that way. Tracking. I'll check the train track. I checked uh, along the northern side. I just didn't check along the bridge proper. Saints crossing Ranger Corps. Anybody injured out here? Where does the border end for Saint Denis? I don't remember. It's uh around here. So there's those. There's that train track out there as well. That will be... So, yeah, we need to... We should take the train track down there as well. Because that will be... Uh, fuck it, we'll just dip. We'll just dip off of here. And go for it. We should yep. we should check the train track just down here as well if we haven't checked this one the one that leads in oh no we came in on that no, didn't we yeah we did we didn't we the tower. I check I mean I checked all over her too so all right all along the coastline if if we check we most haven't of the seen dots, a horse we haven't seen a horse or anything either so mm -hmm. it's yeah no a whole bunch of nothing I figured it might have been a gator attack near the uh, the water line but you know, the, the gators are a little bit further north but yeah no one right. nothing. To the tower, picking it up. To the tower, picking, picking it, up. it up. I don't think we're going on this patrol soon. Yep, yep. We might have to change it for another day. I think I'll be around for the uh, the West Elizabeth patrol that I'll be on, or that, that I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll be there for that. That'd be nice. Um, but for the most part, I think I'm going to be uh, otherwise occupied. Yeah. Now I was having a dream last night. It was a, uh, you know, at its core, Continuing it was very uh, going straight. It was a very true, armored true. dream. All right. What was the dream? I can't really describe it. Armored dream. Why? There what? Was like giant. There's like it's like giant trains. Right. Walking yeah. around. Walking trains. Yeah, that's right. That's right. What kind of dreams are you having? I don't know. They were, I don't know. But they were. They, the trains were armored and they had these. Uh, they had these fiery cores. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I just. I. I couldn't stop dreaming about them. <laughs> he's been playing. He's been, he's been playing some game them. recently. I know he is. I'm gonna stop now. Nothing. Don't worry about it. It's just I'm losing it slowly. He was playing Earth Defense Force slowly. yesterday, and I know he was. Seventy-eight laps. Oh gosh, darn it! Someone else can write this one up. I wrote the last one up. What time? Uh, we've had a oh, southern, southern tall trees. We've had a southern tall trees come in, um, but that particular tip was. Uh, ooh, when was Five, seven minutes ago. Uh, zero four thirty two was our West Saint Denis tip.
No, oh, Ranger Trial. Is this one of the recruits? Yeah, there's a train around at the moment. Yeah, I definitely want to do that Southern Torturies tip because this could be our supposedly missing deputy. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's a uh, maybe a deputy missing in Southern Torturies. Take this time to tall trees. To oh, should I put us on the tall trees? Uh, I've, I've already done it. Okay, well, I've put the three of us on it. I don't know if, whether all three of us actually want to go. Yeah, we'll go. My guess is it's probably Bear Town to be honest, but. All right. So you want to lead us to tall trees? Let's to go. Tall trees. Come to through. Come through. Understood. Watch your face. Oh, for God's sakes! Stupid fucking snake. Picking it up. Uh, cutting a bit to the right. Sorry. Uh, you're alright. I still can't believe there's that tunnel in, in St. Denis. Never seen that before. Hopping on the tracks. Careful, Sue, because there is, there is, uh, there is trains ri riding about. So. Uh, right, never mind. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll get off the tracks then after we get past the road. Heard. Oh, I see the train up ahead. Never mind. We're taking a right here. Going Take, right. Taking a right. <laughs> taking a left. We'll have to see which way the train's going. If it's uh, if it's going the opposite way, then you know we just can go back on the track. Oh well, we can we can mind the road. It's all right. It slows through town if you're going through town. Yeah, slowing down through town. Slowing down through town. Hello, roads. Showing our presence. We are present. We are now no longer present. We are now exiting roads. Someday I'll take train. It's going the same way we're going. Well, we can beat it. Picking it up. Who Picking it take up. A train someday? You never taken a train? No. To be honest, I wouldn't recommend it. Why? Because every time I've seen people or heard about people going on a train, it usually ends with, yeah, it was a fun time until I got robbed. See, that's when you gotta be smart and just not take anything with you. That's true. You take a, a nice, uh, you take some snacks, and that's about it. Snacks and water mm -hmm. and you'll be fine. Yeah, I wish it was that easy, but generally in our line of work, I'm carrying multiple sharp objects, lots of bullets, guns, a lasso, you know. I got a cleaver, a tomahawk, a knife, three rifles between me and my horse. Jesus. Well, you know, you gotta have two you gotta have a spare Lancaster with you at all times. I don't own a Lancaster. You don't? Nope. I don't not, like those guns. Not even a state one? Nope. I, I only... might be having a headache. Oh, wait, wait. Sue, Olive's having a headache. Sue! You okay, Olive? Oh, I'm I'm having a... I'm having an earache again. God damn it. Two team speed crashes in one night. I've got mud in his ears from the bayou. Okay. 
That's more than once I've had mud in my ears tonight. Gotta get okay. this cleaned out. All right, well, picking it back up. Picking it back up. I heard. I, I'm, I, I am, I'm almost worried to gallop. Eh. Eh. What's the worst that could happen? You know. Why, you want to go along lose? the train track, don't you? No, I don't. Oh, absolutely not. Not with that train coming. Is there a wagon or riders? There's a rider coming on the train track to us. Mind the train, sir. You can pick it up to a gallop, gallop if you want. Yeah. Oh, I, I will. I'm going to wait till we get past this bridge and then we'll gallop our hearts out. Okay, past the bridge, gallop our hearts out. That's right. All right, picking it up. Picking it up. This gypsy's like surprisingly fast, so like if I overtake Sue, it's going to be kind of embarrassing for him. Keeping the left path. Keeping left. Mind the rider. Rider. Mind in the rider. Need to reapply. Yeah, man. Yeah. Spend a ton of time on that application. Much more time than what we did when I uh, when 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 uh, when you did it the first time. Like loads of time. Read everything. Give nice, long, detailed answers. Right ahead. Right ahead. Rest in the horses. My horse has probably still got plenty in the tank, but I did too. I just didn't know. It was nah, that's fair. A, it's a, it's a new horse. I didn't want to over. I didn't want to overdo it. Nah, that's fair enough. I absolutely love this coat on this horse. This is my snow horse. My new horse. I bought this on Monday. It was a thousand dollars. Very expensive horse. Very, 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 very expensive horse. Worth it though. And we're taking a left. <laughs> taking a left. That's right. Were there any deputies on that tip, or was it just... No, there was no, no deputy. There was no deputies on the Southern Tall Trees tip. Alright. There was a... Um, in case you didn't see, there was a deputy who went out very early this morning on a Tall Trees tip, never responded to it, and another tip came in just over an hour later. Um, I've written up a missing persons file and already spoken to Laura about it, so... What's the name of the deputy? Leon Williams. Yeah. Wait, did I read something? Or was that in the Buckley thing? About the type of horse they rode? Um. No, so a tip did come in from a deputy telling us what horse he rides. Uh, Leon a, Williams. Yeah, a dusty grey Breton uh, with a dark mane and tail. Like I say, I I've been... I've, horse I've, has run off by now. Oh, I would imagine so too, but you know, all the information is useful. Yeah, yeah, of course. Got a physical description of him as well: hair color, um, hair length, all of that, shirt color. So I think he went out on a search and rescue with me once. I'll know his voice if I hear it. The, well, Maybe. by all accounts, I'm guessing there is still somebody else injured out there anyway. So yeah, well, yeah. Was the last Southern Tall Trees tip we went on that guy with the door? Yeah, it was. I've not heard anything back from that guy, about that guy, actually. I hope he's alright. Uh, he is, I saw him walking, he was with, uh, a couple of people that got hurt in Strawberry. Um, he was walking, talking, he was doing just fine, so. Oh, that's good. Yeah. He did thank us. 
again. I did tell him to, to let us know we'd reimburse him for the shirt that we had to rip off of him. Or I would reimburse him at least. We're taking a left. Taking a left. Heard. I need to swap to my bolt action when we get closer to tall trees. After the water, we'll uh, we'll pick it back up to a gallop. Alright. Alright. Picking it up. Picking it up. Heard. And we're cutting across to the right. Going across to the right. Eyes out for Cougar. Eyes out for the Cougar. Mind the wild horses. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, a little bit. Didn't see the Cougar, so we're going to assume the Cougar weren't there. Low and down. For Southern Tall Trees. Do we want to just head towards Bear Town and maybe work our way back up? Well, there's a couple. There's a couple spots where bears are around. Hold, hold, hold on, Sue, because Olive's a mile behind us. Bear Town would probably be a good start. There's a there's a bear a that lives at that over here. Yeah, there's a bear that lives. There's a bear. There's wolves that come around up uh, just uh, a little bit south uh, west of here. I think Bear Town's so, I mean, as good a place as any to start, really. Yeah, absolutely. We With Southern Tall Trees as well, there's a few people at the moment getting injured down past Southern Tall Trees in the flat area as well, which still counts as Southern Tall Trees. Oh yeah, right on the uh, border over there, going towards yeah. uh, McFarland. There's yeah. definitely a wolf pack over there. Yeah. There's a few people getting down down there, but I think Bear Town is as good a place as any to start. Absolutely. Um, yeah, okay, right. I'm good for ammo and my combo. Ain't crossing Ranger Corps if you have any injured. Holler at me if you can. Ain't crossing Ranger Corps if you're injured out here. Please let us shout. Please shout out. Ain't crossing Ranger Corps if you head over here. Ain't crossing Ranger Corps. Anybody injured? Ain't crossing Ranger Corps. Anybody injured? Ain't crossing Ranger Corps. Anybody injured? Not seeing the bear yet, but there is time. Ain't crossing Ranger Corps. Anybody injured? Bear dead? Bear's down. There was the bear. Huh. Saints crossing Ranger Corps. Anybody injured up here? Saints crossing Rangers. Anybody injured? They ain't crossing Ranger Corps. Anybody injured out here? They ain't crossing Rangers. That's my horse. No, that is. Ow!
I don't know where those two are. Where have they gone? There's Sue. Where are they running to? They've ridden off quick, haven't they? Uh, they... Sue just went looking for you back at Fairtown. Oh. Well, I'm back over here. <laughs> oh, hello. Back in town. Yeah, you can look over here, you bozo. Yeah, we should probably just check that flat area just to clear it off. Um... And then the trail going up over our basin. Uh, well, that's more northern tall trees up around there. I mean, it wasn't. We it could wasn't take near water, trail. was it? No, it was not. It was a uh, okay. No. Um, yeah, let's I go kinda... check the lower. Yeah, yeah. What? I what was just about to say. say sorry. Now, what exactly what you said? That I think we should go check the lower to, in case it was a uh, wolf attack. We okay. should also. Uh, mine this trail and see if maybe if somebody tried to cut through it may have fallen yeah Saints Cross and Ranger Corps anybody injured down here Saints Cross and Ranger Corps if you have any injured holler out to Mr. Cannon Saints Cross and Ranger Corps I'm tired Saints Cross and Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Was that you saying Saints Cross and Ranger Corps? Hi. Where are we right now? Oh, I know where we are, yeah. Saints, Saints Cross and Ranger Corps. Cross and Ranger Corps. If you got any injured, holler out to us if you can. Saints Cross and Ranger Corps, anybody injured out here? Saints Cross and Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Because it's like all this area as well. This is, this is all Southern Tall Trees. Like all of this is Southern Tall Trees as well. So we'll check all of this around here. Saints Cross and Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Because there's bear dens down here. Oh, not bear dens, sorry, wolf dens. Saints Cross and Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Saints Cross and Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Saints Cross and Ranger Corps, anybody injured? Hello there, sir, you okay? No. All right, let me take a look over your injuries. You mind me asking your name, sir? It's Dean Sweeney sure with an E before the Y. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Someone come and move my horse for me before. Yeah. I... Yep. I'm gonna do that right now. 
Kicks me. Oh, I, I got it. Got I got it. I got it. I got it. Thank you. I, I just Stand wanted up. to let you know. I probably ten hours back. I I cried for help again, but I had I fell asleep. I'm sorry. I didn't want y'all looking for multiple people, but it may be old by now. All right. Okay. Um, that's no problem. I see you've got some nasty claw marks on your back and your hand as well. All right, let me get you cleaned up. We're gonna to, we're gonna get you to Blackwater, okay? I appreciate it. So, would you say about an hour after your the first time somebody saw you, uh, somebody else did? No, it was. Oh, what was it? I cried for help. Laid here as best I could, drinking the rainwater for two and a half or three hours, and then I think I nodded off and woke back up about half hour back. Tried again. All right. Okay. Cleans out the wounds. It was real quiet, though, so I didn't expect much. No, nah, no, nah, it's fine. Well, we found you now, and that's all that matters. Luckily, it rained, I'm telling you, because... <laughs> <laughs> I can't even reach the damn kids either. I feel like my arms are asleep. <laughs> well, uh, well, when we get back, get you back to Blackwater, we'll get some, uh, we'll get some fluids in you and things. All right. All right. Right, I just want to take a better look at this hand just before we get going, okay? Digits intact. Glove destroyed now. Let's see this. Alrighty. Well, it looks like all your fingers are in one piece. Maybe a couple of fingernails missing. So uh, you won't be painting them anytime soon, I'm afraid. But uh, we'll uh, we'll get that wrapped up. We'll get you back to Blackwater, okay? <laughs> I appreciate it. Don't think I'll be hunting for a few days or so. <laughs> That's fair enough. I uh, I don't blame you. Alrighty, nice and careful. Alrighty. Okay, you reckon you you reckon you're safe for me to pick you up? Yeah, I I managed to roll in the dirt a little bit. I figure if I can stop bleeding, that's the best thing I could do. So I think I'm okay to move. Alright, let me uh alright, I'm gonna pick you up, put you on the back of my horse, we'll get you to bl uh, we'll get you black water right now. Okay. And then one, two, three. And hey. There we go. Get you on the back of here. Grabbing his hat. Yeah, my colleague, uh, my colleague is just grabbing your hat. By the way, I'm. Uh, by the way, I'm Ranger Pugsley, the fella on the horse over here. That's Ranger Sue Stout, and uh, the, the lady who's just picked up your hat. That's uh, Senior Ranger Olive Hellman. All right, so we'll. Uh, just so you know, and don't forget with. the senior, or she'll make you do laps. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't want to do any laps. It's a joke. Don't worry about it. She would. She would never do that. All Only right, to Sue. me though. All right, Sue. Do you want to lead us to Blackwater? To Blackwater. We we'll go one, two, picking it up. One, two, picking it up. It was a. I feel so dumb. So my cart broke down. 
and I had hours worth of work in there chopping wood and whatnot. Oh no. And I decided, okay, I guess I'll walk on over to the Thieves Land and Stables. And a pack of four wolves was there, and immediately I noticed there ain't no rocks around. No. no <laughs> and no. Uh, things turn bad real quick. I've been there. I've been exactly in that situation. Uh, so uh, I know the pain of being attacked by a pack of wolves. The, uh, the, sc the scars on my face are from a pack okay. of wolves in Big Valley. So uh, I know your pain. Half my face has them too, but it was from something years back, but yeah. back when I was more attractive. <laughs> the scars make you more attractive, don't worry. The ladies like it. Oh, my wife don't complain, but she makes fun of me sometimes. Oh, it's only out of love. It's only out of love. Rider. Find the rider. Can, uh, when we get to town, can one of you send a tip into the medics? Because um, this fella might need some stitches, I reckon. Yep. I'll have to check. I'll have to check better. I don't know how how deep a lot of the claw wounds on his back are, but um, I'll have to take a look. Taking a left. Slowing down. Slowing. I'll break off here. Send a telegram. You want to take him? Heard. Alrighty, let's get you settled in there, shall we? Set you, get you settled in the medical office. Nothing more comfy than a medical office. Yeah, well, they got nice comfy beds in there, so. <laughs> Look at that, perfect. Perfect, just on the bed, all right. Let me take a look over these claw marks on your back quickly. That was a really good spot from me, actually. No visible bones and ribs, a lot of pale skin surrounds. Uh, surrounds marks. Uh, yeah. Do they need stitches? Alrighty, so the claw marks on your back are going to need stitches, I'm afraid. Um... We'll see if there is any doctors around. If not, then I'll get a local doctor to come in and they'll uh, they'll have to take over from there and uh, perform, put the stitches in and everything. Uh, it's not something I can do, sadly, um, for you. Not trained, uh, not trained in that way, unfortunately. So um, yeah, we will. Uh, we'll see if there's any medics around. If not, then uh, we'll get a local doctor in and they'll uh, they'll go from there with you. Okay. Okay, I appreciate it. Alrighty. I love a little bit of med RP. I seem to take part in a in a little bit of it these days. Olive, is there a chance you could pack me, uh, grab me some uh, some extra gauze, please? I might need to repack yep. these wounds. Yep, I'm coming. I'm coming. The bleeding ain't heavy on his back, but it's coming through the gauze a little bit, so I'm going to need to repack it. Right.
All right, here's this one, then I have another one if you need it. All righty. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I'll just be right here if you need anything. Yeah, we're going to probably need a local doctor for this man if there's no medics around. His, uh, his back is going to need stitching up. All right, I'm just going to wash my hands just in case you need sure. anything. Is there anything you rangers need at all, by the way? Because once I get my car fixed up and brought back to the stable, I can try and repay you. No, we don't require any money. We're paid by the state, so uh, I appreciate it, but uh, it's all right. It was very kind of you to offer them, but, you know, this is our job. This is what we do. I Making understand. sure that you're safe is, you know payment enough as cheesy as that sounds it's honestly the truth i haven't had this much trouble since bef when i got here really in the crossing and i would i'm trying to remember their names and i wish i could but an older man with big old puffy sleeves and a big old puffy he, bear he, i'm not sure he talks like this there's either bear or deuce. Like yeah. like, you kind of talk a bit like this? Yeah, it talks it a bit like this. <laughs> they have a silver eye patch or a black eye patch? I don't remember. It's it been is... a few months. Did he wear a top hat? Bet... <laughs> His hat was tall. I don't know if it was That's the top bear. Yeah, it was bear. Okay, That's that was bear. bear. That was bear. Yeah. That was bear. But it was him and a little lady with a gray poncho. I don't know her name, but she had red hair. And they they found me in a bush in the dark. And the bear was right next to me, and it was, it was the cr craziest thing I ever seen. <laughs> that sounds, yeah, about, that right. sounds about right. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, I think we're gonna need a local medic. I uh, don't know if there's any medics around. Let me go bang on the doctor's door. Wake sure. him up. Hang on. No problem. It's usually not this bad, but. As soon as I missed my first bow shot, the four of them were on me, and I figured, well... Yeah, that sounds about right. There was actually somebody who went out looking for you um, uh, when the tip came in, um, but it looks like um, they never found you. Oh. I, I, I uh, banged down his door nice and loud, so he should be out shortly, soon, hopefully. All right. Okay. All right. Would you tell that person, I apologize, uh, dozed off, and he, I, may, I maybe didn't hear him trying to find me, and I feel awful about it. Yeah, no, it's no problem. We will do. We will do. It's fine. All righty. Um... The local doctor here, I'm going to let him take over uh, from here. In the meantime, um, I will uh, try and get you comfortable um, just in the meantime, I think. So, uh -huh. um, so, right, okay. This is where I have to do proper medical RP. Um, um, I hate to keep you here if other folks are in need. No, it's all right. Uh, LG, uh, threads, needle and begins, 
Oh, don't that feel tingly now? <laughs> I bet it does. Do stitches hold? Oh, he landed exactly back where he was. That was amazing. Hang on a moment. My nerves must be acting up. It's all right. We sat right weird on the edge of the bed. Oh, good Lord. I am thirsty. Are you, uh, I, you need I a drink? A, I have a canteen. Let me stand up. You sure? I was going to say, you could probably fill up your canteen in that sink right there if you don't have anything. Or just, you know, take a sip of the water that's running through there. I'd rather just stay right here on this chair. You know what? Fair enough. I think the, uh, the doctor will probably just need to take a look over that hand of yours before they can uh, maybe let you go. But past that. I'm going to stick around here for a little bit then. Would you like us to stay, or are you happy for us to leave? As as much as I enjoy your company, I don't want to be holding up anybody in case anyone's out there, and I'll no. have a local doctor take a look. All right, okay. If you're uh, if you're happy with that, we'll uh, we'll get a we'll get a tip sent into the medics to say you've been seen to by local doctors, and then uh, yeah, if any if your symptoms get any worse, um, you know, or uh, you start feeling lightheaded or dizzy. Uh, contact the medics and let them know. Um, also, you might be worth you just going to the medics in a few days and letting, getting them to take them stitches out as well. Or I know Margot and Bellatrix. So I'll, I'll seek them out. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure you know the drill then. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. All right, Mister Sweeney, you uh, you have a good day, okay? I uh, you as well. Thank you all for all right. for coming to find me. Thanks, oh, absolutely. No take care now. S stay safe. As well. Is it watch this? Hey, Pugs, how are you? Bell Kelly, how are you? I'm good. I'm just really, really interested in this piece of meat. That is a very black. That is a very bright uh, waistcoat you got going on there. Say thank you. you know, I, I thought you know. I love it. I love it. I feel like you know it's good to be recognizable as a Tiffany. Well. I I would happen to agree in terms of being recognizable. I would happen to agree. Are so, you a full fledged yeah, deputy? Yeah, I got yet? them to make another. No, I'm not. Uh, you'll get there. I Soon believe in you. Just a lowly cadet. This me, but I'm gonna ride with you back to Strawberry. Mm -hmm. Alrighty then. Just for today. Ooh, that's exciting. It's going to ride with us all the way back to Strawberry. Let's go. I think you should lead the way. I I don't I have to like ride in the middle cuz I'm a civilian. Yeah, no, you you do. I mean. Oh yeah, you actually do, don't you? Okay. Yeah. I'll lead. Oh, follow the senior ranger. One, two, one. Follow senior ranger. That's right. Keep it in a trot till we get us some trousers. Keep it into a trot. Keep it into a trot. Understood. Understood. <laughs> oh, my God. Understood. Picking it up. Picking it up. Picking it up. Picking it up. Understood. Oh, I all of you. Cut and right. Mind the rod. Cut and right. I get made fun of for saying herd. Do you? Yeah, apparently they don't do that. 
How they really? don't do that in the uh, in the deputies? No. They oh, read well. back, but they don't say heard. Huh. Huh. It's like everything's very Mind much the, the same, but slightly Mind the wagon. Mind the wagon. Mind the wagon. I have, though, successfully led and rescued two uh, search and rescue since being a cadet. Well, that's good. Oh. Nice. So you've retained some of those ranger skills then? Oh, one or two. Some of them. I, was yeah. say, I don't think it all just sort of slips away the moment you pull the poncho off. Ah, uh, yeah, it does. We know it does. I was kind of surprised they didn't let me keep the poncho. To be uh, well, they gotta wash it and rider. reuse it. Mine and the rider. Yeah, I guess. Goodbye, rider. I heard hey, the state ranger makes them all. Do they really? I I heard that the I state like to ranger. Think that we use all the old ponchos and like we're weaving them together into one giant blanket. Yeah, or a big yeah, I'm or a big like a big, big hot balloon. a big hot air balloon. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. I know, I heard they brought uh, you know once in a while you can go for a hot air balloon ride. I have a friend who did that once. I've heard about that. I'm. Going left. I wonder who, who got Going my left. ranger Blown pistol, town. I wonder. Blown for town. I don't know, actually. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What, the Poseidon? Pose it's Poseidon something, right? Yeah, Poseidon's, Poseidon's gift. Poseidon's gift. Good day. Hello. Good day. Howdy. I probably I'm just gonna make sure there's nobody up at the porch. office and then I'll come back. Alright. We have been busy. Um, Olive? I can do paperwork on mine. Uh, the door wasn't locked. I got I got the uh, the paperwork for that one. I'm Excuse me. The door wasn't locked. Oh god. The door has literally been unlocked the entire time. What? Whoa. Uh, there's nothing missing, is there? Don't think so. All right. Well, just so you guys know, I put. Well, someone stole them. That's nice. Oh. Wait. Someone stole what now? Uh I had two crates here, one filled with uh, fire kits, and the other one filled with food. Oh. And they're both gone. Well, if, if no one looked in them after, uh, I think it's a lot shorter time before local folks nope. will come scoop them up. Well, you know, it was less than half a day ago. I think, I think it's that short if nobody looked in them, but it also might have been that they got taken up, too. Or scooped up by somebody. They are a lot flimsier now, unfortunately. Yep, yep. What was the time for that? Uh... Oh, let me have a look. I'll find yeah. out. Four fifty nine PM. Thank you. Hello, Scouse. How you doing? Yes, this character's name is Willie. If there's another tip and I ride with you, you can all give me feedback about how awful I am. You're terrible. You'll <laughs> never make it as a deputy. How dare you talk to me? That's, that's right. God, it's so <laughs> harsh. I've never heard you so harsh. Wow. <laughs> so mean. I didn't, so I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it. I don't know. Will he or won't he? I have no idea, Scouse, mate. Not a clue. 
You know, the best part about being a cadet is what? I don't have to do paperwork. Mm. But when you become a deputy, you'll have tons of paperwork. Yeah, then, the, yeah, wait, like way too much. They have over a hundred pages of paperwork. What? They have over one hundred pages of paperwork. <laughs> uh, hundred pages. <laughs> I seem this just seems like a, like too much. I mean, we got a lot of paperwork, but that just seems like overkill. It's because they just aren't organized. Like you know? mm. That's unfortunate. Yeah, probably. Maybe they don't archive They're it. They're just well, not that organized. organized. Maybe they just have a whole bunch of investigations or something. We're, I don't know. we're just uh, we're just very very organized. We're just better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just, yeah, that yeah. too. We well, are we just better. Alfred. Uh, I have a question for the two of you. I'm sorry you're not included, Claire Bell, but I see you and I appreciate you. I I see how it is. Just you know, exclude exclude the cat because she left the Rangers. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, I, I... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was a joke. That was a joke. <laughs> Um, are either of you um, interested in possibly helping organize a quote-unquote class with someone who wants to share their knowledge with the Rangers? A class? A class. Yes. On well, what? you wouldn't what? have to do anything. It's just, what? you know, organizing it. What sort of class uh, would it be? Firearms. Oh, Okay. Yeah, and someone men talk about maybe the history of it. This weapon is the grandpappy to this weapon, which is the pappy to this weapon. Uh, talk about different, you know, uh, just gun safety. And then also, you know, maybe talking to people and seeing if they're actually using a weapon that fits exactly what they're looking for. And fits I, their way of doing things. I would say yes, but I need to start to get to work on that civilian awareness uh stuff yeah which is why i will say yes that i i don't mind helping out okay um I will i'll, give I'll help out best i can all right yeah. so i've telegrammed them a few times i had like a two hour long discussion with him in Rhodes about things mm -hmm. and he has got so much knowledge his name is solomon graves okay um he said figure out a time that works best with the rangers and oh, he can be there trees, trip. okay so is this going so it to, did not Go I was going to say, is this going to be a uh, One the, sort of, the sort of class? Well, is it going to be the sort of class that's for Rangers only, or is it something else? No, it's Rangers How are you doing, Scouse, by the okay. way? How are you doing? Right. How are you doing? How are you doing? Other Rangers, because, I mean, he was saying things Last to me about, you know, to oh, also go over to maintenance and how to properly oh, care for your weapons and whatnot. Okay. So. Not. Pretty much okay. anything firearm related. He runs the gunsmith out in Armadillo. The, so, okay. Uh, deputy. The gunsmith gun shop. Gun store. The okay. firearm okay. weapons. Uh, I, you, okay. I've got it. Yeah. But, um, hey, anyone? Find the heat. Yeah. I, I just figured Rangers. I'd ask if anybody would be interested in. What's the one person in to do with another deputy you're looking for? So. The yep. man in particular. I'll, uh, I'll meet with him and, and discuss further uh, the details Most and all that and get it all injured. set up and organized best I can. Around the time. Yeah, uh, like I said, we've already telegrammed a few times. He's Williams. just waiting from us what time is working for us. So oh, okay. it would, it would yeah, we're, it's already at that stage. But you should okay. meet him. I think you'd really like him. Okay, Did I will do. Okay. Sue doesn't like anyone what you're talking about. Yep, you're right. I'm a very no, hateful and however, see person. anyone in his <sighs> um, whilst. You know, they actually make me do laps sometimes. <laughs> yeah, there's this one deputy he yells a lot. His name is uh, Hans. Uh, there we go. Hans? Yeah. Hans. Hans. He he's very he's very angry, man. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. Let's tip the line again. I am 
gonna stare at escape lungs. I'll I'll be right back. Maybe you should go back to bed. I I think yeah, I agree. I think you I have too much work to do. I have so much shit. Oh right goodness. Up. Take a nap at least. I slept. Sleep longer. She doesn't sound I don't sound convinced she actually did sleep. Yeah, I'm I'm kinda convinced that she'd been up all night and just <laughs> decided to oh, believe yeah. that she sleep, but then she's here. Oh yeah. I don't believe for a second she was actually asleep. I could do with some hay cubes. They're really good. I was hoping Cat would be around. She was around a little bit ago. Probably about an hour ago. Yeah, she probably went to bed. She's um she's a huntress now. She what? She's a she's a huntress now. She got a That's got a right. black, got a black poncho yesterday. Hunt huntress carver. Oh. Wow, that's amazing. Yep. Oh, that's well, I'm so that I'm so happy for her. That's so great. <laughs> I didn't even recognize it first. It's quite embarrassing, really. Oh, in the black poncho. Yeah, because she was stood under the porch here, and it all blended in. And I, so I was like, "Look at Cat," and I'm like, "What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing's changed." Then it's like, "Oh, there's a black poncho." Oh, so yeah, she. Uh, That's funny. Yeah. So yeah, she's. Uh, She's, oh Jesus, J Jesus! I was oh, that's the, slept. Okay, that's the cadet reflexes. reflexes. Jeez, Jesus, I'm, I'm, t I'm, wow. There's some feedback. To be, to be eager fair, to draw that gun. Yeah, there's some feedback. To be fair, Pugsley, Pugsley was put into handcuffs earlier today by was he, by a what? deputy for a that's crime right. I didn't by, commit. Oh, Do they actually put you in handcuffs? Yeah. I got taken up to the. I got taken up. I got taken up to the. You got taken to the station. Yeah, I did. That's my right. Hands up. Question. Uh, and then no, he ran. No he way. He fled from. He fled yeah. from. Uh, from law. Then I, I ran away let from him, the law. Let him from chase law. across yeah, I strawberry. Did. I tell you. They they put me in handcuffs and I ran away. Oh, excuse me, Claire. About. Okay, tell me oh. the story. So Ryder came down and uh, what? So there was a few of us down here, and. Uh, he came up to me and he said, put your hands up, you're under arrest. So I did. And then we walked all the way up to the office and he was like, I'm surprised you committed this long. And I was like, nah, you know, I always commit like that. And uh, and then I said to him, oh, put me in handcuffs uh, and I'll run away. And he was like, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. And I said, well, I asked him if he was allowed to do that and he did it. Um and then I ran back down here and I started screaming, you'll never catch me alive. Like, ah, you'll never catch me. And just <laughs> in front of Cat was down here. Arden That's was down amazing. here. Alfred was around as well. Sue was around as well. So I'm just running around going, you'll never catch me alive. Like, yeah. Did they believe it? Uh, there was a lot of confusion. <laughs> I had my poncho on at the time. So it was just a, it was a ranger running around Strawberry with a pair of handcuffs on going, you'll never catch me oh, alive. And a deputy chasing me down the street going, get back here, you're under arrest. <laughs> I need to grab my bolt action off my horse quickly. Yeah, I'm not allowed to carry my bolt action. Wait, why What? Not? It's because deputies good... aren't allowed to carry bolts. Yeah, they're too oh. dangerous. You're not allowed to carry well, I mean, a bolt I can carry action? A, I, can, I can carry it for wildlife, but I'm not allowed to use it for anything else. Oh, goodness. I miss my... I love my bolt action. That's a nice one, too, uh, by the way. Thank you very much. Someone gave me a lich field or something. I've, I don't even think I've ever shot a they lich They gave field. you a lich field. That's a nice weapon right what? there, I tell you. Oh, what, my uh, my bolt action? No, I'm talking about Litchfield. I mean, your bolt action is nice as well. Oh, all right. Well, I see how it's you nothing. Know. It's nothing particularly. Uh, fit. Let's see if uh, it's on my other horse. I think. I'm saying. I was back. saying. I was commenting on. I knew your bolt action was nice. I was saying the Litchfield is a nice weapon. This isn't done yet either. I've got to spend. I've worked out. I've got to spend another seven hundred dollars on engravings yet. That's oh gonna be. Oh my uh, god. 
That's going to be a fun one. Uh, saving up the saving up the old pennies and pounds for that one. That's so much money. It is, but it's going to look so nice once it's done. Why would you? Oh god, that's just so okay, much I'll money. Be, I'm going to go to the stable. I'll be right back. Okay. But the, yeah, I mean, I, go on. Sorry. This is the only gun I've gotten engraved, and it, it's very simple and easy. Yeah, no, I do like that. I do actually like that very simple engraving on a uh, on a on a gun. I do. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do like that very simple engraving. But I uh, I wanted to do my bow action, and when I when when they when they brought the new woods uh, that you could put on the stocks, I was mm -hmm. like, well, I want. I originally I was gonna have like a really really. I was gonna go for like a beech wood or something like a really kind of bright like uh, a really quite bright wood. Um, mm -hmm. And then I saw there was this like grey wood, and I was like, "This is so, it looks so wonderful." Like this grey wood does. I was like, I, "I don't see anybody really with it," um, mm -hmm. and I was like, "So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it." And then when it came to, I was like, "Well, now I'm gonna like do it up proper." And when I was looking at, when I was looking at different colours, I saw kind of the coppery colour, and I was like, "You know what? This looks perfect as a contrast to this." So. Um, yeah, I mean the maybe the uh, it doesn't particularly maybe match the etching, but uh, the etching is more of a. Wait, what was the etching? The etching of the the etching on the weapon is emergency. Um, oh. That's that's the name of the rifle is emergency. Yeah, um, yeah. Because well, I break it out in emergencies, so. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, so. I usually yeah. only pull my bolt action if I'm heading back to. Uh, if I'm heading back into tall trees, I'll I'll pull it out until I get to Manzanita, and then I'll. Because yeah, just my, in case I run across a bear. My bolt action lives on my horse, uh, and I only yeah, take it yeah. out when I'm on a tip. It, I don't, I don't carry it past that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, well, uh, and I, I, only, I only really take the bolt out if I have a certain area I'm going to. For instance, if I'm in the Grizzlies, or I have was no that? idea. Wait, what'd you say? Uh, she wondered if it was a deputy who rode in. Deputy. I did. I didn't see oh, anybody I'm not ride too in. Sure. I had my head buried in my rifle, so. <laughs> Um, but usually, I, unless I'm in the grizzly, if, I, if unless I'm in an area with a bear or cougar, I'm not going to take the... Uh, no, never. I, I, I'd rather have, if I'm going to go up against a pack of wolves, I'm usually going to take the Lancaster to them. I've, I, well, look, I've got, I think between my bank and, well, between my hotel and my horses, I think I've got uh, three state-issued Lancasters, I think. Mm -hmm. I think I do, because I keep... I don't have... Go on, sorry. Yeah, I have not gotten a hotel since they, uh, I used to store my stuff around back there, but they, uh, yeah. I did, yeah. The I used to put all my stuff told in that me barrel I had to take it away. Yeah, yeah I, me too. I, yeah, I carry around state issued Lancasters now all the time. I don't, I don't use a, I don't use personal weapons generally day to day. I just use a state issued Lancaster. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, even my, uh, even my revolver is a state, technically a state issued revolver. Yeah, I've been or meaning... At least one that, that uh, Game Warden Patterson issued to me. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to buy another Navy for a state issue one, but I'm certainly thinking of buying a Schofield to have a sort of like a... Um, like my everyday use uh, revolver, basically. Because, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I love my Navy. I do. I love having a Navy, but I don't particularly feel too keen on losing it to a, a criminal or so. To be honest, um, yeah, yeah. So, well, I tell you, I think it's about that time for me. I'm gonna go lay my head down back at Manzanita. So, all right. Well, uh, you stay safe. Yeah, yeah. All right, of you so be safe, be you. well. Yeah, yeah, it was good riding good with you today. All of you. It was uh, good seeing oh, you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like I said, we'll uh, we'll organize uh, getting up there to Hagen, looking around up there before. Yeah, long, we'll so. we'll yeah we'll we'll get up there at some point. We'll I'll, be around, I'll be around. I'll be around earlier in the day, hopefully for the next uh, couple days. So. All right. Well, that's uh, that's good. Yeah, maybe yeah. Uh, maybe we're able to ride a little bit more. Oh yeah. All right. All, All right. right. Hellman, I'll do your laps of info. What? No, you won't. What? No, you're right. I will. <laughs> wow. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah, exactly. See ya. Goodbye. What? Yeah. You're scary. You know that. What? <laughs> I I can be. People haven't seen me angry yet. You said there's state-issued Schofields. I thought we didn't have access to them. 
well, not state issued, but they they were purchased uh, with um, Ranger I, Core funds. I had so. a rain. I I had a Ranger Schofield. Did you give it back? I'm assuming you did. Did I get it back? No, I had to give it away. No, no, it give it back. Oh, it's with. Oh, there it is. I see it. Yeah, there's two. Uh, there's one that's unnamed. I actually then... asked for I asked for Deuce to give it to you, and he was like, "She has a gun." <laughs> yeah. I was yeah, like, I "Okay." Why? Oh, I forgot. Does yeah. anybody have it? Uh, it's with Deuce right now. So yeah, there's there's one unnamed, and then there's Bush Telegram and Bush Telegram One and Bush Telegram Two. Well, no, I, I think they're really good nice. names to revolvers actually for how we use them. Bush Telegram, mm -hmm. I think they're really good. It's a clever name that whoever came up with that. Actually, that that is good. That is a a clever name. I'll give them that. I think when... there's an inconsistency with this because it looks like these are. Huh. It looks huh. like Bush Telegram. Oh, they probably. Oh, it's different. No, nah, I'm. I'm thinking aloud. Don't mind me. Yeah, you're fine. I might buy a Litchfield. Yeah, I have one. I don't know if I. I've never really shot it. I I think it's in my bank. I've shot a Litchfield. They they're a bit slower than a Lancaster. That I mean, they're more powerful. Um, I would have one, but I just I just get paranoid about going out with um, God. personal guns all the time. Yeah, tell me about it. I love my I only go out fiction, with but I never guns. carry I, it. I well, I mean, I use mix. So like my main my main Lancasters that I use all day are all Ranger Lancasters. They are. I've got three of them. So I've got one on each horse, and then Lan uh, Alfred gave me his. So. Um, oh. Yeah, uh, Al Al Alfred gave me his as a leaving as uh, as I, I guess a, a gift when he left the Rangers. Um, Wait, his bolt action? No, his 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 Ranger Core uh, Lancaster. Get a drop bear. Mm, not a bolt action, a Lancaster. Right. He had. Hang on. He had one with like a lev with like leather um leather wraps on it. In fact, it's on this horse. Yeah. I am really confused as oh, to yeah, what I should do. Nobody, it's been like almost two hours, and nobody's Telegram name is where to go. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, it's this one, the one that you use to carry all the time. It's just a it's just a it's just a Range Core issue Lancaster with uh, level oh, wrapping gotcha. on it. Oh, gotcha. But he gotcha. put his yeah. put his he uh, he put his Ranger word on it. So he uh, or he or uh, or. We put a word. He put appreciation on the side of it. What he put? Hmm. I don't know if that was his ranger word or what, but this, uh, I can tell you. Hang on. It lives on. See, my, that was uh, thing. So, you know, I wrote kind of a word in my my final words when I left. I'm not sure if that was like inappropriate or not because I wasn't in the Rangers for as long as some folks. But I don't even know if the whole message got to everybody. But it did. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, he wouldn't be on here then. Never mind. No. But yeah, yeah. He, he gave me this Lancaster. It was it was dirty as fuck and all. I had to use six gun oils to clean it. Which sounds like an Alfred gun, to be fair. Hmm. 
Anybody want hmm. a tomahawk? Yes. Yes, I do. I, Actually, I, I cannot do find... Oh, wait. What? No, you can have it. You can I, have it. Sh okay. How much do I owe you? You don't. I didn't pay a penny for it. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Peter Rockall gave it me, but I don't really use oh. it. And so I would rather it would... Uh, it would it would stay within... Uh, or stay around somebody I know, at least. Yeah, I uh, I lost mine that was a gift in Guarma, and so I was able to get another one. Yeah, I, so yeah. I just got another one. Now I can't give them theirs. I just uh, I just use a cleaver all the time. So a cleaver. Yeah, see, I like my I. Well, I like I, the tomahawk because I use a cleaver one. actually quite a lot when I'm out on searches to like clear like bears off roads and things, clear dead bears off roads and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I actually find myself using oh, that's one a good quite idea. a lot. I actually like recommend a ranger has one, like genuinely. Part of their their kit when they need to leave. Yeah. That and if you're in a pinch, if you throw one at a bear's head, it will kill it. Hmm. Good to know. It, I, I, I think it, yeah, I think it's, it, it's, if you throw it at a bear's head, it will kill it. If you miss a bear's head, but still hit it, a, a tomahawk with it should do the trick. Which is why I think Rockwell gave me the, the tomahawk, but I'm never in a situation where I have, like, no ammunition. So, um, yeah. Fair enough. Um, I'm gonna go talk to the tailor. If... If there's a search that comes in that you need help with, just come bang on the door and let me know. I'll get back on duty. Yeah, with you. I'll be fine. Okay. All right, help me. Your, your blue has inspired me. I don't know what I'm going to do, has but I... I'm going to try and wear oh. a color. Yeah, Chocolate. be colorful. Be colorful, Olive. Join the club. Be All part right, of the well. colorful club. Oh, I'm not wearing green. Not wearing green. Don't wear green. Don't wear brown either. Don't right. don't don't wear green or brown. But care about you. You take care of me. All I wear is brown. Yeah, but don't. And tans. Don't. Okay. What? Okay. So n no green, no brown, no so tans. This is a question. You Do you think this works with the shirt? I'm not. I think I, it. I think it's I think okay. It does, no, right? it looks good. I think it does. It's I think not it too busy. No, I don't think it's too busy. Olive, you can't wear in any traditional range of colors. Apart from like boots or gloves or like a gun belt, like you, 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 Wait, you have what are traditional ranger colors, brown and green or black. I'll be back. I mean, to be it fair, it's good to see you, Claire Bell. Alf but... It's good to see you too. To be fair, Alfred's still wearing uh, green, nothing but green. Sounds good. I'll be back. Bye, Olive. Good to see you. Good to see you too. You heard from Alfred? Alfred's, uh, Hi. Alfred's I saw him yesterday, yeah. He's join, potentially joining the cadet program. Yeah, he said he's looking to. I, I think he's still waiting to hear back from the state. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to work alongside him again. Lovely. Do you want to just take a step aside just so I don't... Um, yeah. How are you finding it? I really good for the most part, yeah. Sometimes it's like days like today. It's frustrating because I've had lots of time for training and like not a single person's reached out to me. Yeah, but, I know. And there's lots on duty, so it's like that's annoying. But it is what it is. They're probably busy with some. Yeah, yeah. It's like really hard as a cadet because you're not allowed to really do anything. So like anytime anything actually happens, you're just waiting around. Yeah, I can imagine that being a pain, whereas unlike in the Rangers, we pretty much get you doing everything, so it's like... Yeah, like, the trainings are really good and really well put together, and they're really, you know, you do learn a lot. Like, they, they run through scenarios and stuff, and, and all of that's been spectacular. Yeah. But, you know, when anything when anything actual happens, it's like, you're still civilian, so they you gotta leave. Just yeah. like we... Yeah. Yeah, no, I get that.
I get that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I'm glad you I'm feel sure like you're want to do if I want to go. Because I know. Yeah, you, I think you know. I, I wasn't I sure at first, it. but you know, yeah. I, th I think I'm getting there. Yeah. Good. Good. I think I can do it. I'm starting to feel that confidence, you know, and especially as I get exposed to more things. Good. Now that's really good because I know you were struggling, so. Or I say struggling, or struggling to think whether it was for you or not. Well, I just, you know, I just wasn't sure if I really had what it takes, you know, but I think, I think I do. I think you do. Uh, what do I want to do? I'm trying to, you know, you ever like, just, you're like in between decisions and you're like, I could go to bed. I could go to another town. All the time. I just wish someone told me where they are so I could go there. Like I can, I don't mind going anywhere in the have crossing. You gone, Usually you, someone will have be you like. Have gone to Blackwater? Well, we I was in Blackwater. Remember? There's no one there. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I thought I thought you. I, I didn't realize you said you'd been to Blackwater. My bad. I was there with you. Remember? Yeah, you were. I've absolutely blanked on that. That is so bad of me. <laughs> That's okay. I'm pretty forgetful. It's been a long day. It's been a long few days. It's been a long week. So. Yeah. Tell me about it. We've uh, well, hmm. had a lot happening, so it's, uh, you know. Yeah, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. It's just, you know, just stuff. Yeah, it can be, uh, it can be tough, can it? Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, and when you, when you, when, uh, when everything happens all at once, it's all, uh, you know, it's when everything comes crashing down as such, it's, uh, it's not a fun time. Yeah, I didn't know, I didn't even know uh, Alfred was planning on leaving, that was a surprise to me. Uh, I thought he'd be a ranger forever. I don't think a lot of people knew Alfred was planning on leaving, to be fair. I don't think that's just a, uh, a you thing. Took a lot did of we... us by surprise. What did he get demoted for, anyway? Is that um, public knowledge? That's not my story to tell. Fair enough. It's not particularly public knowledge, but I think if you really want to ask, it's probably best to ask him. Okay. I know he's he took that pretty hard. Yeah, I mean, he he's told me, but like I say, I, I don't think it's my story to tell, so. No, that's, that's absolutely fair. And I also don't want to be seen to be, excuse me, spreading rumours and things, so. Right. The other person I've been worried about, I haven't heard anything from, is Marion says she left no I, I can't say it. I, I didn't really know Marion too well to be fair so I, I can't say that she's someone I'm going to keep in touch with a lot outside the Rangers um, I mean it'd be best to ask Alfred about about her I know those two uh, are close yes I don't fact, think they still both of, live up in there speaking of Alfred there he is Hardly. Uh, howdy do you know about a missing Leon that isn't Buckley? Yes. He was. He showed up in Valentine today. He's fine. All right. Okay. He just didn't do his paperwork. Uh, right. I wanted to let you know, but when we came over, you guys were gone. So. All right. No. Really appreciate that. I will uh, get rid of that paperwork then. Thank you for letting me know, though. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Cool. How you doing? I'm all right. Yeah. I watched someone get shot with a pump action today in Valentine's. Jesus. Oh my god. Are you, Ryder are you got okay? shot with a pump action on accident in the leg at point blank range by Sasha Reznikov. Oh my god. <sighs> that woman is crazy. I know. It was 
insanity, to be honest. She's she been charged she, for it? Did she get arrested, at least? Yeah. No, it was an accident, and Ryder didn't press charges because she was very, very apologetic. Is that where everyone like? is? It's in Valentine. I've been, like, waiting for someone to get back to me for hours. Oh, jeez. Well, there were deputies and roads. Okay. I think I just passed O'Grady on the way back. Yeah, I might just lay my head, to be honest. I'm kind of tired now. I've been awake for a while. Well, that's this done. Uh... Are there any seniors around Pugsley? Um, Olive is in the tailors right Come now. Come in. Okay. Yeah, she's off duty though. I just need to hand her a, um, a couple guns. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I mean she'll she'll be around. It. I mean I don't know how long she'll be there. She oh, is. there she is. There she is actually behind you. No. Uh, Oliver, do you, uh, could I hand you a couple of guns? Uh, yes. Uh. Yes. I'm still terrified from your, your mule. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go for a ride, I think. I'll see you later, both of you. Alright, be Olive. safe. You as well. I hope that, uh, you're... Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Nice to see you. I miss you as well, but I, just, I still see you dangling. <laughs> I, it's for you. Zero six twenty three. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, I'm gonna take your guns, man. Cheers, man. Good ride. Deputy has turned up. Deputy has turned up in Valentine. Oh, hey, I will put them in my thing. I'm still waiting for that. Okay. Okay. Alright. I will take care of these and I'll note down the. What is that? Dropping? Drop. Good day, bear. Good, good day. Good day, drop bear. Drop him in. Good day, good day, bear. That's the name of the gun in my head now. I'm gonna go put these away. <laughs> Alright, I will see you later. Hey, how's it been tonight, Pugsley? Um, not too crazy. It's good to hear. Yeah, just uh, just a uh, a fairly uh peaceful day. So. Oh shit! Oh. There we go. You didn't break the lantern. Good for I you. I know. I know. I'm proud of you. I, I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting better one day at a time. Yeah, Valentine was just as crazy as I was told. Unfortunately, I needed to go there to meet Kiwi, but... Oh. Yeah, it was insanity. Uh, it sounds like Valentine. Mm-hmm. Who else is around? Uh, is this you? Me, actually. Just me. Ouch. Yeah, just been uh, holding down the fort. You know, somebody's got to. Cat and Arden were around a little bit earlier, so was Tommy. Um, so. And oh, Sue. I've not seen Tommy in a while. And Sue. Sue Stout as well, so. It's uh yeah, it's been a it's been an interesting day. It's been an interesting day. And like I say, I wrote up a missing persons paperwork and it turns out they're not, so <laughs> Well, I that's that's good that he's not. Well yeah, absolutely. Absolutely it's uh, it's good he's not. You should fill out the fucking paperwork and take yourself off the tip yeah. and let us know. Yeah. Apparently he saw you guys on it and then was like, eh, they've got it, and then left and went off duty. See, because they don't do search and rescue paperwork, so or at least he just had nothing to do except take his name off, which he didn't, because they don't, because it's law. 
Yeah. Pugsley, if you ever see me as law leave my bloody name on a tip, you come and beat me with your clipboard, all right? I, I will. I will. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I certainly fucking will. It's only been brought up at the last two inter-department meetings that I've been to. As well as brought, I sent a very long telegram to them about tip line etiquette. So. Well. Yeah. You'd think they'd know better, but. To be fair, they get ten times as many tips as you guys do. Well, I know. I know. I'm not in front of the door. I am updating paperwork, not in front of the door. You know what? No, I'm going to my 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 hide. My my hide, my um <laughs> Are you okay? I miss all of I I was on duty for far too long yesterday and then I'm catching up on Get away from me. That's I'm all right. It's all right. It's force mm. habit. Mm. 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 <laughs> I've been on duty. I've this. been on duty a lot this week. All right. Well, not enough. What do you mean not, not enough? I love sleep. Ever. <laughs> I'm here more than most no, folk are. All right. Yeah, that is true. That is very true. Okay, I'm gonna write down that you gave me this and I have it before I forget that I need <laughs> it. I have so many things to write down! I'll miss having paperwork. <laughs> Get a big one. Just... You become a cadeputy. Cadeputy. Just, yeah. just, just, just get a large notebook from Armadillo and just, just, uh, just start writing shit. I don't know. I already been... have one. Oh, I've you're talking like, to him. Never mind. I've got a notebook. I've got a document folder on me now. Um, yesterday I went to investigation training uh, with Clara Bill and Bishop. And um, I was taking a lot of notes there. And I was like, wow, it's like I've got paperwork again. <laughs> and then he made me rip them out and throw them in the river. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, because you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, because it looks like I've got evidence of a murder, a double murder. Oh, right. Which I I don't. It was fake. So yeah, but I get the reaction. I get why. I I understand that reaction. I do. It was good though. A lot of fun. Oh, I bet. It's like puzzles. But with dead people. Which, that's not the fun part, but... The figuring out what happened and... Using that information to help bring people to justice is... It's good. You're right up your street, that will. You'll just you'll just be a you you'll just be a, a paperwork deputy. You'll just stand in the office all day and you'll just sort paperwork and read paperwork. No, and, no, no, no. And do it's paperwork. not just that. I also go to the scene of the crime and take my cute little camera that I want so bad and Oh, the Jeff? Yeah, the Jeff. The Jeff. And then uh take pictures of all the evidence and then tag them and classify them and put them in the paperwork and And then I use my what I brain done? to deduct what happened based on the information that I know. It's a lot of paperwork for one case. But it's really in-depth and it's really good. And I love it. And I oh. cannot wait to do it for real. I, I have a feeling. I have a lot to learn, right? As a cadet still. 
but I'm already coming into it with such a, a leg up that uh, I'm probably going to be going through it pretty quick. I just need to actually get in the program. I think I think I remember Clementine hearing that Clementine got through it pretty quick when she left the Rangers to go and join the uh, mm -hmm. law. She, from from what I hear, she went through it in like a a week or two. Like she got through it oh, really well, quick. The average time is less than a week. Really? She did it in four days. Because she was on duty for like twelve hours every day. As a cadet. Oh damn. But yeah, no, they finish the training in less than a week. Usually. Wow. It's usually around a week. Here I am, taking six weeks to become a full-fledged ranger. You were gone for a while, Pugsley. Well, yeah, I know, but same time. You can't count that. It still it took, took me, me a while. Four weeks. That's longer than average. It's supposed to we, be two. We... We... We take a lot of time with these recruits. To be fair, mm -hmm. to get them to the right level, we, we, we're real. We're we're really quite strict on people that way. Which is, I always thought it was so weird that <laughs> law, like, <laughs> I mean, you've got to memorize the penal code, you've got to know how to, you know, breach a building and handle a bank robbery and. Handle a hostage situation and handle moonshiners and do investigation training and all this other stuff. And they're like, yeah, a week, you're good. And we're like, okay, we have one job and that is search and rescues. Three weeks. Thank you for the follow, Wild RP Clips. Appreciate that. Good seeing you in here. <laughs> Yeah, I, we're just quite, um, I think it's because although we do less than them, what we do, we're a lot more thorough with. Yeah. So it's. And they get a lot more hand-holding at the beginning of the deputy phase. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like, they don't really expect them to handle stuff alone, hardly ever. Yeah. A lot of the times they're shadowing another deputy or a senior. So, meanwhile, we expect... I mean, remember my first ride along with you. My very first surge and rescue on my own with a West, recruit. Western uh, Cumberland Forest, and you took me to Eastern East Cumberland, Cumberland Forest. Yeah. <laughs> but but they, they expected me to be able to do that all on my own on my very first time because that's how far they train you up. Yeah. So it's a little bit different. Um,. I think they also do it a little bit prematurely just because um, paperwork is such a big deal for them and you can't have paperwork until you get your badge. So a lot of their stuff is learning on the job since there's so much different stuff. So yeah, it's just a different approach to it. But oh, cool. I bet. I cannot wait though. I am so excited. I want to get a tiny camera. You want that big thousand dollar stipend? That's all you want. I don't give a fuck about the money. You know they make twelve, twelve dollars. I I do I do know that I do, I do. I hope you guys know. Once I buy my wagon and a second navy for myself, so that I don't have to use this one to get it stolen. I'm absolutely donating bolt actions to you whenever I can afford it. For the recruits. And horses, if you need them. That sounds lovely. That does sound rather nice. That really does. I mean, I don't really spend a whole lot of money on my own, to be honest. So, that is more than enough for me. And unless I'm actively saving up for something, I don't need to have thousands of dollars in my bank account, so. I just, I just don't need a wagon. I'm just. I'm a hoarder, so I do. It's like, um, I, I've got I... 4,000 right now and I'm trying to save it for $6,000 wagon. 
I just I, I just, had four thousand dollars, then I went to Guarma and I bought a horse and I bought a wagon. Now I'm broke. I've spent mm -hmm. like two thousand dollars this week. I bought a horse on Monday and I've been making my bolt action rifle look pretty. I love I finally got my bolt exactly how I want it. And Aww. I'm so happy. I've got to spend another like seven hundred dollars. I'm gonna show mine. it off. It's mine's mine's not far from done actually, but it's uh it's 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 nearly there. I think my mine is oh, oh. come on. Of course you got kicked. Are you, are you okay? Yes. Yes. Every time I go in the fucking hotel, every single horse I own has kicked me. I have a present for you, Helen. Oh no. Is it a bandage? <gasps> Thank you. Every time I, I go make... out that way, I just kick some. I, you know, honestly, I haven't even had a chance to go out there yet. Right. You know what? I'm gonna go out there today. I'm gonna do it today. Today will be um, the day. I can, t I can tell you exactly where they are. So, let's see here. Oh, it's between the... I can absolutely tell that Gentry uh, really miss being around the rangers. That's why he's just stood on the porch all the time and he's in Strawberry all the time. I can so tell. I'd be exactly the same. Yeah. Is the drink animation any quicker? I need to go and get some... All right, this is my bolt, and I love it so much. Ooh, clean. Oh, let me get. Oh, yeah, let me get mine. Hold on. Out in Rose, and he convinced me to try at least try out the wrap. I'd never had a wrap on a gun before, but mine is. I really like the way it looks. Mine is not finished yet, but it is. Uh... Ooh. I've never seen anybody use this wood on a rifle but me. Yeah. It's unusual, but it's nice. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's very, very, very pretty. I very much like it. Mm. I just I just need some engravings and then... Uh... Yours is, like, exactly opposite of mine. Yeah, it's, uh... Exactly opposite. No, yeah. seriously. Oh, Mine's yeah. Mine's all dark. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think I think mine looks I think mine actually looks slightly feminine, but I actually really quite like it. Oh, who cares? If, if oh, you who like it, who mine? cares? Oh, uh, did I say I gave a fuck? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's good because you shouldn't. No, I I like it. I was looking through the colors and I was like, I I, I saw the wood and I was like, okay, well, what metals go with it? And I was like, uh, the copper looks really nice. And then I was like, well, if I do like a black. Kind of like a offset on the copper so um the hammer and the bolt and the trigger are all uh and the, and the sights are all black uh i'm actually thinking of changing the sights from black though because uh, if i'm shooting it at night i might not actually mm. sights. <laughs> um so it's uh, on i'm minor black i i don't seem to have that much of an issue but if i know some like, people do i know some people forgive do. me i'm not i'm not gonna shoot this i'm actually unloading it I don't know what color my sights are. Oh yeah, they're black. But uh, I see it fine, even in the dark. Yeah. yeah also, I never can't... use my sights. Like, I literally never use my sights. Uh, Not I, on any of my guns. I, I do use the sights. Um, only if an animal is... If, if it's like a bear and it stood like dead still, then I will. Um, just so I can confirm, just so I can pretty mm. much guarantee that I'm going to drop it. Um, mm -hmm. But past that, I generally don't. 
I've actually found recently in a really annoying trend, I've actually been more accurate with my navy than I have my rifles recently. <laughs> over, over distance, like much more accurate over distance. I mean, I do have a long barreled navy. It's mm. gigantic. So, um, yeah, me too. Also, oh, fair enough. But um, it's absolutely gigantic. But um, yeah, I, oh, it's I, gross. I found, well, yeah, you, you and uh, you and unclean guns. Hmm. Hmm. It's not that bad actually. But I now, to use... now that I actually have to pay for fucking gun oil. I find myself being stingy on it. I I have to, I had to use six gun oils on this Latin caster. Six. Oh well, yeah. I fell down a mountain with it. What do you expect? Uh, you were still a. Never mind. No, I wasn't. I had resigned. I was not going to be using, Ranger Corps issued items because I fell down the mountain, because I got drunk because I resigned. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> That seems very complicated. I'm gonna try for the tailors again. See if whoever's in there is goddamn. They left. Done. They left. I think. Good. Watch this. I'm going to the tailors. Don't no! You no! Dare. No! No! I got in. <laughs> oh, he's already out. <laughs> <laughs> did she go in? Uh, yeah, she did. Yeah. Nice. Did you hear me yell at you from the other door? No, I, I didn't. Oh, yeah, actually. I went to throw it. I said, Bugsley, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I only went in and just changed quickly. Yeah. I could have been a real arsehole and made a whole new outfit. Oh my god. But I'm better than that. I feel like I can't wear what I wore as a ranger as a cadet. I feel like I dressed a little bit too eccentric. You, you dressed a little bit too eccentric? No, I dressed previous. This is actually still quite eccentric, but it's it's my bear walker outfit. So I'm I'm stood here on this porch in a bright blue bright blue woolly yeah. jumper. With cream, with cream trousers, with blue that matches the jumper. Here, come here, come here. Come to the welcome center with me. We're going to look at clothes like we're on some kind of fucking... I, I think know. I might be the definition of eccentrically dressed rangers, so... Uh, no, you're not. Absolutely not. I wore, an, I wore a coat with a fucking eagle on the back. What are you talking about? Uh, no, that was... I felt like that was a bit more ironic more than anything. Why? I don't know. It's all just kind of like, um... No, sorry, not ironic. Cliché. Cliché? Yeah. How? You were a ranger wearing a giant green coat with an animal on the back of it. <laughs> you know, Pugsley, you have your meeting tomorrow, right? Uh, the ranger me No, not, yeah, not, tom uh, not tomorrow. No. Sunday? I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. It's Saturday. I thought today was Friday. Saturday. Come back and tell me if you think it's still ironic. It, the meeting's on the, the meeting's on Sunday. Okay, well, on on Sunday, you come back to me and tell me if you think the, the fucking coat's ironic still. Alright. So, um, yeah, th this is, um... I, I was wearing this because... It's what Bear wore, kind of. It, it's inspired by what he wore. It's the same colours, same oh, shirt. Right. right, yeah. Um, Kind of just like channeling Bear's fucking strength is whatever the fuck. I don't know. Symbolism. Symbolism. Yeah. Then... I don't know where I mean, this... to get changed. This is what I wore as a ranger. The classic... The class. Look at that. Look at the that. Classic. You know, when I first saw you in that coat, I thought you were substituting the poncho for that coat. Oh my god. I well, for all I kind of was because I didn't have a poncho. But um, no, yeah, I I kind of wish that. 
We could just wear some article of green clothing instead of having it be a coat or a poncho because the poncho and coats don't really fit together that well. I mean, I I wear some article of green clothing. I mean, I have my uh, what I call my uh, my my homage to to the to the Rangers outfit. Mm -hmm. Every because every because so many Rangers seem to wear green or brown, they just don't. Mm -hmm. So I went, well, screw it. I'll have a green jumper and brown trousers and it's all as rangery as humanly possible. I've got... I've got an outfit for out west. So... Oh, I should really do something for an out west that's not a jumper, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to kill me inside. It's going to kill me inside that day. I've got this coat, so it's Ooh. it's nice. I've changed I've changed jumper three times today, three times. Jeez. Let's see. I recently redid this one. This is my one inspired by Elsie. Ooh, that's funky. So it's. Yellow. Yeah, that's that, that's funky. That's really funky. I don't see enough people wearing yellow, but I thought well, yellow and brown would. Well, cool. well, well. <laughs> guess, well, I'm prepared for every occasion, Alfred Walsh. I'm prepared for this one. Ooh, I like colours. Ooh, that's a funky colour. Yep, it's a nice kind of teal color. That's a, ooh, I might have to do a teal jumper. I might. I might. This is also called the Inspired by Tabitha Thorn. Uh, not actually because I don't know her that well to be inspired by her, but I know she wears teal. Uh, I don't really know who Tabitha Thorn is. <laughs> Sheriff Thorn. Oh. Well, I've not met her. And then purple because we have a... Ch There's a... <laughs> There's a purple crew in the in the, the law department. It's like Huxley, Sadie, I think Ollie's got one. Um when I took them out on a search and rescue once. He's so in on getting in at law. They all wore purple ponchos and purple outfits. And that oh, was wow. like their search and rescue efforts, so purple. <laughs> Thought I'd make one too to fit in. I don't hate purple, but it's not really my colour, I don't think. Yeah, I think it works. I need to head back down to the uh, to the lodge anyway. Olive's going to be wondering where the hell I am. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't intending on wearing this for, like, extended time. But it's kind of grown on me. Yeah, it looks good. G'day. Howdy. Are you Ranger, sir? I am, yes. Anything I can help you with? Uh, I, I got a friend who's injured. Do you be able to help? Uh, yeah, where is he? Uh, he, he, oh my god, he's been shot. Sir, are you okay? I honestly, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't even know. Okay. I'm trying to help out a friend. So, you're bleeding. I, I really could do with taking you to the medical office and taking a look over you. We got a ranger to look at right now. You mean to send a telegram to medical? Uh, I'll be fine. Sir, you're bleeding. Please, let me at least clean that out for you. Get checked out. Right, just sit the fuck down. Let them check over you. Yeah, go on. Please. Let's go to the medical Can office. Can we do it outside of town? I'm, I can't yeah. stay here. Yeah, let's go outside town. Please. All right. Okay. Um. I you can't come with you, Pugsley? I'll be fine. Don't worry. I'll be okay. Okay. We ain't gonna do anything to him. You're a civilian, Alfred. There's no point in you getting involved. I'll be alright. 
No, I just want to help in case it's nope. like you need to hold pressure while you do something else. Alfred, up, there's plenty of people around. Oh, guys, me. I, okay. I'm trying to be a dick, but come on, you know, I'll yeah. hurry up. All right, um, be safe, you... you. Let me grab my horse quickly. Oh boy, this could go well. Did you say you've been shot? Take a piss in the woods real quick. Let's just go up here. And I'll come back for Jesse. This could go really badly. <laughs> like, really badly. Get started out here. I'll go wait for Jesse to come back. Yeah, we'll be fine. I'll go with him. All right. <laughs> My name's uh, I'm Ranger Pugsley, by the way. Um, pleasure to meet you. I wish you was under better circumstances. Um. Let me, uh, let me take a look over you, all right? I won't, I won't do anything, uh, don't, don't want to do anything too crazy, but, uh, let me take a look. Give the man a chance. Give him a fucking chance, Ranger. It's all right, just, just, just breathe, okay? Just breathe, just, okay? Just... One breath at a time, okay? Just nice slow breaths for me. Jesus, all right. Um, that bullet is lodged in there, okay. Um, look, I might be able to get this bullet out for you, but I can't stitch that wound up. I'm not trained to stitch people up. That's something that you have to go to a medic for. I can do that right now. Let's do what you can. All right, okay. I'll, um, I can pack it at least. Uh, maybe stop some of the blood flow, but... Uh, you are going to have to see somebody at some point to go and get that stitched up. Because if you leave it too long, you're going to lose blood and, well, it could get infected as well. There's there's plenty of that could go wrong here. Do you understand? Yes. All yeah. right. You in the in the mask, um, I might just need some assistance from you if you don't mind. Sure. What do you need? Um... I'll need you just to hold on to some of these bandages for me, and some of these gauze, and when I ask you, I'll need you to hand them over to me, okay? Aye, aye. Alright, sir, I know you're not going to tell me your name, but is there, uh, or, or you're probably going to choose not to tell me your name, but is there, uh, is there something I can call you at least? Waggy. What was that, sorry? Waggy. Waggy. Okay, Waggy. Right. Not the meat. Like a dog, Waggy. Oh, Waggy. Right, sorry. Okay. Um. Right, okay. Um. What's the best thing for me to do here? Um, okay. Okay, this 
it's going to hurt a lot, right? <laughs> I want you to bite down on this, okay? Uh-huh. All right. All right. There you go. Uh-huh. Go ahead. All right. I'm not ready just yet, but I just need to, uh... Fucking get on All right. I'm... Uh. Please. Please. Just... This is going to take some time, okay? Okay, I can see the bullet. When I tell you to, sir, with the mask on, um, I'm gonna need you to hand me the gal. Uh, I'm gonna need you to hand me the gauze pretty quickly once this is out. All right. You got it, fella. All right. All right. I'm gonna get started. Okay. Mm. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right, uh, it's okay. Fuck. All uh. right, just bite down. You'll be okay. Uh -huh. mm. I got it. I'm going to pull it out nice and gently. I don't want to cause any other damage. All right. Okay, <laughs> nice and gently. All right. All right, it looks like that they've caused no other damage there. That's good. Sir, I need you to pass me the gauze pretty quickly, please. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> okay, there we go. That gauze is going to soak up some of the uh, some of the blood. All right. What I'm going to do is, is once I've wrapped this up with a bandage, I'm going to give you some spare bandages and gauze for the time being. All right, just so that you can maybe see yourself for real for, uh, for a little bit with it. But like I say, you are going to need to see somebody to go and get this wound sorted soon. Okay. Thank you. Right, is that too tight or is that okay? It should be fine. All it's right. better than losing an arm. Well, you're not wrong there. There, take these. You do exactly what I did, alright? Once it uh, starts to bleed through, you would take the old gauze out so that it doesn't get nasty. You literally just shove that gauze straight in that hole. Then you wrap it tightly with a bandage. All right. When do I need to do it? Uh, when the blood starts soaking through, really, onto the uh, onto the outside of the bandage. I've wrapped a couple of bandages around it, so uh, it's basically when you start to see blood pour through. Okay. Okay. Right. Do you mind me just taking a look for you, just in case there's anything else? Yeah. All right. All right. Looks like that you've. Uh, looks like that you're. Uh, that's the only thing, sir. Have you uh, have you got any injuries at all, or was it just this gentleman here? No, I'm good. All right. Anybody else? No. Okay. All right. Am I free to go? Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Right. Thanks. Be, s be safe, the pair of you. You as well, mate. You okay? Well, hang on, fella. You dealt with him already? I've done what I can. Um, I've removed the bullet from the wound. I've packed it with gauze. 
and I've wrapped bandages around it. As I've told your friend in the, uh, in the mask over here next to me, when you see the blood start pouring through the bandage, you need to remove the old gauze and bandage and replace them. All right? Your friend here uh, saw me do it. You should be able to do it, but he needs to yeah. see a doctor at some point to get that stitched uh, up. All right. All right, thank, thank you. you. All right. What's your name? I'm Ranger Pugsley. All right, Pugsley. I now have to be super careful. Oh, thank you for the shout out, Wacky. That's, uh... <laughs> what the fuck happened there? Thank you for the follow old timey hockey. Appreciate that. <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> I need to go and speak to the law. <laughs> yeah, I like Father James. First time seeing Pugsley. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Father Father Oblige has been on a little bit of a rest for a little while. He's, uh... He's, uh... I've, I've been playing a ranger for a little bit of a while now, so... I have no idea who that gang is. Like, genuinely no idea who that gang is at all. But now I have to be super careful. Super careful. Because I can't just wander to the telegram office and be like, her to her. Ah, uh, this gang came and did things. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. He's in Valentine Medical. Oh, Helman went out on a tip. Right, okay. Oh, thank you for the follow, Nikki. How we doing? Muppet stream, yeah, bro. I stream, I stream, I stream. Nikki, how we doing? How we doing? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I've been streaming all week. I've been streaming all week. Maybe. Dang. Oh, Nikki, you never had to. Nikki, that's very kind of you. Nikki, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, Nikki. I really appreciate that. That's very, very kind of you, my brother. My brother. Big love to you, man. Big love to you. Love Thomas Callahan. one got to support the ranger farm oh well i love that nikki i love that love that from you you'd be a great ranger by the way if you want to stop doing your bluestone stuff get get yourself a green poncho on <laughs> he was speaking to someone regarding it we'll be around for another Hour or so. Regards. Mm. 
uh, Porter, we're at GSW, could do with speaking to someone regarding it, we'll be around for another hour or so. If I could dedicate more time mentally and physically, I would. Valid. Absolutely valid. Yeah, no, I imagine. I absolutely imagine it can do. Can imagine it does make it quite tough. I'm off work okay, this week, which is why, here. which is why I'm fine pulling crazy hours. Hello, hello, hello. Howdy. How are we all doing? Doing all right. How about you? I'm good, thank you very much. I'm rearing and ready to go and. Oh, I get can my show head you... bashed in with paperwork. I can show you all the paperwork, Michael. That I can. Oh boy, paperwork, the best part of the job. Someone's message me something so i'm like doing multiple things at once i'm like ah! So, what was she yeah, what was doing? All right, we should go to the porch and get your clipboard and stuff and go over everything with you. Um, All right. Just to let you know, Law might turn up at some point uh, to speak to me because I've just had to give medical assistance to a gang who probably have just been in a shootout. So, which gang, if you don't mind me asking? I don't know, um, but it was a group of riders, and one of them had a gunshot wound in his sh in his in his arm. I've just had to dig a bullet out of somebody, fill it full of gauze, and like get them on the way, and tell them that they need to go and see a doctor when they can. All right, All right. use those keys and open this door. Step one. Step two, take a look at the tip line. So, this is our tip line. So, obviously, there's a tip that's just come in from uh, Clara Bo Kelly, who's just said that they found somebody... Uh, uh, found somebody north of Valentine. Now, you see how there's ones that are crossed out and there's others that aren't? Michael? Sorry, I was reading this tip. No, you're fine. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so the ones that are crossed out are ones that have been resolved. So you see how there's like um, a circle to the right hand side that will say like a ticker, it'll have like a number in it. Mm -hmm. So if you look at that, um, you can see that. Um, Basically, yeah, you add who's responding and then in the top right corner it allows us to resolve it so uh, if we find a person on a search and rescue uh, then when we come back we press the resolve button uh, out there we take the box uh, that says resolve and we do that um, but obviously it's there's a there's a, a box where you write everybody's names down who's going on the tip so obviously there's a tip right now uh, in the western heartlands that olive is on um, the person's already been found, so um, I might send a telegram to Olive and just let her know um, that that's the case. But we will wait until Olive is back before that's set as resolved for the time being. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but you can see, obviously, all the tips there that say, like, injured person in or around. This is how we find out where somebody is. So it will say pretty much where they are. And then, obviously, in the case of this Western Heartlands tip, it says seen within 30 meters of water um, as well. So so when you send this tip in saying that you found a person, wouldn't you label it where you found the person? Uh, that way, if somebody was looking in that area, they'd be able to resolve it or whatnot? Um, some people do, some people don't. Um, it, it completely just depends. Um, it just completely depends. That's the easy right. bit of what I'm going to show you. The next part is uh, let's go step on the let's go step on the porch. And um, yeah, make sure that we're always locking the door behind us. Now I want you to think about ranger, just just individual ranger. There you go. All right. So, obviously, there's a box here uh, where we put our name down that's uh, for us to clock in. And you'll realize there's kind of two tabs on our clipboard. There's the citizen registry and there's the ranger. So, citizen registry is everybody's citizen file. Everybody in the crossing who's got a citizen file. Your own will be in there, which I highly recommend you searching for and looking for in case any of it's wrong. Um, and then uh, you can search anybody else's up as well um, if you need to. But then there is Ranger. Now, if you're looking at the Ranger page, are you looking at the Ranger page? I was looking myself up. Oh, yeah. Um, now you, I am. All right, yeah. You'll see that there is a whole lot of stuff, and there is uh, three pages uh, worth of stuff. It's actually, I say it's three pages. It's basically two. Um, yeah, it's basically two. But... Everything on the first page is all stuff that's pinned, so it's stuff that stays here. So, uh, obviously, at the very top, you've got the tip line, uh, which is what we fill out um, after every tip. Uh, and it's quite easy to follow, really. When you read it, you'll understand it um, very easily. Um, and it makes a lot of sense in terms of how to fill it in. So, you know, you just write where you're going and what time, the you, or, well, where you've been and what time the tip was. Who's going on the tip? Is the tip resolved? What time the tip finished? Um, where you found them? Why you? Uh, what was the reason? Um, and any additional notes. And you only do this after you're done. Yeah. So um, we used uh, to do it. We used to do it before, but we changed so that we weren't wasting too much time. So now we do it after, um, a after the tip. So when we go out on a search, a search, uh, you'll hear the bell go. Um, and we'll go and check what the tip is. We'll mark ourselves as responding for it, and mm -hmm. then we just go out and do it. Then we just go out and do the tip. Um, if we find them, then we come back and we... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? And then we go into the paperwork and, uh, and resolve it that way. So then we can write down everything. And if you don't find it, you still write it down in the tip line that you've been out and done it. And you just say no, not resolved. Yeah, so you'll and, see. There's probably uh, explain a... exactly where you looked. Um, yeah, so you, the... there's. I think there's one or two in. Uh, uh, yeah, so there's a there's at least one in there where we've not found the person. There's a Saint Denis one that's like um, near the bottom of the ones that we've actually done so far today, um, and it's just it'll say we the tip was resolved. No, it wasn't. What time we finished, and then it's uh, we just write not applicable in uh, the other boxes. Oh, okay, the what one that uh. Horse... That what is my horse doing? Jesus Christ! Sorry about that. I'm, I'm starting to feel like this this spot right over here is definitely not a spot to put your horse. I I never have any issues generally. That fella yesterday was having a lot of issues with his horse. Oh uh, well. I mean, uh, I, I look terrified and covered in mud. Oh. Right now. Him? Yeah, I've I've never really had any issues, but yeah. Um, I need to run to Blackwater to collect my things uh, All right. from my hotel room, so I'll return shortly. All right, be careful. Yep, I shall be careful this time. <laughs> you didn't see the horse on top of the roof, right? I don't think I did. No. Good, wonderful. Mm, I didn't know horses happen. could climb. Yep. 
No, yep, no, she's not a goat. See you in a little bit. See you, Ben. See you later. But yeah, so um, I do it, see the one that you were talking about in um. Yeah, so we write where we searched, um, where where we where we searched around, and then anything else. So I like to write when we've done that. I like to write that um, I've not seen any saddled horses. Um, I've not seen any people really at all, and I've not seen any animals that maybe would be um, maybe in a strange place, especially if it's somewhere where you think it might be an animal den. Um, mm -hmm. If, say, the animal has been pulled out of where its den generally is, it's generally a good indicator of that somebody's been injured. But if you don't see that, then it's it can be, um, well, quite obvious that maybe you uh, uh, that 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 they're not there or that there's nobody there. Yeah, the first two things I always search for is um, the dens and horses. Yeah, of course, absolutely. It's a good way of seeing if there's people around or not. Um, but yeah, that's the tip line. So I think the tip, the tip line is probably the easiest bit, really, um, just because it's all very self-explanatory. As I'm, I think as I'm the sure. biggest thing, I'm guessing. Um, I'm just trying to look at it at the same time. So I'm guessing you just keep going to the next one. Um. Because what I'm seeing is that you can fit like two, two of them on each. Um... Yeah. So we just you just keep going down and just you you just keep going right. down. It's it's you don't put them in. It's they don't go in specific places. So you just do them just as and when you've done the tip. Simple enough. Yeah. I think the biggest thing for me is spell checking. So. <laughs> You won't be the only ranger whose spelling's not perfect. You don't need to do that. It's fine. Here's, here's the thing, right? Peter Rockwell, game warden. Real stickler for paperwork. Cannot spell. <laughs> I actually saw him earlier today. Um, oh, really? Right before I went out to go complete the uh, the task uh, Cat had me trying to do, which I actually did. I'm guessing um, his surgery went well, then. Um, I never knew he was missing two fingers. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Um, but uh, yeah, his legs still fully broken. He had to. Uh, he was oh, walking his, really slow. His um, legs broken, is it? Right, I thought it was. Yeah, yeah he has a broken That's leg right. and and everything. Um, he's walking on a crutch. Um, and he had some uh, some man come pick him up in a buggy earlier. Way, way earlier, and this is probably, good lord, I can't even remember what time it was. <laughs> I, I've been up for so long. That's fair enough. All right, and the next thing uh, after the tip line is the general news. So, when you wake up in the morning, I would recommend uh, the first thing you read is the general news. Like, genuinely, before you do anything else, I would recommend that you read the general news. Um, because you'll see... Um, if anything's happened in the previous day or if there's anything that's going to be like needed that you're going to need to be reminded of um i would say read through a little bit back anyway for yourself just so you can uh just uh, even if you read back maybe like five or ten days worth um pretty much just a summarization of each day i say a summarization of each day but if anything important comes up from the previous day then it's put in the general news or if there's any important anything that comes up that maybe we didn't realize that people maybe needed to know uh, then it goes in the general news and anyone can put stuff in the general news so don't think that it's just like a, a senior or a game warden thing if you've got something that you think needs to go in the general news put it in the general news you know it's uh mm -hmm. it's it's for anybody to it's for anybody to use and for all of us to remind each other of, of different things all right yeah definitely see um the resignation letter from Alfred. Yeah. Um, so everybody. Some... Yeah, go on. Um, sorry. Being let known that I got my green and. Yeah. Uh, so. Cat Carver joining the Huntsman. Yeah. So um, then there's some events and things, and you'll see that there is on Sunday. Uh, there is we've got a ranger meeting on Sunday, uh, at five p.m. Eastern time. Um, if you're available to go to it, then put yourself, uh, 
put yourself down on the list. What you do if you want to take out a document, um, you have to check it out, which you'll see uh, near the top. Uh, there's a uh, there's a there's kind of a, a box you have to tick that will let you uh, check out and edit the document. Um, okay, so pretty much you can uh, stop people from adjusting it uh all willy-nilly and stuff but only one person can take out a document at a time as well so okay. if you're editing the document um no one else can touch it so um if you check out said document then no one else can do that for you uh, or can mess with it um but when you do check it out you've got to make sure that you save the document first um before you check the document back in all right Simple enough. Because otherwise, other, otherwise they scrap it and they just get rid of the old changes. They, they just keep it as it was before. Can one of you do me a favor? <laughs> Tell me what time the Western Hartman skip came in. Yeah, I'll go have a look for you. Just because, thank you. I resolved it because Clarabelle or someone found him, so. Yeah. Thank you. Are you okay, by the way? Talking about Pugsley. Yeah, Pugsley. Yeah, I heard you walking in. Oh, okay. Uh, six fifty p.m. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. They right. didn't. They didn't harm me at all. Good. All right. I've uh, I've sent a tip into law to come and get someone to speak to me about it. Um. How do you? But uh, but yeah. Okay, I was just checking on you. Sure, no, I appreciate it. Alrighty, so, yeah, so, paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. So, yeah, there's a big range of meeting on Sunday. If you can make it to them, I'd highly recommend that you go, because there's going to be some, uh, from from uh, from everything I've been hearing from, from Kat, who says things very excitedly, um, there's probably going to be some big stuff brought up on the meeting on Sunday. So, um, and it'll be a good way for you to get to know a lot of ranges as well. A really good way. Right. So if you can get there, I would recommend it definitely because it's uh, it's 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 uh, it's really worth your time and it will give you a chance just to meet like a lot of ranges in one go. Nearly every senior, if not all of them, will be there. Um, you know, so all the, should should hopefully all the game wardens should be there. Most of the seniors should be there, and then a bunch of rangers who you probably won't have met before will be there as well. So it'll be really, really worth your time going because you'll get to meet a lot of people that you're going to work with because there's a big roster of us now, a really big roster of us. So you're going you're gonna to see a lot of people coming, uh, coming through, basically. Uh, past the that, you've got um, the Recruit Master Dossier. Now, this is a big one. Obviously, this is going to be quite important. And no, your range of feedback isn't in there. <laughs> you can't read your own <laughs> feedback, I'm afraid. Um, and so you can click on any of the documents in there. This is a dossier that's got um, all of the current recruits uh, in there. And if you click on any of them, um, or if you go to pull out any of their files, um, you can read all of their feedback that's been done by every other ranger um, who's taken them out and hopefully uh, you'll get to take out some recruits on uh, on patrols and things soon enough uh, and get to give your own feedback as well so all right so uh, yeah but it's all it, a lot of the paperwork is actually quite straightforward in terms of what you have to do um, to be honest, I actually think the hardest part is actually not like the tip line in, in terms of like search and rescues and things. The hardest things to probably write up are patrols because you have to like create a case file basically, um, mm -hmm. which we can which we can go through. All right. But I kind of just want to go everything on the front on the uh, on the first page of the, of our of our clipboard with you first because there's a lot of important stuff on here. So um, next is the events so uh we've got a bunch of events going on so we've got camp outs this weekend 
where basically we just go to a spot as a group of rangers and we just chill out and we just do some stuff just as a group. It's just time for us just to get to know each other better, just kick back a little bit um, and just, you know, just do, just, just, just be around each other in a not so working crazy environment, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and there's some other events in there too. So um, Wade is doing a, uh, is doing a horse racing event uh, pretty soon which is which is going to look pretty cool i don't think i'm going to be able to go but it's uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty good fun so um yeah. real quick i hate to interrupt how are you getting on duty by chance i'm, I'm not so sure at the moment um Nadia was injured so i'm making sure they're okay but i might be why uh because delaney telegram and spoiler um saying that she's around figure we could do a mock search and rescue for her if there's, okay. I'll I'll get back on duty. If there's four of us, you know, one could go with her, and then one of us could go play dead. I'll go play dead. I I'll be honest. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be around for, but I definitely do need to speak to a deputy before I disappear tonight. Okay. Well, there's way to oh. think so. Oh well, there you go. Even better. Um, yeah. more people is what I meant by even better, not a yeah. replacement for you. you yes, I I I even I was good. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. My God. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, I'm just kidding. It's fine. Or is he? I know you meant it. It's fine. Well. But yeah, if she shows up, um. Hello, Wade. Howdy, Wade. Then past that, you've got. Um, you've heard us talk about it a little bit, Truman, but the, the Leon Buckley file. So this is the missing deputy, mm -hmm. um, out west. Um,. You don't have to read all of this now, but I would recommend at some point having a good read through as much of it as you can. Um, it's quite a hefty document, um, but especially if you're thinking about going out west and doing patrols on this at some point, um, it's definitely worth a read. And it's not the sort of thing we can share with recruits particularly um, mm -hmm. because it's um, because it's involving the law in the way that it is as well. So um, it's not the sort of thing that we can just go sharing with recruits. But when yeah, you get a you chance, you never know which recruit might slip up on what they're saying. Exactly. And tell and then, somebody and, that they don't know. And recruits, by all accounts, are still civilians as well. And this is confidential mm -hmm. information. So nearly everything that you're going to see in here is pretty much confidential information and, and cannot be shared um, right. out, outside of here. Um, the next thing, which is the next big document, the big next big dossier, which is the most important thing to not share. Um, is the range of master information. So um, if you look in that dossier, you will find everything, basically. Um, you have uh, a file that's got all of the rangers next of kin in, which you should definitely add yourself to. And if you've got next of kin, definitely add them in there so we, uh, we know who to contact should the worst happen. Um, there is the entire roster of rangers, which, again, you can add yourself to. Um, and put your telegram number down in there as well. Um, there's a uh, a uh, a document called Read First. Read it first. <laughs> um, and then there's a lot of other stuff in there um, that's worth reading. The Saints Crossing Ranger Library um, is a lot of information um, about hey, everything. Can I pull you to the side real quick? A lot of information. Uh, sure, let me about... this. Give me like a minute to finish this feedback, around. Yeah, right. it's, it's a lot of information about Just everything. One minute. It's got herb locations in there. Uh, there's really important other documents in there, uh, like guides to the guides to Coulter, guides to the frontier as well. Um, really, really important stuff, especially with the herbalism document. If anybody asks like, us... Doing that, if anybody asks us as rangers, right, if we know anything about the locations of herbs, if it's a poisonous herb, we don't know where it is. If somebody asks us where blackberries are, we can tell them. But if somebody asks us where something like English mace is, it's not that we can't share the information. We just play stupid. We don't know where it is. All right. Yeah. If I'm rushing through this, by the way, too fast, just let me know and I will slow down. No, you're fine. At the end of the day, it's just going to turn into a night of me reading. Yeah. It's going to be the most important thing for you to do is just have a long night of reading. Like a really long night of reading. Um... But then, like I say, there's a lot of information just as a whole, just in the range of master information that's going to be really important. Um, 
I will as I will as well show you the um, once we've done with this first page of the clipboard at least I'll uh, I'll show you the range of filing cabinet as well that'll be really good for you to uh, to uh, to have a look at as well because uh, there's a lot of things in there that you can use. Also, Pugsley, maybe just show them for now the uh, basic. Um, if you haven't already, the basic paperwork you just want to be doing day in and day out. Just oh, I've shown in, I've, and... I've, I've shown in the tip line already, and basically just gone through that. The tip line is just dead easy to really write through because it is right. Um, if I've... you want to go over with them patrols and also how to archive them, I the past patrols. I'm gonna hazard a get. Hello, Sorry. deputy. Hey. You... I'm I'm gonna hazard a guess you've come to speak to me. Yes, I did. Uh, might be worth Pick somebody more. else. Might might be worth somebody else showing uh, Michael the rest of the the clipboard whilst I uh, go and speak to this wonderful deputy. I mean, I can always put him in cuffs, take really him away. So. Uh, I've been putting <laughs> no. cuffs to once today. I don't want to be again. Through. Thank you. Quite um, Jesus. If um, just, um, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, we can go in the office and chat. And yeah, I, I like, would prefer to just to because I kind of don't want to be seen having this conversation. That's mm -hmm. all. Okay, um, yeah, let's let's go. Kind of have to meet over there. We're going back to the office. Just to let you know, I am okay. They didn't cause any injury or threaten me, but okay, just good. No, it's alright. But I, I just run you over, Tori. I promise. I just thought I'd let you know, just at least, just, just, uh, just at the very least, that they, they didn't threaten me and they didn't cause, um, they, they, they didn't cause any damage to me at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. That's really, really good. Okay. Um. Great. How else was your day otherwise, though? Good, I hope. Well, I've not had the craziest day, to be fair. I've I've been mm -hmm. mostly like the only du the only ranger on duty for most of the day. So um, mm -hmm. I've had a um, I've I've been I've been busy doing certain things, but I've not actually had a too hard too hard a time. So it's uh, mm -hmm. that's good. Do you need to pat me thing. down and everything? Uh, I mean your your ranger, I trust you. So. Okay. Yeah, just just don't shoot anyone, all right? Oh, it's not <laughs> in my intentions to, to be honest. No, it's not. All right. Um. Wait. I don't want to disturb them in here. Maybe it might be better to go off one outside. Actually, outside. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't realize how many people were already in there. No, it's fine. I only saw one. There's there two was, people in there, there the in sheriff. There, there was right. a Sandan Hurst were in there, so. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we can stand over here in the corner. Yeah. Like... Yeah, like I say, I would just prefer to just maybe be just slightly out of sight for this conversation in case or we're still lurking. Or we can stand on the back porch. Yeah, that might be there. better. I just, uh, yeah, okay, the back porch that. would be fine. But I just Better I just... than a gallows? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I just would prefer to be yeah, slightly out of sight for the conversation, yeah. just in case they are lurking I'll around stand by still. Here. Here's be fine, I don't think they will be, but it's just, uh, you know, safety first in that. Alright, just uh, make sure you're with Bryn, because I think they might be on the other side of the wall and I don't want to disturb them. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Alright. Okay. All right. Um, Ellis, you ready to take this statement? Ready, Tori. Alright. Okay, um, you can feel free to start and narrate what okay. happened to you. So, um, I was down at the Telegram office, um, in, uh, well, here in Strawberry, uh, and a group of, it was four horses, but five people. One of them had two, one of them had two riders on it, um, came into town. Uh, one of them got off his horse holding his arm and he went into the telegram office um, and another one saw me with my poncho on and said, are you a ranger? And I said, yes, yes, I am. And he's like, our friend's hurt. Um, we need some medical assistance. And I went, OK, uh, who is it? Where is he? And he said he's in the telegram office at the moment. And so I wandered in and I saw that he grabbed a telegram and he was bleeding over the telegram that he picked up um and uh i said to him excuse me sir I, it looks like you're really hurt would you mind me 
taking a look over you um, and, and looking at your injuries. Um, and so he he said, yeah, um, he, he said, yeah, I don't want to do it in town, though. I can't really be in town. I said, OK, that's fine. Um, and the, the, they said and I uh, had Alfred Walsh with me. Um, who I can give you his telegram number unless you've already got it, um, who would be worth contacting because he was with me at the time but didn't follow me with the group. Um, okay. But uh, they they said, we'll do this out of town. Um, and Alfred, who was with me at the time, uh, said, do you want me to come with you? And I told him no because he was a civilian. And they turned around and said, we're not going to hurt him. So uh, don't worry. Um, so I went with them, uh, and they rode me a little bit out of town, um, up until... Alright, of... uh, I'm gonna pause you right here, I just wanna make sure he... No, sorry, uh, yeah. Are you alright, Ellis? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, you carry on. Okay, yeah. alright. So they... you need any repeating, just... Let yeah, know. they rode, they rode a little bit out of town, I rode my own horse, they didn't put me on the back of anybody's horse, I rode my own horse, um, and we rode up into a crevice, uh, not too far away from here. Um, one of them had a gunshot wound in his left arm. Uh, the, there was no injuries on the rest of them, but one had a gunshot wound in his left arm. Um, the bullet was still lodged in his arm. Um, so, uh, I removed the bullet. Um, I've packed it with gauze and bandaged it. And, uh, as is my job, I gave them more bandages and gauze. Um, and I said to them, they will need to see a doctor at some point because that wound will not get any better um, as it is um, and they were like yeah, yeah of course of course but whilst I was sat down whilst I was sat down removing the bullet from his arm uh, the the fellow who's who I was pulling the bullet out of I remember him saying something along the lines of, I gave him a chance. I gave him a fair chance or something. He was quite angry about it. Um, Make sure you have that in quotes, uh, Alice. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was something like that. It was something along the lines of, I gave him a fair chance or something. So I'm, I'm assuming that, well, he got shot at by that person um, and that somebody has been shot somewhere. Um, because it, 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 it seemed like that somebody it seemed like that they'd maybe shot somebody and somebody had shot back in the process. Um a few of them had masks on. Uh two two of them had masks on, I remember, kind of bandanas covering half their face. Uh some of them didn't have face coverings at all. Um but they thanked me. Um and they pretty much after that they let me go on my way they headed out they headed where did they head out from they headed out back towards strawberry but then they, they probably headed out towards Owengila. they probably went either through tall trees or they went up through big valley one of the two all right can i just recap this to you of course i spoke very right. quickly so i do apologize Oh, hopefully you're fine. Right, so you were down in the telegram office in Strawberry, a group Correct. of five people on four horses came into yes. town. Yes. One got off the horse, holding his arm, went into the telegram office. Another yes. addressed you, asking if you were a ranger yes. and that they needed medical assistance. Yes. Injured man was in the telegram office. He grabbed a telegram and was bleeding over it. Uh, you asked if you could see his injuries, and he said yes, but not in town. He couldn't be in town. Yes. Uh, Alfred Walsh was in town, offered assistance, uh, but was refused as he's civilian. Uh, a ranger was assured he wouldn't be hurt. You rode out of town on your own horses into a crevasse, crevasse not far from here. Yes. Uh, he had a gunshot wound in his left arm, bullet lodged. Uh, you removed the bullet, you packed it with gauze, and you gave him some bandaging, told him to see a doctor. Uh, whilst you sat removing the bullet, the patient said, I gave him a fair chance, making you feel it was an argument that led to the shooting. Uh, two of the gang had bandana masks on. Uh, they thanked you and dispersed, heading towards either Owen Dealer or Tolltrees. They, yeah, so they either, they, they headed out towards Owen Dealer and they would either have gone up 
going that way, they would either have gone through tall trees or they would have gone up into Big Valley. And the, the, right. the person who said uh, about the fair chance, he said it in a fairly angry tone. Um, I don't know if you have mentioned this in the thing, but do you know any of the people's names that were involved with this? So I asked for a na- like? I asked for a name of the person um, who I was uh, who I was tending to. Um, mm-hmm. I obviously well I said to him I know that you probably won't give me a name, but is there something I can at least call you? Um, and he said uh, Waggy is what he said. Okay, like a dog. All right. Waggy. Mm. It was either that or wacky. It was one of the two. But he mm-hmm. said he, he said specifically like a dog. So I'm going to assume it was waggy. Okay. Uh, make sure you have that, Ellis. Yeah, um, I do. So besides, uh, besides um, waggy himself, uh, was there anybody else involved? Um, no. I got no other names. No. no other names. That was just him. No other so names. So how many no. others? There was um. Oh no, there was another name. There was I remember one name was Jesse. Uh, they mentioned somebody called Jesse at some point. Okay. All right. Um, but that is the only they're the only names I got. I do have okay. some descriptions of people I can yes. remember off the top of my head. Yeah, if you have descriptions of the other people you couldn't name, that can help as I, well. Yeah, I've I've got some some descriptions. The the the, the gentleman with the gunshot wound. He was um. A fairly skinny man, and not not the uh, not the most well built of people. Certainly, quite a, a skinny man. He had, um, uh, he had a dark. He had quite a, a black mid length hair. Um, I think it was tied at the back, um, tied up at the back. Um, he had. You can list this as the descriptions, uh, Ellis. Mm-hmm. List them at the end. That uh, makes it easier. Yeah, he had. Uh, he was tied up at the back. He had uh, a mustache and kind of like a little goatee beard, not very big. Um, I say little goatee beard. It was probably just more of kind of like a patch of hair on his chin, to be honest, more than anything. Um, kind of uh, white skin, uh, well, tan- tanned-ish skin, not kind of, uh, yeah, uh, American accent, uh, generic American accent, I would say. Um yeah uh there was another fellow uh who i had with me for the most part um because i needed somebody to help me just um preparing uh preparing the fellow um so i had one of them stick with me he was wearing uh again black clothes um he had a black face he had a black bandana um on half of his face he was really quite well built quite big and stocky um, he had really quite tanned skin and then blonde slicked backed hair. Okay. Um, um, and he, I want to say he maybe sounded more, um, maybe Spanish or Mexican, but I can't say for mm-hmm. certain. Okay. That was five in total, correct? Yeah, so there was there was five of them in total. There was another there was another man who had he had a long green coat on, um, and kind of a uh, a wide flat hat uh, that was black. Uh, and then the other two were just dressed in dark clothes, so it was quite hard to just. Um, tell anything on them all right. all right did you did you need anything else repeated ellis okay? i think so skinny man black mid-length hair tied at the back mustache goatee beard patch of hair white skin slight tan american accent uh man in black clothes black bandana over half his face tan skin blonde slick back hair stocky build mexican accent uh long green coat uh wide flat black hat man and then two were, other men dressed yeah, in dark clothes. They, yeah, they were all male. The um, the the first fellow who was injured, he was he was walking around holding his arm, um, and he was also wearing a um, a fairly big kind of like dark uh, leather hat. So it was it was quite wide and flat, but it was um, 
uh, it was uh, it, it was it was a, a lever hat, definitely a lever hat. So, uh, Waggy was the one that was injured. Yes, correct. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Well, uh, if you don't have any other additional details that you wanted to add, uh, I, thank you I so much for you know think coming. So. No, that's uh, with us. that's pretty much all I've got. No. But they uh, they did seem in a rush as well, so yeah. All right. Well, All thank right. you so much, Bugsy. I really appreciate uh, you coming to chat with me. Um, yes, if we no have problem. any other additional questions, I will be sure to reach out to you. Yeah, of course. No, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Well, I will definitely be seeing you around. Ah, I hope so. Right. Be safe, the mm -hmm. pair of you. If you yep. uh. If you need a new, uh, if you need a new notebook recruit, by the way, I'm guessing you're a cadet, right? Yeah, I'm a cadet. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if yeah. you need a new notebook, you let me know. Uh, yes, I. Uh, it's very helpful, especially uh, having people taking stains. Definitely is very helpful. Yeah, I, uh, especially. I, uh, I, uh, I make notebooks, so if you, right. uh, if oh. you, if you need one, you let me know. I'm always happy oh, to help. Well, nice. Then. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. All right. All be right. safe. Well, I will be definitely be seeing you around. Yeah. Be safe, the pair of you. Mm hmm Um, oh, one other detail, sorry. Oh. Um, they did ask me my name. They asked you your name? Okay. Yeah, they did. They did ask me my name. I did tell them, but um, they did ask me my name. Thanks. Yeah, just thought that'd be worth bringing up. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Stay perfect. Sa Stay safe. Yep. Yeah, and you. Hello. Howdy. Howdy. Howdy, Bugsy. Nearly 1 a.m. And then you're gonna put... I'm going to Sissica. Like I'll see you all later. Sleep well, Bugsy. Yeah. I'm, uh, oh, forgive me, you broke my skull. I'm a mega murderer, so uh, I'm going to Sissica. I'll see you all later. Can't believe what? it. What do you mean I'll see you that. later if we're going to Sissica? Well, you know. You should expect me to end up there at some point. Here no, I'll, I'll be back at some point. Space truth. It's a mega murderer? Yeah, I'm a mega murderer. They're going to feed me to the alligator. That I... Have you heard about the alligator there? Yeah, he retired. Yeah. How what, the... big is this thing? Dumb, but I don't know what, the massive. alligator's retired? Yeah, I think they have a panther now. They have a panther? Like one dot, and then I think so. So wait, what'd they do with the alligator? That's what I want to know. They set him free. Blueberry what? got set free? Blueberry's gonna eat half right. the world. It's in. massive. Mm -hmm. uh, this is all what right. I've heard. I don't yeah, know all the details. So the first file you've seen is I spoke to right? Booker once, yeah. and all right. look all she the way told me about the, the alligator. Where you can go through the pages and look up and tell me I thought we had a tour approved to go there. But Booker... But uh, Booker, uh, exactly. actually, I don't so know what Booker does now, but she, she was a guard order, at Sissica. We got to search through 218 pages well, right. to find it. I actually don't know who's the warden now that Big L has uh, yep. died. So anything you want I think it's know, Booker. Go into this Is it? Folder. Oh. So I think, I think, maybe. But, mm -hmm. oh, I mean, oh. That, that's just what happened no matter what. Just gonna... But if you put it I have in, an idea. in the dossier first. Oh, are you going to just check the citizen file? That dossier as well. <laughs> Does that make sense? That's, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what we can do. There's no booker. Only two bookers, neither are the one that I'm thinking of. Uh, well, there's a Sissica ID for a booker that has got G in its name, as opposed to P. Which most of them do have. What's, anyone know Booker's first name? Uh, no. 
But if I look at like a prisoner, know. they've got P. But if I look at a guard, they've got like, or someone who I guess is a guard, they've got G the before their Sisica yeah. ID. You're going to complete the paperwork, right? And then you're going to go into the I have patrol no track idea. record. In fact, mm -hmm. here's a good way of figuring Put that out. Let me just look at Big L. Add your paperwork oh, to speak of the devil and she appears. There she is. The vision. Howdy. Wait, she's still talking about me. I think she just called you a devil. In the, in the past yeah. Patrol howdy. Well, howdy. Then, How you doing? Well, I just woke up. Ask me in like 30 minutes. Oh. How you doing? There it is. I'm alive. Hey, hey, Nadia. Hey, Nadia. You, you know, yes. Just, uh, you drunk that tea yet? Patrol documents to look like and things a lot of people do them. They're all in no. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's just me remembering exactly where to go and find where I'm. It. Trust me, well, I after the tea. At first. <laughs> 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 I feel like I'm missing context here. Do you know about that tea I had? The more I get to do it physically, tea. The, 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 the tea. And Did I not tell you about the tea I had? No. I'll let, you, I'll let Nadia tell you about the tea I had. He says it's an aphrodisiac. A what now? Yep. No, I'm the, I'm the same uh, um, Guess you're in the mood. Not that and you gave it to us Nadia. ever need any help with that. Well, I didn't know anyone else who to give it to, so... Hey, thanks, I'm a harlot. Uh, you have only... You are the only person in this conversation who has called yourself a harlot. I never did. That is all you. I heard you, Pugsley. I never called... I've never called Nadia a harlot. I never uh -huh. have. I never would. Not to so a face you're saying, least. you're saying Tuesday of last week you didn't say that? No, I didn't. Because it didn't happen. That's a really exact time. That was very specific. That's how you know I'm not lying, because I used a specific date. Yeah, yeah no, that's around, how you know. I believe no, it was around 8.30pm. No, right, okay. Wade, Wade, uh, okay. Wade, so Wade's full Wade, of shit. Wade does this, right? Wade likes to torment me constantly. It's, it's his thing. Wade likes to just torment the shit out of me. Alright? Don't make me bring back when you said anybody with an eye patch is stupid. Uh, I never said that, actually. You assumed that I said that. We went over this conversation. Mentor, this going sir. Your feedback. Mentor, sir. I'm... Sir, mentor. Sir, sir, Wade. Mentor, Wade. I'm going to ban you from wearing any jumpers. Fine. I'll find another strange clothing item to wear all the time. Try me. I'm gonna go well, how is a jumper a strange clothing item? Oh, okay. uh, did you want to talk? He said... Yes. How I love you. I love you too. Well, bye, Nadia. Jumpers aren't that strange, but they aren't that strange. I'm just gonna go and check the tip line quickly. No, I don't. I'll just be here. Oh, tip line, 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 tip line. I should eat some food. Yeah. I need to get a bowl of stew. Anyone need a bowl of stew? No, thank you, Pugsley, but that's really sweet of you to offer. All right. Yeah. How's the uh, paperwork going for you? Ooh, bowl of stew, and then probably... They, I could have actually been, like... I had my bolt action on me, and I've had, like, $80 on me. Oh, my God, I'd have been in so much trouble. Oh, my God, I could have been in so much trouble there. That'd have been dangerous. Like, really dangerous. What is it, 1am? 
I've been streaming for nearly seven hours at this point. Yeah, might be time to call it quits. Might be time to call it quits. I'm just gonna. Oh no, we didn't get a telegram. I literally just checked. Telegram down for just to uh, make sure he, make sure that he knew I was all right. that I'm thinking about constantly. let's have a look on the clipboard I don't think is there anything new in the general news since they've only run it on the juice into juice bar or I didn't mean to miss long comment on this feel free to schedule patrols in advance if you wish to you may use the general news of each region to do so large empty mounts in the large Think. Take out one of them mines that are slim for dreaming scapes. Yeah. Welcome back, Pugsley. Thank you very much. I'm probably so not I heard you. Oops, go I on. heard you Sorry. were going to uh, Sisica. Yeah, you know, I just. We're gonna miss you. I'm a mega murderer. I've killed everybody. So you know, just uh. Kill everybody. Arrest me. me. Arrest me. Uh -huh. Ooh. I will I say that is. In the mud. Yeah. I think we've yep. all laid in the strawberry mud at some times. I mean, at least you it's know, not Valentine mud. Valentine. I laid hey. in Valentine mud earlier today. Did, did I... you get, you know, cleaned? Uh, yeah, I've been purged since then. I'm good. That's an infection waiting to happen. Yeah. So as you laying in this mud, you know how many yeah. um chickens and horses like to uh. Shit in the mud. You know. What we do is no, rangers no, sometimes. Like and shit in the rivers. What, what, what we do as rangers is uh, we do something called a cuddle puddle on occasion where uh, yep. you essentially just pile on each other. Huh. Yeah. So sometimes someone will just walk over to the doorstep and shout cuddle puddle and then just. Puddle puddle. Yeah. And then you just, you know, you just fall on top, and that's it. And it's just, you okay. just, everybody does it. Do it right. It's all right. It's all Cut right. Cut a puddle. Cut a puddle. There you go. There you oh. go. God damn it. <laughs> a recruit and a brand new ranger. You'll figure this out someday. <laughs> One day. People, people go get really violent with it, though. I people get really see. violent. So what they do is, is they go... They like, oh. they like fully run up. Oh. They go for it. There you go. That's a bit more cuddle. That's a bit more oh. cuddle puddle. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, face full of shit. Yep. Has a taste. Strangely, like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, she's back. I gotta look normal. Well, you can't now. Na You're all uh, dirty. N N Nadia knows all about cuddle puddles because she used to be a ranger, so it's fine. I did buy myself a celebratory. Also, um, also bold Nadia action. is Nadia is very good at dramatically falling over. So I've seen that. I've witnessed it. Yeah, a bit like that. That wasn't very dramatic. I was called a good girl. Oh, by by who? Hmm. Deputy Briggs, mm. Joanna, mm. said oh, I was, no, I was no, injured, no, so I was not going on duty, and she called yeah. me a good girl. Did, yeah. did you drink the tea? Did you drink the tea? No, I handed, I handed Hal the tea, so he controls the tea now. Oh, that's dangerous. You gave a, you gave a young man that tea, Jesus. You gave him the tea. That's an aphrodisiac. <laughs> yeah. I've uh, spoken to the law, by the way. Okay, that's good. So, um, yeah, they didn't threaten me or take anything off of me. So they 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 actually said Alfred was with me at the time, and he they they actually said they wouldn't do anything to me, and they stuck to their word. They didn't. So that's good. I'm yeah. glad they actually stuck to their word. Yeah. No idea who they are, but they did ask me my name. So. Hmm. Alright, well, just be careful. I doubt. I mean, they won't do anything to you, but. 
Yeah. Well, I would imagine not. I've just taken a taken a bullet out of one of them, so. Okay. That's good. Yeah. I'm trying to go out. <laughs> uh sorry, no. 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 But I already ah. did it. Did what? I'm out. What? What? It's the bat! I'm the bat! Get back inside! Get back inside! Get back inside! Get back inside! What is happening? Get back inside! I I don't I don't How are I don't, you I don't. Going? Hello. But if you had are you sure you didn't drink the tea? No, I didn't drink the tea. How do you have this much energy? Uh insanity. You know what? Fair. Just pure bread insanity. I'm gonna I need to copy some notes down. Nope, nope. I'm running nope. figures of eight around the pair of you. I will follow you as far as I need to. <laughs> Tell me. I Okay, all right, you know what? I'll go back in the lock. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promise I'm not insane. Okay. You don't believe me, do you? Whatever you say, sweetheart. You don't believe me, do you? Whatever you say, sweetheart. Thank you. That's a no. So I had to remove a bullet from a criminal who definitely shot somebody out of what? town. Yeah. I spoke to Laura about it already. A gang rolled through and one of them had a bullet in his arm. And uh, I had to go and uh, follow them out of town and remove this bullet. Pack a wound and bandage them. Send them on their way. They said they wouldn't hurt me and they didn't. And I didn't steal anything either, which is good because I realized I had my bolt action on me. So you got lucky. I got Not very lucky. I got very lucky. They did ask my name though, but I hope it's so that they know if they see me in future what I did for them. Some folk will do that. Some folk won't. Just depends. Do you recognize any of them? Uh, no. One of them went by Waggy. Oh, her rude boys. Rude boys? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I wish those deputies had told me it was rude boys. Wow. Sounds like the Waggy shot somebody somewhere. Kept on saying, I gave him a fair chance, I gave him a fair chance. In a pretty angry tone. Hopefully they hopefully a tip comes in for this guy soon enough. I imagine it has. We've not had anything just yet, but... For who? Um... Somebody's been oh, shot. Some, somebody's been shot somewhere. But we just don't know where yet. Hmm. How long ago was that? Oh, Jesus, must be... Um... Must be coming on an hour ago. Didn't see anything on the tip line when I was in there. No, I mean, I'll, I'll just assuage you. I believe it's been handled. Oh, already? Damn. Well, I'm glad the person's been found, no matter what shape they're in.
Nasty stuff, that. You know what they're talking about back there? Uh, I've got no idea what they're talking about. Could be anything. Do, do we have uh, a map at our disposal showing uh, the territories? You know what? Give me one moment and I will grab you a copy of that. It's the most mess. I hope so, because I get really... I get really confused I've about got to... uh, what's classified as where. Not very clear sometimes. Mm -hmm. Now, now let me hand you this map. This map is not gospel by any means, but it's a good starting point. All right. Yeah. I mean, at least something that gives me a little bit more guideline than looking at my yeah my basic map that has nothing on it. <laughs> yeah, I generally I generally take both maps out with me. I take a normal one and then I take out a uh, take out another uh, take out another map take out one of those maps as well. You'll find it really really useful. Um, also, you will need uh, one of these as well. Uh, it is a key to the Ranger filing cabinet. The uh, the filing cabinet. The the filing cabinet has got uh, a ton of really really important information in it that we cannot share with uh, anybody outside the Ranger Corps. All right. Hello, sir. Howdy, dis. But yeah, you'll uh, you'll find it very, very useful. And the filing cabinet's got files for all sorts of documents. I just handed him some OOC stuff, so. That's why nothing's been shown on stream. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hey, uh, Olive. Yep. Uh, Nadia's uh, pretty much all but confirmed it to me, but um, the group that uh, I was with uh, was the Rude Boys, so. Well, I'm glad they didn't rob you. No, me I'm too. I'm glad that you came out unscathed. So. Yeah, me too, but um, I don't know if it's maybe worth just uh, putting somewhere. Um... I can general news it quickly if, if just about rude boys, but didn't I think I've got a feeling somebody put something in there recently. About yeah, them. about them. I should be them. more aware. All right, heard. Right, I'll um, I'm gonna write something up about that then, and then I'll uh, I'm gonna be hitting the hay. Okay, all right, that works. You all yeah. right? Yeah, I'm just fine. Generally. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm fine. I'm, um, you just... don't have to, you, if you are not fine, do never tell me you're fine. If you're not fine, no, I, was, I, was... I would much rather hear. I am absolutely miserable. I'm Abs exhausted. I was actually just about to get to that bit. Okay. All right. Um, I'm mostly fine. I'm just a little bit, um, disappointed in myself for yesterday. That's all. Ooh, don't beat yourself up too much about it. Um, just remember that your own knowledge and reading up on things is very, very important. And it prevents, you know, 
yeah. situations in the future. I, so no, you know, I I still put people in a situation I shouldn't have done, and that's that's not fair. Right, but now you know next time. Ding, so ding, ding. it's a good thing. Yeah, I just heard it. It's a good thing. Yeah. Right. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna get that. Keep your chin uh, up, please. Yeah, I will do. I'm gonna get that written good. up about uh Aww. about rude boys, and then I'll uh. What's up, Wade? We just Saint heard Denis. the bell. Saint Denis. Yeah. West Saint Denis by water. East. East Saint oh, Denis. East. East Saint Denis. I think there was this because they're likely they're going to be found by the time I get there. Well, what do you do, Elvin? What are you doing with the? Um... All right. Yep. Okay. I wasn't staring longingly into the lodge. Oh, all right. Okay. I mean, I mean, the, the doors. Are, you are allowed in. Like, if, if no, if I kind of feel like one of them puppies that you know you have to stay outside for like the first few months. No, no. And then they're like, allowed in. Literally, you can come into the lodge. Like there is nothing stopping you. Stand by. No, no. It defeats right. the purpose of the bit. But yeah, I'll come in. Hang on. Just right. park you. Can't pick it up. It's said stuck. Eastern Saint Denis, right? Yeah. Oh. I'm. I was trying. It's unlocked. I forgot about it. Yeah, it's just uh, getting my grips of everything. Yep. Muscle so... memory and things. So, actually, what you were doing, um, like, literally as of a week and a half ago, was not wrong. Alrighty, so, let's get this written up quickly. Be safe, please. Will do. Good boy. Was to give medical assistance to a criminal. Um, uh, today I was asked to give medical assistance to a criminal. Um, and later I found out to be a member of uh, of the Rude Boys, a known gang within within the Crescent. Wishing me to do so. Feel bad if you don't come back, okay? That's when you feel bad. Oh, I love you. Love you too. Benches are hard. Are they hard? Yes, 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 it is. It did not harm me, as promised. Today I was asked to give medical assistance to a late time. Whilst they did not pressure me to do I so, I told them they would not. Fuck you. Harm me, which they didn't. So, how you feeling? Like I just woke up. 
Well, they did not pressure me to do so. I was told by them they would not hold. Nah, you didn't just wake up. That was like about 20 minutes ago now. To help. And I was told ah, by them they ass. would not harm me, which they didn't. <laughs> I have been Therefore, called an ass of smarts many a time. Doing so. I do not doubt this. <laughs> Pretty sure Telling if you steal a story. ranger, we'd be in trouble. Because, uh, looks like we just gravitate each other normally. Be horrible. Absolutely terrible. Yes, it would have actually been fucking chaos. Sawyer. Yeah. Come talk to me. Okay. Hey, you're in trouble. Don't say that because I might actually think I'm in trouble now. Plenty of other occasions <laughs> where <laughs> where, My trouble where rangers would <laughs> be. Do not. Do not take these people for granted. They are wanted for a reason. We use force when when they when they need to. Didn't have to remind each other that criminals. <laughs> I really want to write. We shouldn't have to remind each other that criminals are bad. <laughs> we shouldn't have to remind each other. Well, try and take advantage of us whenever. Whenever they can. Be vigilant. Look out for each other. Uh, and we don't know anyone that change. mind about us. I think that's fine. I'll ask I'll ask uh if we had something written up about rude boys somewhere. I just don't remember where it was. It was that's Pruitt Gang. Definitely had somebody write something about rude boys. I don't remember where it is. Deputy Bill wanted helmet. Thank you for everything. Curtis LeBeau. Did not pressure me to help. I was um, was told by them they would not harm me, which they didn't. I still wasn't careful. I still was careful when doing so. I'm telling the story so that you all can be aware. That's whilst I've been lucky today, there is plenty of other occasions where rangers won't be. Do not take these people for granted. They are wanted for a reason and will use force when they need to. We shouldn't have to remind each other that these criminals will try and take advantage of us whenever they can. Be vigilant and look out for each other. We don't know when anyone might change their mind about us. I think that's fine. I think that's m more than fine. I don't think there's any reason why that is bad at all. Can you just read what I've written in general news just to make sure it sounds all right? Uh, yes, one second. I know you're in the middle. I, I'm, uh, I know you're, you? yeah, I'm sure you're in the middle of like very important documents, but. Uh, I'm just Sorry. writing up a. Uh... She wasn't actually in trouble, uh, was she? I don't know. No. Okay, no, I, was, I was teasing her. 
I'm reading. Oh, you're reading it now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to sit on the porch and look real pretty for a little bit, okay? It'll, it'll be uh, head empty. That's gone. I could have made a joke there saying something like, don't try too hard, but I didn't because I'm a nice person. It looks okay, good, buddy. Pugsley. looks really good. Yeah? Yeah, right. it's good. It's really good. Thank all you right. for doing that. Yeah, it's all right. Righty, I... I'm going to clock off. I've only been on duty for... Like six hours today so if not more i work too damn hard as a ranger rangers lead the way All right, here. Yeah. Nobody's having a smoke. It's fine. He's not listening to me. I'm going to bed, Olive. I'll see you in a bit. All right. Sleep on. Balloon. Take my poncho off. Uh, yeah. Um, there's nothing on my horse that needs to be on there. Nope. Have a good night, Deuce. Hey. We're going to walk back to the hotel room. Or we'll start to close down the stream for the night. I think someone just said something to me, but I didn't hear who they were, so I'm just hey, wandering mom. wandering into my hotel room. What? Alrighty, everybody. Nah, thank you for sticking around for the stream. I, it was a long one tonight, but yeah, thank you for sticking around tonight. I really appreciate it. I uh, hope you all have a wonderful night, and I'll see you soon. Bye!